Oh, hey, Quagmire. How was marching band practice? Peter, you know this is a pilot's uniform. It represents years of specialized training. I had to fly to Aruba, so I brought my mom along with my friends and family discount. Did you? Yes, Joe, I got you a magnet. Oh, airline employees can get discounted tickets for family and close friends. What? How, how come you never done that for us? I'm going to San Francisco next week. You guys want to come? San Francisco? That city from And the Band Played On and Milk? I'm in. Yeah. Well, I'm off to San Francisco with the guys. Okay, I'm off to Hilton Head with the girls. You what? Peter, I told you about this a month ago. All right, I'll go tell the guys I'm not going. Why is he taking his suitcase to tell the guys? You guys, come on, we gotta go now. Let's go, move it! So what are we gonna do first? I wanna see the Golden Gate Bridge. I wanna see Lombard Street. Let's get lesbian haircuts and see them all! You guys, look! It's Golden State Warrior star Steph Curry! Steph, I'm such a big fan! To be just four games away from the championship. Dad, I duked. They'll keep doing what we've been doing. Fat lady, fat lady. Yeah, I, I see her, Peter. Wow, so that was San Francisco. I didn't realize how hilly it was gonna be. Hey, you know, we're here early. You guys want a little tour of the plane? Wow, this place is cool. Autopilot? Oh, that allows the plane to fly itself when I need a break. Wait, what do you mean a break? You don't have to fly the plane? What the hell, Quagmire? So, so basically, your job is just goofing off. That's not true. I broke Gandalf in half. It's Dumbledore! Get the hell out of my cockpit! <laughs> Joke's on him. I fatted just before he kicked us out. Oh, oh, God! Okay, nobody move! Those guys in first class have guns. Cleveland, just be happy with what you have. Don't envy people. You move, you're dead. So nobody try to get smart. Hmm, page 100. Hmm. Our flight has been... Oh, damn it, they jammed the transmission. I'm gonna have to go to the backup communication system. Open the door or your co-pilot gets it. No, I'm landing at the closest airfield, which is less than an hour away. Open the door or I'll start executing passengers. Man, coming on this trip was a terrible idea. A flight from San Francisco to Quahog has lost contact with air traffic control. That's your father's flight. What's it gonna be? Are you going to open this door, or am I going to start killing people? You, fat guy, get up here! Don't open it, Quagmire. It's not worth it. Okay. Wait, wait, what? That was quick. You know, I have a gun in the bag I checked. If we can get to the galley, we can take the elevator down to the cargo hold. Good idea, Joe. Can't you see how important I am? My shirt is blue, but the collar is white. It's the same shirt. Quick, he's distracted. Get off my plane. What's that now? Hmm? Nothing. Two of the passengers are missing. Okay, you guys watch the main cabin. I'll go find them. I'll take this fat guy as a human shield. There's another update. Good afternoon, I'm Tom Tucker. The search for a missing airliner continues as speculation grows that the plane has been hijacked. Ah, here's my bag. Hey, what are you two doing down here? Peter, grab onto something! Uh-oh, I grabbed my own belt. <laughs> wow, that is truly awe-inspiring! And you know what you don't see from up here? Borders. Joe, how'd you know that level would open the landing gear? Wheels are my expertise, Peter. I notice every wheel in a room as soon as I enter. <laughs> Get off my pl- Double trouble! Sorry. Come on, man! Uh, looks like you'll make that business meeting after all. Great! Thanks for keeping us in the sky, boys. Now reach for it! Crashing this plane into the ultimate symbol of American materialism, Las Vegas. Very good. We are less than 20 minutes from Las Vegas. Get ready to say goodbye to your precious Rita Rudner. As you can see, I've taken off my blazer to show the severity of the situation. It is headed for Las Vegas. The government, fearing the worst, is considering shooting it down. Oh, look, there's one guy who slept through this whole thing. Hey, buddy, wake up. We're all about to die. What? Like, like, how come you Eastern European guys can't be quieter in pornos? They ask us to do that to cover up the sound of children playing nearby. So, uh, I think you're gonna flip for it! Yeah! Oh, come on! Doesn't anybody pay attention to the sign? That's a military fighter jet! He's here to shoot us down! Or she. What? They must think the hijackers still control the plane! We don't need your help! We kick their asses and we have their guns! I've got a visual on the terrorists. They've got a hostage in a blue shirt with a white collar. Everybody in your seats!
Frank Caliendo does a five o'clock show, Quagmire land this plane. We're gonna die. Like hell we are. We're gonna make it. <laughs> oh yeah, right there. Giggity. Wow, Quagmire, thanks for saving all of our lives. We're sorry for saying your job was easy. Yeah, you're the best damn pilot in the world. Cleveland Joe! Peter! Let's head home. I know I, for one, am ready to put all this behind us. Sounds good. Hi, boys. I didn't have my hand down my pants. Hmm, good for you. I just bought us some new sheets at Bed Bath & Beyond. Filthy, stinky prostitute. Uh, okay, I get it. You foul venereal disease carrying streetwalking whore. All right, that's enough. <laughs> George! George? Who the hell is George? George Clooney? Oh, I don't know. I, I just don't feel that spark anymore. I mean, a honeymoon. That's what we need. We'll go on a second honeymoon. Well, that's everything. Now remember, kids, Brian is in charge while your father and I are out of Cape Cod. Do you guys have a good time? You're the only one here to change me. What do you think of that? Mm hmm I'm not gonna change you. What? I said I'm not gonna change you. Well, you can't be serious. I swear to God, these kids are gonna make me put a bullet through my head. Well, if I was in charge, we wouldn't be having this problem. Well, you got some ideas? Tell me. Sweetheart? Ah! Oh, you're awake. Hey, uh, can you hand me the pretzels? Here. Yeah. Hey, why don't you go back to sleep? I'll wake you up when we get there. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez! You're... Whoa! Peter, what the hell is wrong with you? It's completely total, Peter. Oh, this is just terrific. How are we gonna get... I knew I should have driven. I should always drive. They said they'd have the car fixed by tomorrow, and then our second honeymoon's back on track, eh? Give me that! Chris, give me the remote! Go. Chris, stop! Stop Chris, touching it! Chris, my hat! <laughs> Raise your voice to them. Hey, knock it off! Look, you kids are obviously in need of some type of activities. Peter and Lois were supposed to chaperone Chris's school dance tomorrow night, so I guess it's up to me. You mean it's up to us? 900 bucks to fix the car. That was all the money we had for this trip. Look, Peter, the second honeymoon was a nice thought, but maybe we should just go home. Patricia Takanawa is on hand for the opening of Manhattan's newest luxury hotel. Mel Gibson, who has his own room on permanent reserve, which he barely uses. Barely uses, huh? Well, okay, maybe just one sip. Christopher Griffin, is that alcohol? You're in serious trouble. Uh, excuse me, I'm Mel Gibson, here for the key to my specially reserved room. You're Mel Gibson? Yes, I've put on a few pounds for my next role. Peter, the toilet paper is made of money. Yeah, and look at this. They even got some of that high-class British porn. Almost. Almost. I didn't actually drink any of it. Besides, Jake Tucker gave it to me. Well, we are going to have a talk with Jake's parents tomorrow after my birthday. Ah! If your teachers ask about your bruises, what do you tell them? I got hit by a baseball! <laughs> oh, Mel! Mel? Wait a minute. You were fantasizing about Mel Gibson. You don't find me attractive anymore. I'm just gonna watch British porn. You know, Margaret, we could have sexual intercourse right now. Oh, no, I just always feel badly when we have to be strict. Oh, did I remember to turn the stove off? Yes. Lois, we are screwed. Wow. Whoa! Chris Tucker and Jim Caviezel? Is that it? I am gonna make sure this never sees the light of day. Peter, are you crazy? This is a multi-million dollar film, and he's a very powerful man. Seems he left something very valuable in his room, and we're here to retrieve it. Mr. Gibson just checked out a moment ago. There he goes now. Uh-oh. Oh, we never should have stolen this film. Oh, man, this is even more intense than that time I forgot how to sit down. Peter, what the hell are you doing? Lois, trust me, how many times have I done this before? All right, but be careful. Can my wife, Stacy, get you anything? Go to hell, Tom. Already there, hon. Jake had some vodka at the school dance, and uh, Chris got blamed for it. Jake's a good boy. Look, Mr. Tucker, I... We're through here. Get out of my house, Benji. Well, fine. Maybe I'll do this. Yeah, look at this. <gasps> I know, I know, I know. Let's plant drugs in his locker. It's a great idea. Yeah, I thought you'd like that. Well, Mel Gibson, this is one piece of crap the world will never have to suffer through. <laughs> I am so clever. Ah! Ah! Peter! 
I'm doing this because I have to. What are you gonna do to me? Oh, what are you gonna do to me? As soon as your husband gives me what I want, you're free to go. Come on, honey, let's get out of here. Don't worry, Lois, there's a dog turd in there. There's a dog turd in here. Uh-oh. Coming, Lois. I want that film. Oh, sure. It's uh, right over there in President Rushmore's mouth. Ah! Christians don't believe in gravity. <sighs> Peter, it's back. What, that rash? No, no, the spark. I guess it just goes to show that you... Shut up and let's do it. Buddy mm. <laughs> <laughs> Cianci Jr. High School student has been arrested for possession of drugs. This already doesn't make sense. You're fired, Griffin, for destroying company property. Tell it to my tongue. <laughs> Mr. President, we have a situation. The Decepticons plan to destroy the seven wonders of the world, starting with the Hagia Sophia. That chest plate is where they're most vulnerable. If we could find someone strong enough to throw a keg with enough force, might have a shot. There may be one. I wonder who it is. Search is underway for a man strong enough to throw a keg with enough force to save the seven wonders of the world. You're wasting your time coming here. I don't throw kegs anymore. Who's this? It's not me that's asking. It's America. Hell, America, my answer is no. I have to go change my mind in the shower. Hold on! Damn it, I'm in. Still trying to put the world back together, I see. Oh, hello, Peter. I was just out back working in the garden. Oh, yeah? Trying to grow some balls? Peter, you used to live here. That was a long time ago. It was two months ago. Two months is a long time when you don't sleep and only eat ground beef. Nothing bad will ever happen to the Hagia Sophia, right? Not on my watch. Pete, save that basilica. According to the calculations on my Microsoft Surface, they have advanced cloaking technology. Let's have a fight with so many quick shots and close-ups you can't tell what's going on. Peter, don't! It's suicide! Take care of my kids' bikes. I can't believe Peter's gone. Who's that ugly son of a bitch? Wait, they, they welded you back together? And they knew you were alive the whole time? Is everything all right? Yeah, no, I, I think I'm just tired from all the flying back and forth. Maybe we just talk here for a little bit? You're three hours late. Stop trying to be a clock. You ain't got the face for it. I've had enough of your nonsense. <gasps> it's a cliché. <laughs> What happened? Oh, coma breath. Coma? Stab me with his scalpel and then run out. Thanks. Oh, that was unnecessary, but cool. So awesome. Ah, so close. Trisha, 
Mr. Takanawa, 88. Gavin, that's a stupid name, and nobody likes you at school. You're going to be ugly when you grow up, and everything in your house is cheap, and it smells in here. Oh, hey, Brian. Bye. Now I can do a slow cruise past my ex-girlfriend's apartment. 11.45 and the lights are on. Doing it with the lights on now, whore. Don't mind looking at his body. I love you so much, though. I'll just get a little bit of paint and cover up the dents. Unattractive women do it all the time. You look pretty today, Carol. Thanks. It's probably just the dress and the makeup. Oh, uh, now that I look closer, yeah, I think that's what it is, too. I think I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's time for you to leave. I can change. I can change. I'm sorry, Peter. We're done. We can never talk again. Here's a cell phone so we can always talk. No, I'm not, I'm not a nest, okay, this is so messed up right now. I did not want to have to do that. They were very nice to me up until then. I found it in the yard. A tennis ball. That's very impressive, Brian. Yeah, but don't tell the other dogs in the neighborhood. They'll be jealous. You son of a bitch. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah! You guys did this! You guys f did this! If anyone out there can get their hands on a clown suitcase, I'd very much like to see what's inside of there. I think we have the wrong clip. It, what? No? It, this, uh, okay, that was George W. Bush declaring civil war on the northern states. No, don't do it! No, 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 Just go around it. He's not gonna hurt you. Just go around it. No, 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 Hey, who's gonna get the Thanksgiving dump trophy this year? You are! Dad's gonna get it! Who else? <laughs> <laughs> loving, loving family. This food is so good, Lois. Ah, uh, okay. Wow. Wow. Hey, little sis. I guess we got some catching up to do, huh? Hope you don't get scared when I scream and have night terrors. It's quite all right. I've seen worse. A human centipede. How oh, ghastly. Check it out. I'm a robot from outer space. Hang on, I'm coming down. Go, go, gadget skis. <laughs> oh, why didn't I think of this before? I should just check the Find the Jew app on my phone. Huh. There's just two big clusters on each side of the country. Oh, no, look, there's one down south. Oh, they got him. Stupid right-wing dick. Yeah, you, hey, you, you want to sign my book? Yeah, you can sign my ass book, is what would have been awesome to say. Ha! Look at John Krasinski look at the camera. He can't believe this guy. Oh, but there were going to be more hijinks in Scranton. <laughs> Scranton. <laughs> Dunder Mifflin. <laughs> funny words are funny. Look, what the hell are you so hostile for? Because you brainwashed our dog. Hey, listen, sister. I just... I'm sorry. In one of the bloodiest battles of the war, Carter nearly lost his life in a battle with the infamous walrus backed Nanook Wafa. Mama, may I have cookie? No, Diabito. Roll back to kitchen. Oh. And your, your sirens, sirens sound like, like gay, gay guys, guys having, having a threesome. threesome. And I will buy you laudanum and rhubarb cakes. Oh, look, 
look, there's Mort's house. Oh, but I hope he doesn't have some gross Jewish candy like like Rugelach or or Hamantaschen or or, or ha 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 ha. Right, 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 Brian. <laughs> Hey, what you doing down here, Lois? Oh, what's your matter? Mad at little old me? In your imagination, I've got long eyelashes. Look, Lois, we're making a lot of cash with this boxing thing. And I need money for bourbon and anime. Well, I just can't understand any of this. Everybody in Japan is either a 10-year-old girl or a monster. I think every Italian in Kohog is here. Yeah, go white girl. Hey, yo, you're getting your grinder on my grinder. Rising up, back on the street. Did my time, took my chances. Oh, get out of here. Wow. Well, what do you think, Floyd? How did Lois Griffin do what no other challenger could do and knock out Deirdre Jackson? I have a strong headache when I go to sleep and wake up. And how do you think that's going to affect Jackson's next fight? My Puerto Rican wife got fat. Um, because, because that's where Because that's where I... I... I, Because... Because... Well... Well... I can... I can... uh, You... Yeah... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I want a Charles in Charge lunchbox, and I want a Magna Doodle, and a new Uno game on it because I lost the draw two card, and I want a pet animal that's half chinchilla and half mink because it'd be really soft, and I could call it chink, and that's okay. Is this the trigger? <laughs> Okay, look at this. Somebody gave me a little remote control helicopter. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, it's broken. Hello? 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 Are you a dog? Yes! I am also a dog. All right! Yeah! We're dogs! Yeah, we're dogs. We're dogs that live near each other. Hey, are you guys dogs? Yeah. We're totally dogs. Yeah, both of us. And I feel like I just got Wait, wait, Bilf! Total Bilf! Yeah, so going pretty good. I got six pacifiers now. That was a big nothing. Somebody order a pizza? Oh, all right, period movie. Oh, not a period movie. Oh, this guy's in trouble. Can't wait to hear his story. Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah! Water slide! Come on! Giggity, giggity, giggity! Drop it, creepo. Don't move, Catherine Deneuve. Freeze Reno, Paul Sorvino! Sometimes you chase helicopters. That's kind of lame. Yeah. Um, besides, I do that to protect the house. Helicopters are going to hurt us, and I make them stay away. You know what? Didn't look at it that way. Thank you for protecting us. Oh my god, a baby! Are you okay? In my day, it was even worse. I got pegged by a new form of spitball. <laughs> oh, the Mr. Sulu show! Sulu, he's star of the show! All the guys just along for the ride. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. Well, it was great seeing you, Glenn.
<laughs> oh no! You cut your forehead! What do we do? Hey kids, if you have an open wound, get some dirt or kitty litter and rub it in there to stop the bleeding. Oh <laughs> my. Ah. I over the head. I go to the john. Hey, hey, everyone! Oh, I'm sensing a lot of negativity here. What's going on? Meanwhile, the Italian male looks around to make sure the other Italian males are indeed seeing what he is seeing. Sensing the impending battle, a flock of Jews flies quickly away, as avoiding confrontation is their best chance for survival. Hey, Peter. You know, Quagmire, I gotta say, I was pretty surprised you wanted me to come along. I thought you hated my guts. Oh, come on, Jeff, I don't hate your guts. Well, what the hell are we doing out here? I thought we were gonna kill him. Oh, so, Jeff, do you like loud sentences? That'll be $16. $16? That's expensive. Yes, sir, everything's very expensive because you're paying for it on an iPad. Now, if you'll just select a gratuity, options are 60%, 90%, and 200%. Uh, I guess 60%? Okay, great. And just sign by dragging your bare finger across this thing I use to masturbate. Uh, okay. Thank you. Please make sure to bang your head on that low-hanging thing. What are you- Ah! Oh, you spilled something. You want a napkin? Yes, please. All right, here's 40 blown by the wind. Screw off. I don't want anything to do with you or your damn laws. Oh, just take a look, will you? <sighs> You're banning straight-to-video Disney films? Absolutely. I mean, look at this. Aladdin 4. Jafar may need glasses. Number one. Number two. Um... Number one. Number two. Um... About the same. Number one might be a tiny bit better. Number three. Number four. Number three. Five. And six. Oh... Uh. Five and six. Uh, About the same? Yeah, they're pretty much... Can I see five one more time? Five and six. Yeah, they're about the same. Dad, can you pass the bread? Sure, but don't forget the butter that looks like decorative bathroom soaps and is impossible to smear. Thanks, Dad. This really ruins it. Stewie, I'm not really much of a fast food eater. Yeah? Can you read my mind? Can you tell what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking shut up and get a salad. I want some McNuggets. We'll get to you, Brent. I want a hamburger. No, a cheeseburger. I want a hot dog. I want a milkshake. You'll get nothing and like it. Uh, hello? Yes, welcome to McDonald's. Can I help you? Oh, hailing frequency's open, huh? <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna get uh, uh, two McChicken sandwiches and a Diet Coke and... Uh, uh, what do you want, Michael? I make DLT. No, I already told you they don't make those anymore. You know, sometimes it's a regional thing. You could ask. No McDonald's anywhere makes a McDLT anymore. I'd love a shamrock shake if they got any of those. It's September, Jonathan. Stewie, can I take this headband off? No, LeVar, you're blind. That's the only way you can see. I'm just saying they have all the ingredients for a McDLT. Just hang on, all right? There's a lot of us. There's a lot of... It's a big order. What time do they stop serving breakfast? It's three o'clock. Some of them serve breakfast all day. No, they serve breakfast all day! Do they have beer? Is Netflix streaming the right choice for you? Well, if you like movies in HD, then Frozen Pixels, then HD again, the answer is yes. And if you love the golden year of movies, 2003, then we might have some of what you're looking for. Netflix streaming. Buffer for 20 minutes, then watch 35 minutes of a movie with Jason Statham. Look, Carol, I'm just saying it's a big decision. Yeah, life is full of big decisions. Like deciding whether or not you're gonna have time to masturbate. Peter, I'm gonna run and pick up Stewie. I'll be back in five or 10 minutes. Well, which is it? Some show? Well, as those men showed me the way to an identity I've been searching for my whole life. I am gonna do everything a redneck is supposed to do. Ugh, this is gonna be more painful to watch than when he ate half a fudgesicle in one bite. Oh boy, a fudgesicle! <laughs> oh, 
and spending a whole day with him is gonna be worse than eating at a ballpark. Uh, I'll take one terrible beer filled up way too high so I spill most of it, and a too long hot dog on a too short bun. And do you have mustard and relish? Yeah, it's right there between the entrance and the exit to the bathroom. Perfect. And can I get a bag of unsalted peanuts? You know, something I would never eat anywhere else in the world? Sure, here you go. Great, great. I can't wait to have diarrhea in the stall with no door while 20 guys wait for me to finish. Hi, uh, I'd like to be an Uber driver. Okay, sure. Welcome aboard. Don't I... Don't I need to fill out a form? Or... Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Name, Peter Griffin. Criminal history. This section is optional. I will skip this. And done. Here you go. Yeah, none of this really matters. All I need to know is, do you have a car, a phone, and a face? It's my dog's car. Oh, and I know you didn't ask, but I am quick to anger. Okay, great. Now get out there and try to kiss as many ladies as you can. The record is 60 in a month. You, sir, are officially an Uber driver. What are you doing? Turn that chainsaw off! Not a chance, Lois. You know how hard it was to get that thing started? It was even worse than trying to cover anything with saran wrap. Perfect. Can't wait to throw that out in two weeks. We do stuff. D just last week, I let you watch me complain after eating too many hot wings. Oh, why did you let me do this, Lois? Why? Okay, Peter, I gotta take the kids to school now. You really think so? Sure I do. And look, if you really want to learn how to bang that thing, there's no better teacher than your old dad. After all, I'm the guy who taught old Asian people how to get on the subway. Nobody else matters! All right, you made it. Now twirl that long hair sticking out of your face mole. And cough. Cough like you never coughed before. <laughs> ah, Joe, thank you so much for inviting us to your barbecue. Well, it's my pleasure, Lois. Hey, can one of you other men come over here and comment on the meat while I'm cooking it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are looking good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, don't flip them too often now. You don't want to lose the juices. Yeah, yeah, coming along nicely. Oh, those are cooking just fine. Scoop that one up and put it back down in the exact same spot. All right, they're done. Time to eat. Thanks again for coming, guys. It really means a lot to me. Of course, honey. We wouldn't miss it. Plus, it's a good excuse to put on my winter coat and find items from last year still in the pocket. Ooh, sticky pennies. A rock-hard starburst. An appointment card for my next dental appointment that's already come and gone. A ticket stub for a matinee of Interstellar. An unwrapped piece of dentine. A yarmulke from when that Jewish guy died. A breath mint from the now defunct Chlorets Corporation. Printed out MapQuest directions to Dave and Busters. Iron Man Band-Aid. 
Flintstone vitamin I didn't take because it was Barney, refrigerator magnet from local electrician who is now arrested, and balled up tissues with last year's flu on it. You done with your pocket bits? It's freezing. Oh, it was easy. I just took it while you guys were yammering on. I swear, I felt like I was waiting for Lois to get off the phone. Oh, that is amazing. All right, Barney. Well, it was good talking to you. No way she did. Why did she say that? You know what? That doesn't surprise me. I that's how she is. Okay, then. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right, I'll see you Tuesday. Oh, no, what happened? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, my God, just awful. Well, you give them my best. Okay, I gotta go. Stewie and I are headed out to the beach. Oh, I didn't tell you? He's learning to swim. Oh, I got him the cutest swim trunks at Coles. You've never been to Coles? Well, let me tell you about Coles. <sighs> All right, well, you know the mall with the chilies? It's across the street. <laughs> Bonnie? Bonnie, are you there? What happened? Let's go! Okay, you can play over there in the sandbox, honey. Mommy's just gonna read her book. Okay, I'm just gonna walk 30 feet away and then panic because I can't see you. Can you fit me in at 10 tomorrow? It's getting a little long on the sides. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Yeah, it's great. I just pretend to be their dog, and then when he leaves for work, I get to go to the pound, if you know what I mean. God, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe you. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing! I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. She's such a gross hog. You bastard! I was having fun playing in the snow, and now you've ruined it like a pizza place ruins a salad. Okay, four pizzas and a salad. Salad? How do you make a salad? First, you throw in the whole head of lettuce. Even the hard-to-eat white part at the bottom? That's what the people want. Now, what else? I got a can of whole black olives. Should I slice them up? What, are you crazy? No, you keep them whole. You're gonna want to know you've got an olive in your mouth. What about this tomato? Cut it into thirds. It should be big enough to pretend you've got red teeth. How about this carrot? Should I cut it up? Yes, but very thin lengthwise. The whole length of the carrot. One thin slice. Okay, what else do we got? Well, we got these hot peppers, but you can't really eat them. No problem. Dump them all in. Now, should we put it in a bowl? No, let's put it in a lasagna tray. Okay, great. I'll take it. Oh, and make sure to stick it right on top of the pizza so it stays nice and warm. Hello, every pizza place. This is why Sweden, Chris. Never Finland. I'll never doubt you again. Good. Now grab a yogurt that's way smaller than you knew they made yogurts. And you grab an orange juice that doesn't taste like orange juice, but like someone described the taste of orange juice to an alien. Hey, so what's your afternoon like? I don't have plans. Maybe we could grab lunch and then see what happens. Ugh, this will not end well, like eating an artichoke. Good lord, I ate nothing and I'm soaking wet for some reason. Oh, hey, Brian, you wanna come up? Come on up. Come on up, come on. Right here. Jump up. Psst, psst, psst. Jump up. Come on, there's a spot right here. Come on up, be a friend. Just jump up. I know you wanna come up here. Jump the hell up here, you dope. I demand that you jump up here and be a companion. Be a companion! Get up here! Mommy? All right, now I'm gonna scratch your forehead for a while, so don't seem like you like it at first and suddenly bite my hand for no reason. Ow! That's it! I'm gonna go online and buy you a $70 toy you'll hate. You know, kids, there's a lot of history here. These 50s diners were very popular in the 80s. Boy, am I gonna enjoy this meal. Not like last night when I didn't have time to poop before the guests arrived. Do I have time? You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Son of a bitch! Looks like I'm gonna have to pile dinner on top of that. Hey, guys, how are ya? Uh, I just happened to be there with my video camera when a ninja shows up! And then a Nazi came! And then a evil pots and pans robot! Destroy! Destroy! Wait! 
We might still be able to save it. Oh no! Dun 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 Hello? Hey, Lois, what's up? Milk? Yeah, I'll pick some up at the end of my shift. Oh, gotta go. First fare of the night. I should really pick up that milk now before I forget. You son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god, speed up, speed up, speed up! Oh, there you are, you honky son bitch! Come back here! <laughs> hey, Lois, look how short Stewie is. Uh, he's so short. <laughs> oh, my God, he is short. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Hey! He takes the beam. The spectators hold their breath as Stewie Griffin is America's last hope to take home the gold. Oh, oh, did you see that, Mitch? I sure did, Kathy. That was impressive. And as we watch Griffin doing this, I want to remind everyone that this is absolutely not gay. I think I'm okay. Ah! This is gonna be awesome! You said it! Am I, you guys feel anything yet? I feel kind of funny. I got a belly ache. We shouldn't have did this, man. Ugh, what's next? A workout followed by a romp around a crowded room while the music goes... <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you haven't realized this is not how a human being is supposed to look. And the speech thing and what you're doing with your eye? Uh, you had a stroke about seven years ago. <laughs> on Mars. Yeah? That means there's no oxygen for him either. That Martian wants a fight, he'll get a fight. You can't win, Rock! You're 60 years old! Hey, look what Rocky bought me with his money! You know, I vaguely recall seeing footage somewhere of something exactly like this that uh, leads me to believe this probably won't work. All right, Stewie, let her rip! I want to have intercourse with you. Uh, ooh, yeah, intercourse with you. Relations. For whistling at a white woman, go directly to jail. Ah, oh, man, does anyone ever win at this game? You don't win. You just do a little better each time. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. Oh, 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 I'm a tumor. <laughs> Congratulations! Great pot, Stewie. Yeah, I got it from our cleaning lady's boyfriend. It's okay, though, because she's going to use the money to get a mammogram. Make those second hundred pages really keep the reader guessing what's going to happen? Some twists and turns? Little epilogue? Everybody learns the hero's journey isn't always a happy one? Yeah, I look forward to reading it. A gente é ótima com os meninos. Uh, yeah. Uh, we couldn't run an ad that said no Portuguese. But, um, no Portuguese. Yeah. Oh, just me, Stewie. Just, uh, being myself. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, well, well this here? Oh, it's just my package. Yeah. Just, just, uh, just, uh, my package. God delivered it. I signed for it. 
world keeps on spinning. Oh no, Rupert, we're out of gas. We better ask directions at that creepy and possibly haunted house. Ah, a ghost! Oh, 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 it's okay, it's okay. We got away just in time, we got away just in time. Look out behind you, lady, it's the blob! I'll save you! <laughs> <laughs> Silly Wabbit, Twix are for kids! You share! We now return to. What? Are you firing me? And don't think about coming back and shooting up the place because security has your picture. Dad, what's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, what's that? Who's there? Is there somebody at the door? Somebody at the door? Huh? Somebody at the door? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? 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 I'm not a dog, you fat bastard! I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette! Who wants to go swimming? Oh, this song is about me! There it is, boys, the fountain of youth, just like I told you. Yeah, baby! I want a piece of that! You suck! Hello, MTV. Um, I think I would be perfect for the real world uh, because I speak my mind and uh, not everyone likes that. Uh, but I'm not afraid to go there and uh, I can be sexy. Uh, look, turn around, look at my fanny, look at my fanny, look at my fanny. Hey, I'm gonna jump all those trash cans. Uh huh. <laughs> I just heard the dog got fired. Did I miss it? Did he cry yet? Oh, come on, dog, cry for me. Yeah, there you are. Oh, yeah, cry for Stewie. Life isn't what you thought it would be. Hi, Dad. Go to your room. Okay. <sighs> Let's go back and take a bath. Yeah, how about you go back and take a bath? Would you like a carrot? Good girl. Hey, hey, Lois, you want some beans with that, right? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I misjudged you, fat man. Damn it! Peter, what's wrong with you? Wait, 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 Lois, Lois, don't move. Stewie's loving this. <laughs> oh, see if she's got any cash on her. It's peanut butter jelly time! Peanut butter jelly time! Peanut butter jelly time! Way yet! Way yet! Way yet! Way yet! Now there you go! There you go! There you go! There you go! He went into James Woods. Let's spread out and find him. We'll head him off at the... <laughs> Todd, man, you gotta chew your food. I got a whole bunch of rows of teeth to chew you with. Dana, Dana, Dana. Oh, now, wait a minute. I did have a chubby kid on a raft earlier today. It's okay, though. I've been swimming a lot lately. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, ready? Here goes. I'm a female. I have a high voice. I have reproductive organs inside of me, and I buy groceries. I don't know, man. We didn't get the shots we need. Man, what do you think, Mike? I mean, if you saw action going on in front of you, would you know instinctively to center it in front of you? I don't know. Could someone take my soda out of the icebox, please, so it doesn't freeze? I want my money, man! Stewie, listen, this is crazy. You got- OH MY GOD! Ah! 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 
All right, let's go to the bank. At Wilkins Hyundai and Subaru, we have Hyundais and Subarus. It's condensation, Johnny. But what about the fog on the windows? It's not fog, Johnny. It too is called condensation. Condensation. I just heard the dog got fired. Did I miss it? Did he cry yet? Oh, come on, dog, cry for me. Yeah, there you are. Oh, yeah, cry for Stewie. Life isn't what you thought it would be. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of rows of teeth to chew you with. Dinah, Dinah, Dinah. Oh, now, wait a minute. I did have a chubby kid on a raft earlier today. It's okay, though. I've been swimming a lot lately. Mmm, yummy, mmm. There it is, boys. The fountain of youth. Just like I told you. You know, I vaguely recall seeing footage somewhere of something exactly like this that uh, leads me to believe this probably won't work. All right, Stewie, let her rip. Yeah, baby! I want a piece of that! You suck! Oh no, Rupert, we're out of gas! We better ask directions at that creepy and possibly haunted house. Ah! A ghost! Oh, 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 oh. It's okay, it's okay. We got away just in time. We got away just in time. Do I hear 135, 140? Do I hear 140? B. 135 going once. Hello, MTV. Um, I think I would be perfect for the real world uh, because I speak my mind and uh, not everyone likes that. Uh, but I'm not afraid to go there. And uh, I can be sexy. <laughs> look, turn around, look at my fanny, look at my fanny, look at my fanny. Mrs. Lockhart? Chris, come down here. I need to talk to you. Hey, Lois, honey. Sweetheart? Oh, you're awake! Hey, uh, can you hear me, the pretzels? Look out behind you, lady! It's the blob! I'll save you! What? Are you firing me? And don't think about coming back and shooting up the place because security has your picture. Yeah, what's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, who's that? Who's there? Is there somebody at the door? Somebody at the door? Huh? Somebody at the door? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? I'm not a dog, you fat bastard! I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette! Who wants to go swimming? Oh, this song is about me! <laughs> Silly Wabbit, Twix are for kids! You shall! <laughs> we now return to... Okay, okay, ready? Here goes. I'm a female. I have a high voice. I have reproductive organs inside of me, and I buy groceries. I don't know, man. We didn't get the shots we need. Man, what do you think, Mike? I mean, if you saw action going on in front of you, would you know instinctively to center it in front of you? I don't know. Could someone take my soda out of the icebox, please, so it doesn't freeze? I want my money, man! Stewie, listen, this is crazy. You got- OH MY GOD! <laughs> Alright, let's go to the bank. At Wilkins Hyundai and Subaru, we have Hyundais and Subarus. It's condensation, Johnny. But what about the fog on the windows? It's not fog, Johnny. 
It too is called condensation. Condensation. Uh, I just happen to be there with my video camera when a ninja shows up! And then a Nazi came! And then a evil pots and pans robot! Destroy! Destroy! Wait! We might still be able to save it. Oh no! Dun 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 yeah, I'll pick some up at the end of my shift. Oh, gotta go. First fare of the night. I should really pick up that milk now before I forget. You son of a bitch! Oh my god, speed up, speed up, speed up! Oh, there you are, you honky son bitch! Come back here! <laughs> hey, Lois, look how short Stewie is! Uh, he's so short! <laughs> oh my god, he is short! <laughs> <laughs> He takes the beam. The spectators hold their breath as Stewie Griffin is America's last hope to take home the gold. Oh, oh, did you see that, Mitch? I sure did, Kathy. That was impressive. And as we watch Griffin doing this, I want to remind everyone that this is absolutely not gay. I think I'm okay. Ah! This is gonna be awesome! You said it! Am I, you guys feel anything yet? I feel kind of funny. I got a bellyache. We shouldn't have did this, man. Yeah, what's next? A workout followed by a romp around a crowded room while the music goes... <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you haven't realized this is not how a human being is supposed to look. <laughs> and the speech thing and what you're doing with your eye? Uh, you had a stroke about seven years ago. <laughs> I just bought a Rottweiler. And I need a sign to warn people how dangerous it is. Well, we have exactly what... Uh, Ah, uh, yes, here it is, one way. So people will know if they step into my yard, there's only one way out. In a body bag. From dog injuries. Well, isn't this a fine song and dance? What are you getting so hot about? Keep your shirt on. Where do you get off making remarks like that? Supposing I say you're a lunkhead. Well, I ain't much for supposing. Well, supposing you were. Well, maybe I'm through supposing and I'm fixed to start figuring. Ah, uh, horseradish. Well, aren't you a pocket full of firecrackers? Oh, yeah? You got something to say about it? I'll say plenty. Hey, I'm Stewie Griffin, and I'm gonna be kicking my dad's ass all day today. What the hell? Do it! No, no, stop! Ah! Ah! No, get up! No, get up! Ah! Ah! Come on! Come on, Stewie! You're acting crazy out there, man! I'm gonna jump all those trash cans. Uh-huh. Hi, Dad. Go to your room. Okay. <sighs> Let's go back and take a bath. Yeah, how about you go back and take a bath? Would you like a carrot? Good girl. Hey, hey, Lois, you want some beans with that, right? Ow! 
now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I misjudged you, fat man. Damn it. Peter, what's wrong with you? Wait, wait, wait. Lois, Lois, don't move. Stewie's loving this. <laughs> oh, see if she's got any cash on her. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Way yet. Way yet. Way yet. Way yet. Now there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. He went into James Woods. Let's spread out and find him. We'll head him off at the... <laughs> Todd, man, you gotta chew your food. I want to have intercourse with you. Uh, ooh, yeah, intercourse with you. Relations. For whistling at a white woman, go directly to jail. Oh, man, does anyone ever win at this game? You don't win. You just do a little better each time. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. Oh, 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 I'm a tumor. Congratulations! Great part, Stewie. Yeah, I got it from our cleaning lady's boyfriend. It's okay, though, because she's going to use the money to get a mammogram. Make those second hundred pages really keep the reader guessing what's going to happen? Some twists and turns? Little epilogue? Everybody learns the hero's journey isn't always a happy one. Yeah, I look forward to reading it. A gente é ótima com os meninos. Uh, yeah. Uh, we couldn't run an ad that said no Portuguese, but um, no Portuguese. Yeah. Oh, just me, Stewie. Just uh, being myself. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, well, well this here. Yeah? Oh, it's just my package. Yeah. Just, just, uh, just uh, my package. God delivered it. I signed for it. World keeps on spinning. Chris, where have you been? I don't know! Name something you sit in. Chair. Try again. Big chair. No, that's the same thing. Try again. High chair. That's still a chair. Chair. Say something other than chair. What if I can't think of anything? You can pass. How do I pass? Just say it. Say what? Say pass. Chair. Yeah, Stewie, I gotta go. Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Did I tell you about that over there? Stewie, I can't physically see what you're pointing at. I'm getting off now. Bye. Well, you're lost, Brian. That thing over there is pretty interesting. Huh? An alien in a grass skirt juggling torches? Yeah. All right, you're all done. Go. I'm gonna have to give you a full cavity search. Drop your pants. Uh, Peter, you don't have to pull your pants down. Oh, sorry, I'm still learning. All right, start the search. I think that's everything. You want me to double check? That's not baking powder. It's sneezing powder. <laughs> <laughs> but I already brought a whole batch to the church bake sale. <laughs> no wonder that priest kept saying, bless you. <laughs> This is a man who believes the plural of goose is sheep. Well, the lipstick is not bulletproof. We know that now, for humans. Will you answer one question for me? Yes. Thank you so much. You've got to look your best tonight, you tubby little parasite, cause there's a lovely lady and she's waiting for you. And though her pretty face may seem a special person's wettest dream, before you get to see it, there are things you must do. Yeah, I bought this boombox here, and it's got this high-pitched whine. Well, let's have a look. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's yours now, sucker! I know you just can't wait to stare at all that luscious orange hair, but boy, before you touch a single curl, 
You must impress that ultra boomin all consuming poly groomin down syndrome girl. Yeah, I'm going to work now, but I'm going to leave NPR on for you. Good day to you, and welcome to All Things Considered, a show where we talk very softly and right into the mic. Do you hear that? I'm whispering right in your ear. I'm right in your ear. Buzz, 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 buzz. I've been missing a man's touch, lo, these many months. And I've been missing a woman's touch. Brian, Brian, it's me, Stewie. Oh my god, that was hilarious! You really fell for it! Morning, Mr. Griffin. Nice day. Well, it's a little cloudy. It's absolutely cloudy. One of the worst days I've seen in years. So, good news about the Yankees. I hate the Yankees. Pack of cheaters, that's what they are. I love your tie. I hate this tie. It's awful, it's gaudy, it's gotta go. And I hate myself. I hate you too. You make me sick, you fat sack of crap. But I'm the president. The best there is. But you just said you hated me. But not you, the president, the you who said you hated you, you who love, hate, Yankees, clouds. Karina? Yes? You have a visitor? Who is it? Oh, it's that nice girl, Julie, from your show. Oh, Julie, did she say what she wanted? Oh, just go see for yourself. I'm not your secretary, Karina. Why are you so cruel to me? Is it because I'm the pretty one? The talented one? Oh, for God's sakes, you know we're all sick of you. That's right, all of us. Can I poop in here? No. no. Too late. So, Dustin, it's been a while. I gotta say, you look great. Are you trying to seduce me, Mr. Tucker? I am not trying to seduce you, Dustin Hoffman. You really look great. Uh-oh. 12 minutes to Wapner. Yes, I understand your hectic schedule. Well, Dustin, we really appreciate you taking the time to be with us here in the studio. If there's anything I can ever do for you... Bring me Peter Pan! I'll keep my eye out for him. Thanks, Dustin. Sick of me? Oh, that's rich! You know, I wasn't going to say this, but Mother hates you! That's not true! You take that back! It is true! She hates you! She told me! It was the Christmas we all went to Edaville Railroad, and you cried because you were afraid because one of Santa's elves was a real midget, and Father said, that's it! I can't take this anymore! And he left that very night, and all you cared about was ice cream on the way home, and Mother said you didn't appreciate anything! Karina! Coming! Now go impress that super thrilling, wish-fulfilling, you who spilling, ultra-swinging, boner-bringing, gaily singing, ding-a-linging, stupefying, fortifying, as of Monday, shoelace tying, stimulating, titillating, kitty cat impersonating, mega-rocking, pillow-talking, just a little crooked walking, poorly pouting, poopy sprouting, for some reason, always shouting, fascinating, captivating, happiness and joy creating, Down Syndrome Girl! The only way they're not gonna kill my sister is if we give them the stone. Well, they're gonna be looking everywhere. We'll have to hide it in my chin. Uh-oh, here they come. You better get in there, too. Shh, Chris, look! Tracks. There must be a deer around here. Well, those are snowmobile tracks. Shh, there he is! Ah, oh, such grace. Peter, you don't know how badly I need this. I don't know, Bonnie. It's it's just a little weird. Joe's a friend of mine. No, it, it's okay. I promise you, it's okay. I'm not sure. It's okay, Peter. So how's this work? You just feel my pulse? So... Ah! 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 <sighs> what the hell was that? Mr. Griffin, that's a prostate exam. Shut up! You had your finger in my ass! How do I know if I'm Jewish? Are you Jewish? No. There you go, sport. Thank you! It's an opportunity to come up with our own names. I'm Tomax, and this is Zamot. We're twins who can feel each other's pain. Ow! No, oh, Brian, I'm supposed to say ow. You ruin everything. Ow. Now, Peter, this is your silverware. You see, this is your fork, and this is a knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. This is also a knife. Oh. Well, I'll be on my way. I want to see more of him, and then suddenly none of him. Forever. <gasps> Look! It's dancing with me. It's like there's this incredibly benevolent force that wants me to know there's no reason to be afraid. Sometimes there's so much beauty in the world, it makes my heart burst. It's just some trash blowing in the wind! Do you have any idea how complicated your circulatory system is? Hey, look, Lois, there are three of them. Just like us. And, uh... Um... 
Sweet. I forget how to make love. Shh, 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 that's okay. I'll show you. Just follow my lead. What do you say? I don't know. Oh, come on. I'll even cripple that guy who rapes you in the shower. But I like that guy. Too late. <coughs> oh, my legs! Two things never happened again after that. Boggs never walked again, and Andy's farts never made a sound again. I'm sorry, that's, um... That's never happened to me before. Which part? The eight seconds of sex or the 40 minutes of crying? Uh, I guess both. Watch what happens when Scott Bale tries to say, she sells seashells down by the seashore. What does your mom do for a living? Uh, she sells seashells down by the <laughs> <laughs> That is kind of a tongue twister. West Side Story, anything goes. West Side Story, anything goes. Two of my favorite Broadway shows. Two of my favorite Broadway shows. Miss Saigon and Cabaret. Miss Saigon and Cabaret. Overrated, I should say. Overrated, I should say. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So, how's it hanging? Ah, uh, okay. Hey, what you got here? Oh, Maxim. Now, Jessica Beale sure is a cutie. You were masturbating when I came in. Yeah. So, how's it hanging? Get out! Gotcha. Rehabilitated? It's just a stupid made-up word. So boys like you can sit behind a desk, wear a fancy suit, and feel important. You're a jerk. And I had sex with your mother last night. And I swear to God, you let me out of here, first thing I'm gonna do is kill again. Oh man, this is even more intense than that time I forgot how to sit down. I wonder where that fish did go. A fish, a fish, a fish, oh. And this is our Fox News Daycare Center. Where are all the kids? Sorry, a lot of the children aren't here today because their parents have the day off for Martin Luther King Day. Isn't that in January? Oh no, at Fox News we celebrate the day he was shot. Hold it, you two. Aren't you a little old to be drinking illegally? Yeah, uh, uh... Lois, look over there! Run! What do you see here, Chris? Two Ds and an F. That whore! She's betrayed me worse than Lady Macbeth betrayed Duncan! I, uh... I don't know Shakespeare very well. And have a wonderful time. Oh my god, Brian, there's a message in my alphabet. It says, ooh. Peter, those are Cheerios. Well, it looks like the operation was a success. Do you know what the best part of this is? Try licking yourself. You bastard. Oh, Lois, you are so full of <coughs> What? Oh, I can't say <coughs> in my own <coughs> house? <coughs> great, Lois. Just <coughs> great. You know, you're lucky you're good at <coughs> my or I'd never put up with you. You know what I'm talking about. When you <coughs> lubed up <coughs> toothpaste in my <coughs> for you and a cherry, <coughs> Episcopalian, <coughs> extension cord, <coughs> wetness, <coughs> With a parking ticket? That is the best. Did you hear that, Lois? We're going to Hollywood! Where the people are sexy and clever and they always say something funny right before the commercial break. Everybody, I got bad news. We've been canceled. Oh, no. Peter, how could they do that? Well, unfortunately, Lois, there's just no more room on the schedule. We've just got to accept the fact that Fox has to make room for terrific shows like Dark Angel, Titus, Undeclared, Action... That 80s show. Oh, this is my favorite event. Catch the greased up deaf guy. Go! You're never gonna catch me. You're wasting your time. Forget about it. Go do something else. See you next year. Who's gonna feed me and protect me from the evil monkey in my closet? Now, Chris, you know there's no such thing. No! <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you. American Embassy, Cedric the Entertainer, The Tick, Louie, and Greg the Bunny. Is there no hope? Well, I suppose if all those shows go down the tubes, we might have a shot. Peter, why is there a diaper in the lamp socket? Oh, Lewis, he's done it again! Wait a minute. Oh, don't be sad, Peter. That's why they call it Spoopal. <laughs> Look at all those hamburgers. You can't eat all those hamburgers, you stupid fella. Oh, jeez! Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, he's so ridiculous. You hear me, you ridiculous man? You're... Whoa! Ah! Hey, Stewie, peek a -boo. Yes, I see you, fat man. <gasps> Where's Daddy? What? Where did you go? Oh, this is impossible. Well, I, I can hear you, but I can't see... Really, must really be gone. peek a -boo. Ah! How the hell did you do that? Look, I thought you disappeared, otherwise I wouldn't have picked my... Oh, great, leave when I'm right in the middle of a sentence. Peter, what the hell is wrong with you? I fall asleep for ten minutes and you plow the car into a tree? Oh, my God, you gotta pay attention to the road. We could have been killed. I mean, look at the front of our car. It's totaled. It's completely totaled, Peter. Oh, this is just terrific. How are we gonna get... Oh, my God. I knew I should have driven. I should always drive. I cannot trust you, Peter Griffin. If I remember correctly, this is the physics department. That explains all the gravity. You taped over our wedding video? Relax, Lois. I just taped over the boring stuff. The couple has written their own vows, which they will now recite to each other. Peter, I... Look, the only reason I got myself arrested was to find out what happened to my sister. Excuse me, ladies. It's laundry time. It's so cold in here. I mean, look at my... I swear, sometimes I feel like I'm married to a child. What can I say about my beautiful bride except milk, milk, lemonade around a corner fudge is made? <laughs> you better watch who you're calling a child, Lois. Because if I'm a child, then you know what that makes you? A pedophile. And I'll be damned if I'm going to stand here and be lectured by a pervert. This wedding is hot. Wake up, damn it! Wake up! You know what Joe said the street value of that cocaine would have been? Uh, let's see, four and a half kilos, uncut Nicaraguan, uh, 1.7 mil, that area? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. All right, I'm ready, come on, good game, good game, everybody, yeah, come on, good game, let's get out there, let's do it, yeah, yeah, 110%, everybody. I must say, I do feel a strange satisfaction watching the black ball topple all those self-righteous white pins. Can't blame them for being self-righteous. The black ball's in their neighborhood uninvited. The black ball's done nothing wrong. If the black ball's innocent, it has nothing to fear. Hey, Doc, you have to keep those two boxes right next to each other. Why? What do they say? I think we're through here. Yeah! <laughs> Griffin, I said no showboating. This calls for a victory tune. Now, a woman who kiss on a very first date is usually a hussy. And a woman who kiss on a second time out is anything but fussy. But a woman who wait till a third time around, head in the clouds, feet on the ground. She's the girl he's glad he's found. She's his shaboopy. On your marks, get set, white guys, go. I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else. <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. And you can always be proud of your father and all of his accomplishments. What accomplishments? Go to your room. Yeah, but I hope for your sake the cake's better than the last party I went to. <laughs> oh, God! Coconut! A griffin never knows when to stop. Clear. Clear. <clears throat> oh, you... you saved my life, Doctor. Clear. <laughs> All right, I made a touchdown. Oh, now there are plenty of people who have had worse days. Oh, a parking ticket. I was gone five minutes. Oh, how could this day get any worse? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh.
Uh, excuse me, it's been brought to my attention that a few bad apples out there are smoking marijuana. Uh, I've got news for you, my friend. Marijuana's illegal, not cool. All right, then. Establishment, establishment, you always know what's best. You suck! Learn the rules! I need some excitement. What are you talking about? Your life is plenty exciting. For example... There you go. Good night. What if I helped you get a girl? Really? You, you, you think you could do that? Sure. All we gotta do is get you a little fixed up. You know, get your hair cut, give you good clean... Ah! Shave, maybe some cologne. The chicks will be all over you. Go on, buds. Drink my suds till you've reached that pure inebriation. Though the beer may be free, you're just renting it from me. You think the language in the Second Amendment is clear enough? You know, about the right to bear arms? Of course it's clear. Every American has the right to hang a pair of bear arms on their wall. How could that possibly be misconstrued? Welcome to the Silly Nannies. I'm the quarterback, Leslie. This is our team. If you marry me, I'll wait for you and break for you. If you marry me, I'll scrub for you and bake for you. If you marry me, all others I'll forsake for you. All this will I do if you marry me. Sir, I need another dollar twenty-five. Is that right? Keep the change. Roadhouse. I say, Jenkins, you give me that dirty look one more time and I have a good mind to get into my PJs and have a pillow fight with you. Very well, then. On guard! I, you I, 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 you. I like your gal. I like yours. In a moment, we will use the special lights to see just how filthy this seemingly clean hotel room really is. <laughs> Look, my first bike. Boy, I had so much fun playing with that. More tea, Mr. Bike? It's like I died and went to heaven. But, but then they realized that it wasn't my time, and so they sent me back to a brewery. As it turns out, the lump on your chest was just a fatty corpuscle. Fatty corpuscle? Wait a minute. How the hell can a dead comedian from the silent movie era be lodged in my left bosom? Mr. Griffin, I'm saying you're fine. I'm fine? What, are you coming on to me now? Peter, he's not coming on to you. He's trying to tell you that you're healthy. Can it be both? Wow, Brian, have you lost weight? You gotta tell me your secret. Here's a hint. Put down the fork! Face! Me and Lois's old man have never gotten along. Hey, I got an email from Mr. Pewterschmidt. Gary Wonder Woman, I got three kings. Now let's see your pair. <sighs> <laughs> All right. What you, hey, Robin, what are you looking at me for? Look at her. I'm going out for a little while. Hey, wait, wait. You can't tell anyone I'm here. For if humanity discovers I'm no longer lurking in the shadows, the consequences will be dire. Go on. That's it. What the hell do you see in him? Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Hi, I'm Al Harrington, president and CEO of Al Harrington's wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man emporium and warehouse. Thanks to a shipping error, I am now currently overstocked on wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men, and I am passing the savings on to you. Lois, well, I'm scared. Oh, I'll get that. Hey! Oh, 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 God! Oh, Dave! Sorry! Oh, oh, God! <laughs> nice day we're having. Oh, yes! What? He said nice day, but he covered with rain. So? So he said it's when your brain know it's not really a nice day. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, he said the opposite. It's funny. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. Nice day. Oh, ho, ho. now you funny too. Oh. Well, I really admired the mother character's admission of personal torment after her daughter's death. I disagree. I felt a total lack of ethical integrity in her readiness to abandon her children and start a life of her own. Uh, here's another thing. The book can also be... a hat. You know, that really grinds my gears. Where exactly in the Bible does it say a man can't fire off some knuckle children in the privacy of his own neighbor's living room while his neighbor's at work because I don't have a DVD player? Well, I don't know where it says it, because the Bible is way too long to read. That's what we call a manatee, boys. Or in nautical slang, the sea cow. Where is it? Keep looking. I can't find it anywhere. Keep looking. There's nothing but a fishtail down there. Keep looking. Oh, there we go. That's not it. It's gonna be. Lois, undecided voters are the biggest idiots on the planet. Try giving short, simple answers. 
Sir, your question, please? Mrs. Griffin, what do you plan to do about crime in our city? A lot. <laughs> because that's what Jesus wants. 9-11 was bad. I agree with that. Hey, getting some writing done there, buddy? Yeah, setting up in public so everybody can watch me type my big screenplay. Me too. All real writers need to be seen writing, otherwise what's the point, right? You should totally write that down. Okay, will you watch me? Mrs. Griffin, what are your plans for cleaning up our environment? 9-11. <laughs> Mrs. Griffin, what about our traffic problem? 9-11. <laughs> About two gay people getting married, I, I just don't think it's right. Well, these questions are too big to be decided by human beings, which is why God made this film. So, uh, what's your favorite Madonna album? I like her early work. If his answer is anything but, I've never bought one, you've got a gay. Let's take a blood sample, Mr. Braga. If instead of human blood, you find a deadly corrosive acid, you've got a gay. Not this time, Nancy boy. How does it feel to have the lake back? Well, I'll tell you, Tricia, as a local resident, I feel like I can once again take pride in my community. I think this is really going to revitalize tourism and... <laughs> And if you look around, I think even the wildlife is starting to come back. And, you know, that's something we haven't seen in a while. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. I never slept with a woman with the lights on. I'll go next. Uh, I never had sex with Cleveland's wife. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, I never did a chick in a Logan Airport bathroom. Mr. Weed, I uh, was wondering if maybe you'd like to come over to my house for dinner Friday night. Huh, that wasn't so hard. Well, what time? Uh, I don't know, 7.38. Mom, I can't buy my jacket. <laughs> Peter, take off that belt! The buckle smells like acid! Lois finds out I'm ditching her to play golf, she'll hit me with a frying pan. Which is why I'm gonna drink this frying pan antidote. <laughs> All right, hit me with this. <laughs> Didn't work. Hooray! I'm mayor again! Don't we need to have a whole new election? There. Now no one will have heard him say that. We all heard him say it. Anybody else hear anything? My wife did. God, let's see, what else is there? Um, I never gave a reach around to a spider monkey while reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, God! I, uh, I never picked up an illegal alien at Home Depot to take home and choke me while I touched myself. Oh, come on! Uh, I never did the same thing, but with someone from Joanne Fabrics. Oh, God, this is ridiculous! I just hope his teen years go better than mine. Boy, talk about awkward. Oh, baby. Oh, Sandy. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sandy. Yeah. Oh. Sandy? Oh, not again. I'm gonna be a virgin forever. Or am I? Sunday's my internet porn night. Oh, yeah. You're my Chinese Lois. Thanks, honey. Say hi to your husband. Oh, I got AIDS again. Better take my NyQuil cold flu and AIDS. All gone. Stand up, all fat men. Stand up straight. Stand up because no chair can hold your weight. If God created us to be so big, that's proof he must be. A big fat pig! My god, is that... Meg? 36D, Brian. And you know what's amazing? In this universe, she's still one of the ugly ones. If you saw Lois, your penis would shoot right off your body. Oh! Oh! 
That'll be twenty-seven fifty. Brian, this is painful. It's like listening to those two foreign guys down at the coffee shop who've been living in the U.S. almost long enough to sound American. Oh man, what a good bunch of partying at that discotheque. They played one of my audience requests. Way awesome. I myself drank like five liters of beer. Any more and I would have ended up in hospital, man. Oh, you said it, friend. But I wanted to stay, because I almost had sex on this girl. Oh, yeah, but it was so expensive. Each drink was like $6.40. It seems we're in a universe where everything is drawn by Disney. Look, there's our house. <laughs> Look how gaily we run. All right, Joe, let's lose the wheelchair and shoot this thing. Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. <laughs> okay, now give him some peanut butter so we can make it look like he's talking. Now let's grip it and rip it. The Fed is going to be lowering rates, so get your money out of T-bills and put it all into waffles. Tasty waffles with lots of syrup. Waffles! Buy waffles! 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 Speed 3, Glacier of Doom. If this glacier goes slower than one mile a year, we're all dead! Tell me something I don't know! Get out of the way! One day, Vegeta went swimming too soon after eating a sandwich, and this happened. Help! Help! I'm drowning! <laughs> help! We gotta get this woman to surgery time! Right stat now! But it was too late, and she died from a rotten vagina. Finn. Well, that was the worst piece of crap I've ever seen. Well, Rudolph, we finally figured out what makes your nose red. Is it pixie dust or, or leprechaun tails? No, it's a tumor. You mean like a magical Christmas tumor? No, a malignant tumor. The base of which is lodged deep within your brain. Oh. Like a happy special... You're going to die. So this is where babies come from? Yes, Chris. This is where babies come from. You told me I came out of your vagina! Maybe you don't have to pee. Hey, I ought to just give you some beer. It goes right through you. Wonderful. And while we're at it, we can light up a doobie and watch porn. It... Yeah? So, how's that leg doing? Uh, great, great. Never better. Good. Why don't you try putting some weight on it? Uh, sure. Yes, yes. Oh, that's good. That feels good. Very strong. Sorry, Thunder. I gotta put you down. Huh? How's your leg? You ready to race? Huh? Butt scratcher? Butt scratcher? Get your butt scratcher here? Butt scratcher? 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 Oh, Stewie and Brian, you're just in time for pie. Did somebody say pie? A New Yorker. I bet Lois's dad reads this. I'd be more apathetic if I weren't so lethargic. Oh, I get it. That, that, that's kind of funny. Yeah, can I have a copy of Jugs? Love it. Hate it. Love it. Hate it. Uh, Brian, this feels weird. Hit the button. You can have the boat or the mystery box. What, are you crazy? We'll take the boat. No, 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 not so fast, Lois. A boat's a boat, but the mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. You know how much we've wanted one of those. And let's just... We'll take the box. Give me your badge. Fine. <laughs> By the way, Horowitz, you should show Joe your impression of him. Oh, well, no, I, he's not as good as, you know, my Irish cop. It's just a little thing I... Look at me, I'm Joe. My legs don't work, but I make up for it by having a very strong upper body. <laughs> well, I do say that. Meg and I have been working nights. I'll take the one on the right. Well, once again, Meg, I'll be back in an hour. We don't have empty rooms right now, but if you'll have a seat... Yeah, uh, I kind of, uh, warmed myself up in the car if you catch my drift. I could put you in the storage freezer. That'll work. Nurse, I've got a splinter. Just come out whenever you're done. Oh, oh, God. 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 Yeah. Oh, God. I, I think I feel them moving. This is my family. My wife, Lois. 
My son, Chris. Chris, stop licking yourself and come up and say hi. My daughter, Meg. Our puppy, Stewie. And this is our human, Brian. Nice to meet you. Who else but Quagmire? He's Quagmire. I do hope nothing happens to spoil this fancy dinner party. <laughs> Who else but Quagmire? He's Quagmire, Quagmire. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem. <laughs> That'll be sixty dollars. Oh, man, look at that kid. That is one ugly eighth grader. You don't want to hurt yourself, dancing. Make sure you stretch out those creamy hamstrings. Hello, everybody. Yeah! Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is a Disney universe. We have your son. Meg's our daughter. Hi, my partner and I want to have a baby. We'd like a vial of sperm and an applicator that looks like Jodie Foster's knuckles. Certainly. Let me just go to the freezer. Mr. Griffin, you were in there an awfully long time. Are you all right? Yep, yep, fine, fine. And uh, just so you know, everything in there is exactly the way it was when I went in. There was absolutely zero chance that I spilled all the jars and had to refill them with my own sperm. Zero chance. Wow. I didn't know it really looked like that. Oh, neither did I. Such lovely printing, too. My name's Brian. I was born here. I'm sorry, son. Lots of dogs been born here. Refresh my memory. Which one were you again? I was the one who could talk. Brian! Smoking is a horrible vice. It shortens life expectancy and pollutes our air. And according to recent polls, air is good. Yes. Cigarettes killed my father and raped my mother. How's your oatmeal, honey? You know, it tastes kind of different than usual. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a bear in my oatmeal! So, tell me, is there any tread left on the tires at all? Or at this point, would it be like throwing a hot dog down a hallway? The next award is for Best Original Score in an Adult Film, and the nominees are Ron Jones... Walter Murphy... ...and John Williams. P.S. Your vagina's in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I crap my pants. <laughs> it's funny when it happens to other people. Yeah, that's the end of those underwears. I didn't know what to do, so I took them off and hummed them at the wall, and they started sliding down like one of them sticky octopuses. Well, it's a pretty funny joke, you know, when you think about it. Your vagina's in the sink. <laughs> Damn it! You make the Pope look like a fool. God will make you pay. Smite them! Is you cooking something up? Why don't you just lay back and relax, loosen up them trousers. Now feel the air between them toes. Feel a gentle wind blowing the hair on them legs, freezing up on through the rest of your body, through your private areas, through your anus. Now let's go back in your mind to your childhood, to some of your deepest memories, maybe some that aren't so happy. You know, the anus has the second highest density of nerve endings in the body. Ghost that never lies, did you witness the events that took place on that fateful day? You did. Well, how interesting. And uh, do you see the culprit or culprits in this courtroom today? You do? Yeah. Well, would you kindly point him or them out for this court? Don't point at me, you jackass! Next up, stay tuned for our special investigative report on the clitoris. Nature's Rubik's Cube. Is he telling it? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! Fuck you guys! Well, if we're gonna hide out here in Asian Town, we have to find a place to live. Yes, and we should do nothing to draw attention to ourselves as outsiders. Oh my god, it's Jackie Chan! Oh my god, it's Jackie Chan! Oh my god, it's Jackie Chan! Hi there, always nice to meet a fan of my movies. Oh my god, you're Ethan Hawke! Uh, no I'm not. Sorry, my mistake. Oh my god, it's Ethan Hawke! Mom, can we go get some food? Oh my god, it's Malcolm in Middle! I'm not a boy! Yes, you are. I remember when I became a man. The operation was a success. What are you going to go by now? 
Peter. Oh, damn. I say, I seem to have sewn a shoe to my hand. May I go to the nurse? Replace him! Ah! So, basically, you can eat from any tree you want except this one. Can we sit underneath it? You know, I would just not go near it at all. Nothing else has worked so far. So I'll wish upon a star. Wondrous dancing speck of light. I need a Jew. Excellent. As soon as I release this biological toxin into the world's water supply, I will rule the world. I'll call it Lou Gehrig's disease. I just have to remember to make sure this cap is screwed on tight. Well, I guess the joke's on me. I'm, I'm not seeing anything about German history between 1939 and 1945. There's just a big gap. Everyone goes on vacation. <laughs> Okay, uh, l l let me just go ahead and stop you right there. Y you sound terrible, all right? Y you're doing this thing, which is just, uh, you know, what, what the hell is that? I mean, hey, and, and you look like if I touched you, you'd be sticky, and frankly, you smell bad. You're pretty much offensive to all five senses. That's only four. Well, uh, actually, you know when you smell something and it gets stuck in there and you can sort of taste it? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm tasting you right now, and it tastes awful. Truly disgusting, like salty garbage. Yeah, I totally taste it. And everybody at Daddy's company? You bet. Are you out of your mind? Keep it up, Lois. I might fire you. You wouldn't. Does the name Lacey Chabert mean anything to you? Okay, I'll behave. Yes, you will. Look, Peter, all I'm saying is those guys have been with Daddy for years. How are you supposed to run that company without them? That's it, Lois. You're fired. Chris, you are now Meg's mother. <laughs> Ooh, Peter, your muscles are so muscly. I am going to plow you so hard later. Ashley Simpson. If you're going to be a TV producer, you've got to be open to collaboration. So everybody just gets to stick their big chef spoon into my comedy gumbo, eh? Well, no deal. You know something? I like your passion. Okay, we'll do the show, and we'll do it your way. No. Well, that was a miscalculation. Sir, we have a best man giving a toast at a wedding, and he is just bombing. Put it up on the screen. Jim's, Jim's so clumsy, it's like he's got two <coughs> left feet and left hands. Permission to go to the bride is a whore file, sir. Permission granted. Anyway, if Sheila was a road sign, it would read, Open Trench. <laughs> Please go out with me. I'm just trying to make Neil jealous. I promise I'll pay and everything. Yeah, uh, that sounds cool, but I'm going to be in the hospital that night. First question, who's the biggest, toughest guy in this house? Well, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I believe I hold the distinction of... My house now, bitch! Now who's the funniest? I know my way around a joke. For God's sake, Dad, have some humility, it'll save your life! Wow, it looks like Michael Jackson's coming right at me! What is that smell? It's my poop bucket. What the hell? I'm used to going to the bathroom in my room. That's disgusting! No, you use the toilet here like everyone else. No. Ah, uh, God, it smells horrible. Well, can you at least empty it each time you use it? I like to fill it up. I'm not making a million trips. Oh my God, are you using my shirts as toilet paper? Yeah, and I think I might need some right now. Get out now or stay and get weird. Your call, warden. Though by many they're abhorred, he poo people I've adored. Even though they killed my lord, I need a Jew. Hey, Meg. Are you?
you going to take those soda cans to the Shaw Skank Redemption Center? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is one fine day to be nude. Yeah, this is one fine day to be nude. The birds are saying, Clinton, have a wonderful spring. And people walking by can stop and look at my thing. Oh, this is one fine day to... Liberal Joby Chaser! Oh, <laughs> well, if you can't laugh at yourself. Punch yourself in the face. <laughs> Punch yourself in the face. <laughs> All right, he doesn't know what he's doing. You fat, so punch your baby in the face. Mr. President, I present to you Peter Griffin. <laughs> you got your poison? Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three. You, you didn't do it! You didn't do it either! Okay, okay, all right, well, this time we really have to do it. Okay, all right, you okay. ready? Okay, okay. One, One two... two. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want me to kill myself and you're not going to! You suck! You suck! You suck! Oh, good morning, honey. That feels really good. That do what, what? Hey, hey, hey! What the hell? You're not the same giraffe from last night! Get out of here! What the hell? No, 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 no! I gotta stop taking my baths during Peter's shenanigans. Hi, my name's Max Weinstein. My car just broke down. May I use your phone? Now my troubles are all through. I have a jewel. Hey! Hey, I'm gonna eat y'all. I'm gonna eat that hairy leg. I'm gonna eat that one, too. Hope I can see right up them shorts. I got a whole bunch of rows of teeth to chew you with. Dina, Dina, Dina. Oh, now, wait a minute. I did have a chubby kid on a raft earlier today. It's okay, though. I've been swimming a lot lately. Mmm, yummy, mmm. You know, sometimes I feel like someone should just crucify Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth. Nazareth. Oh, my God. God! Shut up! No, you shut up! I'm Judas! Pontius! This is so weird, because just today I was thinking about how I wanted to find the Son of God and nail him to some wood. Well, let's go find him and kick his ass. That sounds swell. Think I'll go for a walk outside now. The summer sun's calling my name. I'm a super huge mega lesbian. Oh, good. You'll fit in with the other mega lesbians. My heart's on fire. Hail Vira. Giddy up, boom, pa, boom, pa, pa, mow, mow. Giddy up, boom, pa, boom, pa, pa, mow, mow. A bit of breaking news a local family is forced out of their home by ghosts. Who are they gonna call? <sighs> Ghostbusters, Tom? No, Diane, they're insurance company. That's just stupid what you said. <laughs> Didn't realize Greenberg was a Jedi name. Oh, hey, Jillian. Congratulations on your upcoming nuptials. Oh, are they showing? Oh, it's a really thin bra. Wow, Derek, that's pretty good French you speak there. He also speaks orange. Mandarin, honey. Mandolin. All this singing is contagious. I'll sing, too. Adam West, Adam West, a little bit softer now. Adam West, Adam West, Adam West, Adam West. I'll come out when they're all gone. Yeah! <laughs> Now, what are your thoughts on a wedding singer? Oh, I thought that maybe I would just DJ the wedding myself. I already made a playlist on this. A box of Junior Mints? This isn't an iPod? Your Junior Mints play MP3s? My iPod is chocolate? Well, be that as it may or not be that, I was thinking I could be your wedding singer. We now return to The Ghost Whisperer. I don't understand. Why do all you ghosts come to me? You're, you're really... I mean, you, you have a knack for... We, we, we just trust you. Men, form up Cripple Tron! Yeah! 
Nobody puts baby in a corner. I do, because I'm her father and she's 16. What are you, like 38? 41. So Grandma Hebrew Berg is actually Jewish? Yes. When she moved to America, her family changed their name. It was originally Hebrew Berg Money Grabber. Meg's as cool as the other side of the pillow. <gasps> Billy D. Williams. Hello, Peter. Welcome to the cool side of the pillow. You've had a hard day. Rest that weary head of yours and drift on off to dreamland. <sighs> Works every time. Blah, 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 Lincoln assassinated, blah, 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 tragedy for our republic. Uh, oh, look, ably performed by the entire ensemble. That's us. <gasps> That's all of us. All right. The doctor will be in in a few minutes. The police are gone? Oh, my God. We're finally safe. Go long! Ugh, sorry about that, man. Are you dead? Yeah, whatever. I was gonna off myself on Tuesday anyway. Yeah, this Judaism thing is gonna be better than I thought. All right, class. That's all for today's lesson. Now everyone off to gym class. All right, today we're gonna play soccer. Huh, that was easy. Oh, this is an even bigger jackpot than when the Emperor figured out the formula for great Star Wars dialogue. Something, 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 dark side. Something, 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 complete. Hey, Chris, you want to practice kissing again? I'm busy. I set up a video camera last night so I can prove to Mom and Dad that the evil monkey is real and I want to see what I got. Jews are gross, Lois. It's the only religion with the word ew in it. Huh, nothing. Wow, deodorant! Are you sure I'm old enough? Oh, I think so. I'm going to make you a little less gross every day. Well, here he is. The evil monkey. Do you believe me now? Holy crap. It is real. Oh, my God. I thought I was the only one. Meg, we're, do we're, doing, we're doing Chris's monkey. Oh, my God. You've missed so much. Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar. How can you not like me? Okay, I'll tell you. You are the worst person I know. You constantly hit on your best friend's wife. The man pays for your food and rescued you from certain death, and this is how you repay him? And to add insult to injury, you defecate all over his yard. Peter, how are we gonna get past the guard? Lois, I think I just got an idea. You see that guy with the overcoat? He's tall enough for us to sneak in behind him. Come on! Ugh, look, there's Brody Jenner. God, what a douchebag. I can't believe that came out of Bruce Jenner's vagina. Bruce Jenner is a man. No, Brian. That's what the press would have you believe, but he's not. Bruce Jenner is a woman. An elegant, beautiful Dutch woman. Uh, okay, so, uh, you're free to go. But we're cool, right? I've been reading up on things that sound sexy. Oh, Brian, I can't wait till after dinner, because then we'll go home and you can watch me have my period. What the hell's wrong with you? That's not sexy. Catholicism and Judaism are not that different. They're two sides of the same coin. In fact, the Last Supper, one of the most iconic images of the Catholic faith, was a Passover Seder. 
And if I'm not mistaken, Islam is also in that same spiritual family. Uh, let's not muddy things up here. And what really bothers me is you pretend you're this deep guy who loves women for their souls when all you do is date bimbos. Yeah, I date women for their bodies, but at least I'm honest about it. I don't buy them a copy of Catcher in the Rye and then lecture them with some seventh grade interpretation of how Holden Caulfield is some profound intellectual. He wasn't. He was a spoiled brat. And that's why you like him so much. He's you. God, you're pretentious. And you delude yourself by thinking you're some great writer, even though you're terrible. You know, I should have known Cheryl T. Teagues didn't write me that note. She would have known there's no A in the word definite. Hey, Juice. Uh, is it all right if I call you Juice? Great. Uh, listen, I was wondering if you could give me a little advice on how to murder a woman and get away with it. Oh, cool. Look at that. Hey, Chris, go long. Ah! Ah! Touchdown! Good grief. O.J. Simpson has moved to Quahog. We don't have footage of the murder itself, but we can show you what happened thanks to this reenactment by the Quahog Opera Company. I love you, Nicole, but I must confess to some trepidation, for I am a lonely waiter who loves a last of a station. You look like rappers, but you're not black, so that's the perfect amount of danger. I'll join your dance game. How do we know you're any good? My husband draws Nicole, I'm back from filming the third Naked Gun movie. Oh, horror, you have betrayed me. Al Cowling said it would be so. Hey, Joe, I didn't see a thing. And I think what I hate most about you is your textbook liberal agenda, how we should legalize pot, man, how big business is crushing the underclass, how homelessness is the biggest tragedy in America. Well, what have you done to help? I work down at the soup kitchen, Brian. Never seen you down there. You want to help? Grab a ladle. Oh, it's you. Um, I'm not in right now. Please leave a message. Beep. Oh, man, I hate these things. Uh, yeah, hi, this is Peter Griffin. Uh, I'm sorry I missed you. Uh Peter, play with this. Look, sir, I have reviewed this contract, and it offers no coverage at all. It just says volcano insurance over and over again. And down here in small print, it says, he's signing it, he's signing it, I can't believe it. I rode into town on an ass. Yo mama's ass. Put your head between these two restrained logs and win a free hat. Well, that's a no-brainer. Come on, you fat fuck. Do it. <laughs> Who's laughing now? I got my hat. The kingdom of God is inside you. At least it will be in a second. Driving a Prius doesn't make you Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, you don't believe in Jesus Christ, or any religion for that matter, because religion is for idiots. Well, who the hell are you to talk down to anyone? You failed college twice, which isn't nearly as bad as your failure as a father. How's that son of yours you never see? We don't want you in our town, Simpson. We don't love you like we did in 1993. Don't! And as for you, O.J., we don't want you here either. <laughs> Her airways jammed. Come on now, just like that. <laughs> I need some gravitational help. Oh no, her clothes are constricting, as are mine. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Jerome. You saved my life. Um, I'll have what she's having. What does the discovery of this black hole mean to you and your research? I am overjoyed. This is the crowning achievement of my career. It validates the work of a lifetime. It certainly does. Back to you, Tom. All right, we're clear. I'm telling you, man, this shtick is getting so old. That chair smells, dude. Hey, Steve, surf's up! Bitchin'! See ya, Ching Chong. The. Dog. And. My. Mom. And. This. Handkerchief. And. Twenty. Birds. And. Peter! Jeez! And... Peter, hang on a sec. You're not contributing. I'm doing it. You're not adding information. Well, one of you guys says Thanksgiving. I got a good idea where to go with it. But since we're all gonna die, there's one more secret I feel I have to share with you. 
I did not care for the Godfather. What? Did not care for the Godfather. Uh, how can you even say that, Dad? Didn't like, didn't like it. Peter, it's so good. It's this, like the perfect movie. I, this is what everyone always says. Whenever they say, oh, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino. I, I mean, you listen, never see... Robert Duvall! I, no, I, no, fine, fine actor. Did not like the movie. You're just a big, sad, alcoholic bore. <sighs> I'll see you, Brian. Thanks for the fucking steak. I'm gonna get myself kicked out. Just like I got kicked out of Coldplay. Guys, guys, I got an idea. How about we do a song that's not whiny bullshit? You know, when you talk, you sound a lot like my father-in-law, Carter Pewterschmidt. Oh, that's funny. He's a patient of mine. Here's my urine sample, doctor. Thank you, Mr. Pewterschmidt. Oh, hi, Peter. You know, Peter says we sound alike. Really? I don't hear it. Actually, I think I do hear it now. Really? Yeah, you know, we've never really had any extended interaction, so I've never noticed it. Hey, I think I hear it too. Seems lazy, doesn't it? Well, there's only so many voices in the world. Some of them are bound to be similar. Fuck. Chris, watch your language. No, that's how you say seal in French. Fuck! He's right, Lois, look. And here, I'll help you remember. What's this? A lazy fuck. Good. Dumb fuck. Good. Sick fuck. Good. Sick twisted fuck. Good. Cluster fuck. Ugly fucking bitch. Wow, those are the Russian people? I mean, granted, you do think of bears on unicycles when you think of the Russian people, but they're all bears on unicycles? Bears on unicycles, everyone. So what do we do now? We're undercover U.S. agents in a hostile foreign territory. We just gotta make sure we don't do anything that makes us stick out. Hey, they're not bears on unicycles. You are under arrest. Oh, time to lose this costume. Because <laughs> we're in Russia. We especially don't like the way you hump that chair in the den. Well, Rupert seems to like my humping. What did you say? Rupert. Humped him for two hours yesterday. He just laid there and took it. Did he? Yeah. And now every time you're sleeping with him, he's going to be thinking of me. All life on Earth will be destroyed within 24 hours. Oh my god! Mom, is, is this for real? Well, it sure looks that way, sweetie. It's the end of the world. Holy crap! Seems like I've run out of waiting time. Hey, I'm Stewie Griffin, and I'm going to be kicking my dad's ass all day today. No, no, stop! Ah! Ah! No, get up! No, get up! Ah! Ah! Come on! Come on, Stewie! You're acting crazy out there, man! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, yeah! <gasps> mm. Oh, you know who I saw at the market today? Patty Croft. Oh, and she has gotten fat. Baby needs to suck ash. Baby needs to suck ash. Not ass, you pervert. Save it for the intern. Aren't you a little young to be traveling alone? Aren't you a little old to be wearing braces? Excuse me, do you mind if we switch seats so my family can sit all together? No, we, we don't. We, we don't switch. Because uh, when we booked, they didn't have three together. Ma'am, ma'am. Your poor planning does not constitute an emergency for me. You'll see him in Paris. Go sit down. My baby. What? I say, let go of me. Consuela, we're leaving. My baby. Hey, she says it's her baby, man. Now get out of here. He's my baby, Ernesto. No, I'm not, I'm not Ernesto. Okay, this is so messed up right now. Pacific Rim economy is still a tad shaky for my taste. Oh, oh, stop it, stop it. Now, look here, you can't become a bloody fiscal hermit crab every time the Nikkei undergoes a self-correction. Asia's market has nowhere to go but up. Interesting. Indeed. Brother, please, you're the one who's tripping. Go on, cry home to your mama. She waiting for you. Now, don't make me put my size 13s up your narrow ass. I don't sweat you. Bring it on, bitch. Now, how are you going to act? Jeez. Bringing that trash in here. This is my house. A jackal! Jackal! It's a jackal! It looks like a jackal! 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 It's a jackal! Jackal! Time! It wasn't right the first time you said it! Why the hell would it be right the next ten times? Gah! 
Ooh, there's Joe. Say, Joe, I think you're cool. Joe, I think you're cool. Well, thank you, Brian. That's gonna get me through the rest of this yard work. No, just kidding, you suck. No, just kidding, you suck. Queer. Queer? Do you think that's part of God's infinite plan? I think your whole religion is a sham just so you can get extra holidays off from work. Oh, gotta go. It's Buchwoch. This is the treasure, Bri. You want a Vicodin? Isn't it dangerous to do drugs 10,000 feet in the air? Yeah, exactly. What the hell? Never gonna die! Your friend is like the coolest guy I've ever had up here. Hey, Brian, check it out. Meg's poking around the cargo hold. I'm gonna give her a little scare. way someone's a doctor here. Don't look at us, you pig. Take your juicy sweatpants and your dirty pillow from home and your bucket of coke and get the hell out of my sight. What was her problem? I want my money, man! Stewie, listen, this is crazy. You got- OH MY GOD! Alright, let's go to the bank. Hey, hey, Lois, you want some beans with that, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I misjudged you, fat man. Damn it! Peter, what's wrong with you? Wait, 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 Lois, Lois, don't move. Stewie's loving this. <laughs> oh, see if she's got any cash on it. What's that thumping noise? It's your tail. Stop wagging your tail. I can't help it. Do something. Mm. Uh, oh, damn it. I meant hold it, not cut it off. You weren't specific. I've never done this before. Are you okay, Brian? Yeah, I'm just so happy to meet you both. Uh, what the hell are you- cauterizing your tail. Trust me, I'm a nurse. I got the mint. Oh my god! Jimmy, what happened? Yes, Jimmy. What happened? I, I fell. Hey, Perez Hilton, how you doing, bitch? Good, bitch. How are you, bitch? Good, bitch. What's new, bitch? Nothing, bitch. Cool, bitch. Bitch. What did you say? Rupert. Humped him for two hours yesterday. He just laid there and took it. Did he? Yeah. And now every time you're sleeping with him, he's gonna be thinking of me. You got the stuff? Yeah, I got it. Where's the money, huh? I want to see the money. No, no, no. You don't see the money till I see the stuff. Oh, for God's sake, there's only one way to put an end to this nuisance. He's wearing a wire! What? You son of a... <sighs> you know, Mother, this could almost have passed for a palatable banana pudding, but without Nilla wafers, it's just another one of your wretched culinary abortions. <laughs> now clean it up! Please, sir. I want some more. More? All right, stop it. Stop it right there. Now go on, fill up the bowl. Go on. That's it. Now, put on this dress. Put it on! Now dance. Hey, Stewie, how about Daddy teaches you how to swim? Go away, fat man. Pardon me, sir. S sir? Sir? Go the hell with this. So, we had to do it the hard way, hmm? Six bucks! Nice looking wife you've got. Maybe I'll look her up while you're in the hospital. Don't forget your lemonade. Do you want to pick me up? Do you, do you want... Do you want to pick me up? 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 Okay, I gotta go. Stewie and I are headed out to the beach. Oh, I didn't tell you? He's learning to swim. Oh, I got him the cutest swim trunks at Kohl's. You've never been to Kohl's? Well, let me tell you about Kohl's. <sighs> All right, well, you know the mall with the chilies? It's across the street. <laughs> Bonnie? Bonnie, are you there? What happened? Let's go! Hang on, I got another call. Hello? Lois, I'm at the gym. I hate it here. I want to come home. Everybody's so mean, and there's this one guy who follows me around and calls me fat. Well, I suppose I... Hang on, honey, I'm getting another call. 
Hello? Hey, is fat ass home yet? Put him on, I want to talk to him. Anyway, I need you to drive me to Middleborough. Middleborough? That's like two hours from here, I'm not doing that. Come on, Brian, tell you what, you drive me to Middleborough, and I'll teach you my secret to picking up chicks. Hey, you, me, baboom, huh? Look at me! I'm having a magical aerial adventure because my family has disposable income. Here you go. What is this? It's a pamphlet on why I'm bombing you. Ah! 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 Look! Look! Do you like it? Yes. What do you like about it specifically? I don't know. Pick something or I'll blow your brains out! I like... how it looks like an owl. Thank you for the compliment! <laughs> Make fun of his wheelchair. What? What? Do it! Say, ha 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 ha, you're in a wheelchair. Ha 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 ha, you're in a wheelchair. What's that supposed to mean? Say, I bet you can't get a boner. I bet you can't get a boner. That's not very nice, Brian. Neither is your mother's ass. Neither is your mother's ass. Well, I'll give you that one. Look! This girl is making out with a baby! A nude baby! <gasps> ah! Hey! That's right. To hell with you all. I am who I am. Brian, look what I won! Wow, what'd you win that for? For having the best pig in the competition. Wait, you bred a pig? Sure did. Most genetically perfect one in the contest. Oink! Oh my god! Yes, he's something, isn't he? Are those fists? Damn right, show him, pig! file it as an accessory structure, and even then it can only be built at the rear of the lot. And the Care Bear is just a Care Bear. <gasps> oh my god! I knew this day would come! Rupert, we're under attack by monsters! Dear god! All right, you undead bastards! Time to send you back to hell! Ah! <laughs> Hello, Santa! Now, um, we've got a slight problem here, because I have been rather naughty. But you're a businessman, I'm a businessman. I'm sure we can work something out. Brian, knock it off! Aw, oh, man. You jackass! Hey, who the hell are you? Uh, hello? What are you doing in my house? We're Santa Claus. Zzz. Yeah, you're Santa Claus. That's why you broke in through the window. I'm calling the cops. What the hell did you do? He was gonna call the cops, man. Uh, duh, he's still alive. Yes. Hey! Do you have any idea what time it is? Get in the house, fatty! Meg! Meg, I'm hungry! There's a granola bar in the cupboard. I want it! Hey! Hey! What's this? What's going on? Am I talking to myself up there? Oh my god, Stewie, just shut up and go to bed! Do you know what I do, Meg? I spit in your mouth while you sleep. And the Grammy for Album of the Year goes to... Justin Timberlake. <laughs> ha! It actually goes to Nelly. Nelly. Gavin. That's a stupid name. And nobody likes you at school. You're gonna be ugly when you grow up. And everything in your house is cheap. And it smells in here. Oh, hey, Brian. Bye! We now return to Rational Geographic. Upon realizing a trip to Africa would be smelly and gross, our crew decided to stay in the office. Oh, Peter, I'm gonna have to call the police on this. What? Why? It's to get our wives back to get it. Peter, these are hundreds of naked babies in suggestive situations, and they're time-stamped as far back as 1998, which is way before we had this idea. I need help. It'll flatten any Jew. Simply climb behind the wheel, drive it towards a Jew, and flatten him. Could you also use it just to drive from place to place and stuff? It, it's a Jew flattening machine. It, it's not what it's designed for. But you could use it that way. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could also use the Mona Lisa as a placemat. Always fight for what you believe in, like Patrick Henry. Give me liberty or give me death. Oh, that was easy. I know, right? Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You do the paperwork, Ryan. Where do you think you are? This isn't a doctor's office. This is the pound. You're being euthanized. What? Jess is having me put down? Oh my god, this can't be happening! Did you also eat a kid? These camps don't sound fun at all. Well, Chris, camp is only as fun as you make it. That's how it was in World War II.
Don't suppose it would help to say I have a note from my doctor. <laughs> Get in there, you. <sighs> what the hell? Oh, for God's sakes, where's that white noise machine? Let me get this straight. None of you guys has ever heard of Bono? He says he knows you. Daddy, what the hell are you doing? You throw Peter in jail? Hey, Pumpkin, welcome. Whatever you do, don't tell them you have a clitoris. Yeah, they told me that at the embassy. Oh, see? Laughter is the best medicine. Please, sir, I'm in so much pain. Shut up and listen to my material. Huh, what's this? Bedpan, Peter Pan. Oh, next stop is Neverland. Come, Wendy, fly with me. Ho, ho. What are you doing here? I thought you were having Thanksgiving with your parents. Chris got caught watching Cousin Katie pee, so that kind of ended things. No, I wanted to get caught. That's... it's part of it. Nice spot, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great, especially because of that thing over there. You know what's in there? Corn. Really? Wow, I could go for some corn. <laughs> <laughs> You're dark, Raj. I don't care. Yeah, brown family. Oh, oh, my goodness, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I write descriptions of my patients to help me remember them. No, it's okay. Our last name is Brown. Oh, okay. Phew. Ah, then this must be Chubster Dum Dum. My God, I almost didn't do it. I almost didn't do it. I thought, is this in bad taste? But you know what? I went for it. I went for it, and I am so glad I did. Oh, worth it. Totally worth it. I assume you heard of the alphabet. You want to explain to me how Sammy Popsicle comes before napping various? Jeez, I'm sorry. Well, can we watch Lost Boys? I've heard of that one. Those? Those are different Lost Boys. Blind Justice. He lost his sight, but not his vision. I need you to go down to 54th and Main. Talk to the suspect's wife. While you're there, see if you can get a sample of his hair to match his DNA. All right, I'm on it. In local news, there was a hit and run by a drunk driver today at Quahog Park. Two children are missing. <gasps> I was just there. <laughs> hey, there's that guy who got killed by a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. How'd you guys die? We bit kids. Woo! Biting kids! Yeah, unpettable! I miss biting kids. That reminds me, I've got to send this back where it came from. Hmm. Starting to think that guy wasn't a real modeling agent. And I'm starting to think that other guy wasn't a real penis butt inspector. What the hell happened to all the smart genes in this family? I mean, I invent the razor blade comb, and my kids are doing nothing. I mean, when Chris grows up, will he even be able to get a job or, or take care of himself? And what's he gonna do when we die? Well, there's a new procedure that, if administered immediately, should restore his ability to walk. $200,000. We also have a wheelchair. $60. Okay. They're going with B. So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> You stay out my store! All you stay out my store! I remember you face! Hey now, I'm an excellent night nurse, so you two get some much deserved sleep and don't worry about a thing. I will take such loving care of this wonderful little gift, and when you wake up well rested, your precious little baby will be smiling as bright as the sun. It's dead. Well, I got the results of your ultrasound, and I got some news for you. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, okay. Well, it's not breathing. Hey, Meg, I stood outside Planned Parenthood for 36 hours, and here are the pictures of every girl in your class who went in. All right, good. Now I want you to call them as if you're their dead baby. Really? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, I could use the money, and I'm getting kind of tired of my old job. Only a half a point divides our top two competitors as we enter the last event, the Meg Roll. 
I'm sorry, Chris. Jerome just doesn't think his daughter should date a white guy. Black racism is the biggest problem facing this country today. What? I, I can't, I can't believe. I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real butter. Your husband murdered three children. Oh my God, this is so much faster than Firefox. <laughs> All right, let me go to Facebook. F A. It's auto-filling, fat butt rodeo. Peter! You were supposed to stay on Firefox. <laughs> the Secret Service did on November 23rd, 1963. All right, guys, I know that yesterday was a rough one for us, but it's with great pride that I'm going to turn this zero into a one. All right! Nichols, you should go home and change. That can't be good for you. Dr. Hartman said you were done with that thing. I'm not going to listen to that bozo. Of course I'm still wearing it. Watch me jump this line. Excuse me, I have scoliosis. Excuse me, scoliosis coming through. Hey, pal. Polio. A thousand apologies. I'm really, really sorry about your big noses. I'm really sorry about how greedy you are. But most of all, I'm really sorry about your dirty, underhanded, backstabbing ways. Your number one dirty Jew fan, Mel Gibson. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, free time. Farewell, sex. So long, golf on TV. I'll miss you, privacy. Goodbye being honest about how many beers I've had. Nice knowing you, my own choices. See you later, money. We now return to the NBA on TNT on LSD. Man, I'm out my mind! We now return to Meredith Baxter in Raped by a Clown. It was awful. He made me do things. Awful things. What kinds of things? I don't even want to talk about it. Here's my post office key. I need you to go downtown and get the stuff from my P.O. box. You, you don't get your mail here? No, I get a lot of private correspondence from the Netherlands. Like what? Like, I'm part of a group that kind of trashes Anne Frank's house every year to go to the library to wipe boogers in fancy books. I like to wipe mine in Bronte novels. It's like a time bomb to gross out lonely chicks. Oh, Heathcliff. Oh, come on! I want so little! I figured the day you came home with a girl, we'd have to back her through the garage. A little further, a little further, a little further. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, all right. Now, do you prefer Fatty or Miss Boombaletti? Oh my God, the president's been shot! If you ask me, the president's the lucky one. How's that? He doesn't have to sit through the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. President! Mr. President, up here! I voted for you! Wait a minute. That guy on the grassy knoll's got a gun. He's gonna shoot the president. Holy smokes, I've gotta do something. All right, Lee, time to become an American hero. Oh my God, you've missed so much. Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! I can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> oh, wow, that was super loud. The next day, I quit my job and was in no way run out of the industry for groping a busboy in Nantucket. It was a joke! I was razzing the guy! Come on! I got a new job at a fake movie fast food restaurant. God, why are movies so bad at naming restaurants? Welcome to Mr. Smiley's Burger Town Ville Land. Would you like to try a large McIntyre? Yes, my lover and I will each have adultery burgers. Second window. <laughs> Two adultery burgers. <gasps> Lester! <laughs> Listen, let's not make a big scene here. We can talk about this when You we get don't get to tell me. What to do anymore? We need more ketchup. All right, there are some things you can tell me to do. After that, I started lifting weights in my garage. But I lost track of a spider that crawled behind the heavy ones, so I had to use the dainty weights ladies walk with. Oh, hey, you got those drugs? Yep, right here. Oh, my God. Look at that plastic bag. So beautiful. Do you do a lot of the drugs yourself? I do, yes. Okay, let me just get on my knees and roll a joint at crotch level like all drug dealers do.
Right, and I'll just lean back away from the drugs like all drug users do. What the hell? I'm Stewie Griffin. <clears throat> and don't ever let me catch you guys in Quahog. <laughs> Hey, Stewie. What the hell is that? Well, if I'm gonna disappear into nothing, I might as well bang my mom. Hey, Lorraine, wait up! Hi! My name's Marty! I'm in a picture! To be contenders! If I'm gonna disappear into nothing, I might as well bang my mom. Hey, Lorraine, wait up! Hi! My name's Marty! I'm in a picture! To be contenders! Lois, I'm so sorry. I promise I'll make it up to you tonight. We can watch any stupid movie you want. Sorry, I've already got plans. What do you... What do you mean, plans? I'm going to the country club dance with Glenn. I wanted to surprise you with the invitation last night, but you never showed up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get ready. Peter, the country club dance is where Lois said she fell in love with Quagmire. If they kiss at that dance, you're finished. You're right, Brian. We gotta stop him. And I think I know how. <laughs> Peter! Oh, God, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're right. Let's go to the dance. Rising up, back on the street. Did my time, took my chances. Now, where's my chicken palm from last night? Oh, I, uh, I ate it. You ate it? Yeah, there was no name on it. It was just sitting there. Is there a problem? No. No. No problem. Peter, I'm home from the market. I got steak sandwiches on ciabatta. Oh, that's way better than chicken parm. I'm going to have it with my last can of cream soda. Uh, actually, I finished that, too. That's okay, Brian. Let's take a ride and get some at the grocery store. Pull over here. I gotta take a leak. Leave the gun. Take the cream soda. Refrigerator Meg here, having one of my favorite snacks, french fry sandwiches on white bread. Bad sugars and starches are the bomb. Meg's feet are gone. Rotted. I have a gift for knowing when something bad happens to someone's legs. Kind of like a shine. How you doing, Doc? Yeah. <laughs> The solarium is at the far end of the west. Come play with us, Stewie. Forever and ever and ever. Yeah, fall work and no play makes Stewie a dull boy. Peter, bingo was Joe's favorite thing. Now you go over there and take him with you, or I don't want you going at all. Hey, 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 don't try to take this away from me. This is the only thing I've ever been good at. Well, this and timing my farts to a thunderstorm.
Why don't we all go ahead and turn to page six in the handout. The first thing you're going to notice is a bar graph. And what that is, is to indicate our international sales, which peaked, of course, oh, yeah. during the last quarter. But now we're expecting that to drop off as we enter the colder weather. The storm's moving away. Hey, good morning. Oh, good morning, Brian. Oh, that's a lovely fragrance you're wearing. What is it? Oh, this? This is uh, Hart's Mountain Flea Dip. Kills ticks, fleas, and mosquitoes. It's very potent. Almost as potent as the inspiration you give me to plumb the deepest fathoms of my soul for a literary bounty of truth and loveliness. <laughs> so much better. Because I'm not afraid of a challenge, like that time I out Michael Moore. Hi, dear. How you doing? What the hell is his problem? I don't know. He's acting worse than you did when you tried to cover your farts by coughing. Okay, welcome to the PTA meeting. On the subject of school lunches, I know there's been some concern about nutrition. <coughs> uh, we've had complaints about the soda machines. <coughs> and I have spoken with the school board. <coughs> <sighs> is there something you'd like to say, Mr. Griffin? Uh, no. No. No, I'm good. <coughs> If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, actually, I do. Are your other senses better on account of you can't hear? Like, can you smell my farts before they even come out? Because I got one in the pocket right now, and I want to know if I need to feel self-conscious about it. I can't smell it, no. I might be able to see it, though. A lot of people make small movements with a fart. They twist their eye or something. Oh, like subtle giveaways, huh? All right, well, uh, tell me if you can see when it happens. You just farted. Oh my god, you saw that? You can see all my tiny, subtle movements? You just did it again. Well, this is gonna be a delight. <laughs> Early on, Jim Morrison had terrible stage fright, so he performed with his back to the crowd. The only thing that calmed his nerves was what everyone was using back then, strawberry Nesquik. It upset his stomach terribly because of his lactose intolerance, a condition that would escalate to full-on cream bigotry. Yeah, that's the stuff. And a one, two, three. Uh-oh. My fart's stuck in the pants. Well, get it out. We've got a show to do. We all feeling good tonight? I know I'm feeling good. <coughs> uh, this next one's called Break On Through. Yes, Break On Through. Oh, whoa, whoa, slow down there, Lois. Just because they're my kids and they all look like me doesn't mean we have anything in common. <gasps> Daddy! I've never felt proud of any of my children until now. Friedman, this blows. Huh?
see. This is exactly... Peter, I'm telling you, get yourself a secret credit card. You save yourself a lot of stress. Thanks, Cleveland. Oh, this is going to make my life so much better. Like when I used to make fart balloon animals. All right, who's next? Can you make me a giraffe? Coming right up. There you go. Don't pop that, you'll throw up. Oh, where did you find him? He found me. Look, there's a card in a nice paper store. Let's go walk around it slowly and let out tiny farts. Hmm, nice thick card stuck. Ah, yes, that's a very bright white. Ooh, Century Gothic font. Miss, this store is for tiny farts only. There's a lids next door for that sort of thing. <laughs> Peter, your fart didn't go off until 8.30. Get up, we're late. Oh, what the hell? What, what, what? Peter, it, it, it's horrible. Other people live here. Oh, my God. How did this happen? It's from smoking. It's not that bad. I'm impressed. How did you free yourself from the bindings? I found a hacksaw and sawed through my hands. Why didn't you saw through the ropes? Hacksaw hindsight is 2020, Lois. The important thing is I stitched my hands back on with Twizzlers. All right, fat guy fight rules. We grab at each other's shirts until we're out of breath and then a three minute break. Got it. Should we just take a three minute break now? Agree. It turned into a pudding break. Wait, 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 wait! I didn't get to lick the lid! Now for the final download. Everything in your mind. <gasps> Joke's on you. There's nothing in there. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Mm. I mean, mmm, there he is, Brian the dog. What's going on here? Why are you using my full name? All right, let's cut to the chase. I like chases. Okay, look, I'm seeing this woman, and there's something different about her. I mean, it's not just that the sex is great, which it is, but I appreciate her as a person, which sounds kind of weird coming out of my mouth. Anyway, I told her I have a dog, so would you pretend to be my dog? Oh, well, well, well. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Brian, come on, I'm serious. Will you help me out? Glenn Quagmire, there are not enough tennis balls in the world for me I to... I have six. I'll do it. Hey, Lois. So, how was your first day of voiceover? Eh, it was nothing. Turns out I'm just doing very obscure European commercials. Uh, you know, I have got to get myself back out there, too. I haven't performed since I was in Stew Man Group. I don't get it! What is this? We don't know either. Oh, you know what? Hang on. I left my harmonica in the tub. I think Peter's in there taking a bath. Yeah, son of a bitch! What the hell did I just sit on? Where is it? Where's my harmonica? It's not here! Peter, have you seen Stewie's harmonica? It was in the tub. Oh my god! It was in the tub? And now it's in my butt! No! Stewie, Daddy needs your tiny hands for a very special project. Oh, crap, it's Carter. I bet he's mad I told the news about him. I'll just do what Superman does. Oh, hey, Carter. Hello, citizen. Have you seen Peter? Ah, oh, he was just here. Peter, give me the phone. Carol, hi, what's up? Oh, my God, that's terrible. Well, you know, Carol, sweetie, we are always here for you. Boy, Carol's lucky to have a sister like Lois. You're telling me. I always wanted a brother or sister, but instead I got a broster. Hey, Peter, you want to see my paginas? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. If I can just escape this quarantine and make it to the next town, I'll be able to get that vaccine I need. Stewie! I'm you from the future! You've got to get the hell out of town before you get sick! Yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm really here because I know you have glue. Give me the glue. 
Oh. Stewie, listen to me. Never, ever do this great thing I love. We begin with the 100 meter dash for people afraid of yellow tape. It's anybody's race now, Tom. And it's Odai Mutombo of Kenya. You going fishing again? Yes, Lois, I love fishing. Remember fishing was my not at all memorable job for two years? No. You don't remember my fishing boat? You don't remember Santos and Pasquale? Not even a little. They were like male consuelas. It was a mistake making them Portuguese, though. People don't even know what a Portuguese is. That's what I thought a Portuguese was. Me and my brain, huh? And we're just getting started. Well, first let me thank you for answering the ad. Now, what do you feel qualifies you to be an effective babysitter for Stewie? A gente é ótima com os meninos. Uh, yeah. Uh, we couldn't run an ad that said no Portuguese, but, um, no Portuguese. I'm sorry, Peter, but the government makes the rules. I just enforce them. I believe this, Joe. This is like living in Russia. I might as well just move there. You don't want to do that. It's dark, it's cold, and hooking up is just a crapshoot because of all the big coats. All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah! What am I going to do? I'm going to be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. Another good postal tip is if you wait to deliver your mail at night, you can smell a lot of really nice dinners. Oh no, it's that Amazon drone. Try to ignore it. Hey Cleveland, what are you doing? Taking a walk? No, I'm delivering mail. By foot? Yeah, that won't take too long. Well, gotta go. Gotta deliver these fat pants to your fat son. He was harsh, but not untruthful. We got a special order Cleveland Junior's pants from a company that manufactures grill covers. Well, Carol, I'm just saying it's a big decision. Your yeah, life is full of big decisions. Like deciding whether or not you're gonna have time to masturbate. Peter, I'm gonna run and pick up Stewie. I'll be back in five or ten minutes. Well, which is it? All right, Rupert, I left the fat man's entire porn collection on the curb for Goodwill to pick up. Oh, she's so cute. Can I keep her? Eh, I don't know. Can she set up a cutaway? Can I help you? And just like that, the Griffins have a cat. That's wonderful, Jenny. All right, Peter, do you have a story that you'd like to share? Oh, yeah, I got one. This one time, me and Joe and Quagmire made a bet to see who could drink the most beer and still drive. And you, you know that water slide in South Attleboro? <laughs> water slide! Oh, hi, Bonnie. What's up? Hi, Lois. Um, I hate to bother you, but I'm going out of town for a few days to visit my father in the hospital. I was hoping that while I was gone, you could look in on Susie and Joe. And go have sex with Quagmire. Quagmire! Oh, shucks. You can't blame a guy for trying. Giggity, giggity, giggity! They're the richest family in all of Rhode Island. <gasps> I must notify Gossip Girl. Pass this along to Gossip Girl. It's me. I'm Gossip Girl. Might be some problems later, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Hello? Peter did what? Well, I best be getting to work. It's nighttime. Boy, you said it. All right, take it easy. Peter, you get down from that tree this instant. No, you're gonna yell at me. You're damn right I'm gonna yell at you. You beat up a 13-year-old boy. He called me names. You're 43 and you just assaulted our neighbor's child. This is a very serious situation. Well, maybe you should have just had an abortion, Lois. Would that make you happy if I was never born? What? I'm going to prison, aren't I? Well, Lois, I gotta say, it's great to have you home from prison. Uh, it's great to be home.
Hey, I gotta ask, are you gonna stay that jacked forever? I don't know. Do you like it? I, I, I do, and I don't. You know, it, it, it was, it was nice being held up against a wall, but when you made me suck the hair dryer, I, I, I enjoyed it. I did, but I, I, I don't want to do that specific thing again. Well, that's too bad, cause I'm ready for round two. Just gotta make sure the kids don't come in. Now no one can get in, and no one can get out. Hands on the headboard, Chief. Yes, ma'am. Congratulations. You made Employee of the Month again. How come I'm never Employee of the Month? Man, this is the worst... Oh, don't be too hard on yourself, Peter. We all do things that we're not proud of. Well, I am gonna change. You hear me, Meg? If you come out of this, I am gonna treat you like a princess for the rest of your life. Because I've been a worse father than Abraham. You want to tell me what the that was? You'd be kidding me. Well, that's all right, Brian. We can go to my writing spot. Brian, look at my jump. Look at my jump. Look at my jump. Whoa! This place has the best pizza and Pepsi, Brian. Did you hear me? The best pizza and Pepsi. Whoa. And now my pizza and Pepsi. May I help you? Yes, 1950s doctor. Me and my friends are looking for- Your friends with a Negro and a cripple? This man is insane. Take him away. Ah. Now, wait a second. You can't do that to- A Negro speaking up to a white person? This man is insane. <laughs> now, look, I don't think- All cripples are insane. Euthanize this man. Ugh. Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. <sighs> this is a mess. It's working about as well as that animal sobriety checkpoint. Excuse me, sir. Is that a baggie of catnip on your seat? I have a card for that. What else you got in here? Open container of cat food? Feather on a string? Is that a dead mouse? <coughs> get him off me! <coughs> Somebody get him off me! <coughs> 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 Think catnip's a joke? Think again. Vote yes on increased animal sobriety checkpoints. Paid for by dogs. Why are we at a health food store? Well, we gotta get that ring out of you. And this is a place where people buy disgusting cereals to help them poop. Well, which one should we buy? I don't know, let's ask. Are there any gray-haired lesbian art teachers who can help us select a fiber cereal? This won't take long. We know your large dogs are tied up outside. <laughs> There's too many of them. We've got to start a chant so they'll file out into the street. All sex is rape. All sex is rape. All sex is rape. All sex is rape. When I first joined this cause, I was just trying to get this guy to poop. But now, we're this close to getting sex outlawed in the United States. <laughs> oh. Then I suppose your wife is entitled to know that you were still in love with me just days before your wedding. <gasps> Blackmail! Thank you, Cleveland. And I don't know what to call the thing you're doing to me, lady. Oh my god, this is everything I've dreamed of. Well, this and becoming a half-man, half-horse. Give up these legs? Don't be absurd. It's just like I said, he and Chris go together. Like peaches and cream. Peaches. Peaches, I'm sorry. Damn it! You could have at least given me some warning, at least a, a shoulder tap. I know, you're right. It's just that you're so beautiful, I can't control myself sometimes. Aw, I can't stay mad at you. How about a kiss? <laughs> no. Oh, no. I don't know. I've never played baseball before. Ah, oh, come on, Chris, you gotta do it. If you don't, you'll regret it. Just like Jesus' friend, Evan, who bailed on the Last Supper. Aw, they did a painting. I would have gone if I knew they were going to do a painting. Hey, Suey, you want to check out the go-kart I used in Days of Thunder? Yeah, listen, um, I just found out I'm actually going to be tall, so I'm no longer comfortable hanging out with someone whose teeth are bigger than their fingers. What? That's, that's barely true. Yeah, so see you later. You are making a big mistake, Stewie. Nobody walks away from Tiny Tom Cruise. 
Yeah, except for all three of your wives. Okay, I'm shutting this now. Okay, so... Bye! Y you're, uh, You're not gonna rape me, are you? Of course I'm not gonna rape you. I'm gonna make you fall in love with me. Then, we'll see what happens. Oh, no! It's already working! Okay, for our next exercise, let's play the oldly wed game. <laughs> Relax, it's just a questionnaire. <laughs> really? Whatever. I like liking things. Well, I got the results of your ultrasound, and I got some news for you. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, okay. Well, it's not breathing. Tonight, when they put that crown on my head, it's going to be the greatest night of my life. Even better than when I had my first kiss. Choo-choo! All aboard the Ladybug Express! But be careful, Peter. If this train slows to less than 50 miles an hour, then Sandra Bullock has to marry a neo-Nazi and act like she didn't know about it, and then overcompensate by adopting a black kid. Ah! Help! Ah! Ah! Holy crap! Ah! All right, we're Red Shirt, Blue Shirt, and here's a song we call Mommy and Daddy's Room, and we think it's one you can all relate to. When everybody's gone to sleep, and you've said goodnight, Moon, there's plenty of noise still coming from Mommy and Daddy's room. Oh, Daddy says please, Mommy says no. Daddy says come on, Mommy says whoa. Daddy goes uh, Mommy goes ow. Daddy says I'm done, Mommy goes wow. Daddy rolls over and falls asleep, Mommy drinks wine in the dark. Hey, wanna take a shower with me? Sure. Man, this is a pretty sweet gig. Like being a member of Daft Punk. Look at this old Casio keyboard from the 1980s that I have found. Watch what happens when I push this demo button. Hello, Daft Punk. Great song. Here's a Grammy. Oh, -ho! you know, it's funny. Until you spoke, I did not know we were French. Peter, when is Lois's birthday? Uh, let's see. When is Hitler's birthday? April 20th. Wow. Okay, Noel. Yikes. Ask that you not use the DVD player, but you can watch any of the VHSs. We have Clear and Present Danger, Son of the Mask. Oh, and here's most of a puzzle. Okay, well, I don't want any of that stuff. Fine. Well, if the phone rings and we're not around, just take a message. I'm kind of on vacation. Oh, and just a heads up, the dog doesn't like men. Now, we serve breakfast from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. I'll skip breakfast. Uh, everyone eats breakfast. I'm on vacation. All the more reason to treat yourself. The house specialty is a half-chewed trout we yanked out of the river with our teeth. That is the best, stuff. There you two are. Sit down and join us. I can't stay, Mom. Brian's showing me all of his favorite stuff to do. Getting spooked when the furnace goes on? We're participating in an autism walk. Looks like you're doing it right now. And we may be gone for a while, because after that we're going down to the Civic Center. Michael Ian Black is cocking his eyebrows for four hours. <laughs> he says the things we don't care to say. Bye! Man, I'm sick of how much time Chris is spending with Brian. Probably smooching pickles, because they're a couple of pickle smooches. Oh, I see you came with the big cheese. What? You? You are a big cheese? I usually bring a variety wheel of laughing cow cheese. <laughs> <laughs> laughing cow! That's got to be a happy farm, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you just must be cracking up all the time hanging out with this one. Look, ma'am, I don't know what signals Joe is sending out, but I'm married. All right, I gotta get through this. I'm just gonna go to my happy place. Go to your happy place, Peter. Oh, and you're wearing the necklace I gave you! Right, you're not thinking clearly. All right, you've got to agree to this surgery. Because right now, you're as useless as Black Widow is to the Avengers. So, what's your superpower? Kicking. Oh, right, because none of us can kick. Hey, which one of you guys can kick? Hulk, stop being nice. Sorry. Thank you, Santa! Daddy! You missed Santa! He was right here!
blah. Well, I do miss drinking, but I have used the time to reconnect with my children, and I'm actually thinking about resuming my actuarial practice. Oh my god, he's just been drunk this whole time? Sir, what's the next stop for this train? Ugh, I hate when they let the infirm ride on the train. Next stop! Station. Sir, you owe an apology to me and all the good people of... But I don't see any... Wait a minute, there's Sam people, all right? I can see one of them now. Morning, Opie. Hey, what's going on? You going somewhere? You got fired? Why? Oh, well, it's no wonder they finally caught you doing that in here. I mean, the underside of your desk looks like Carl's bad caverns. It turned out the joke already had quite a history. Bruce had heard it from Consuela. Consuela heard it from Mayor West. West heard it from Dr. Hartman. Hartman heard it from Angela. Angela from Opie. Opie from Herbert. Herbert heard it from Tom Tucker. Tucker heard it from Bender on Futurama, oddly enough, for some reason. Bender heard it from Al Harrington. Harrington from REO Speedwagon. Heard it from a friend who... Heard it from a friend who... Heard it from REO Speedwagon saved us several stops as they too had backtracked the joke to some extent. Opie, will you accept this stein? This is your co worker, Opie. He is a burden of the state, deemed unfit for mainstream society. He is your superior. What did he say? He said he wants you to put your finger in his mouth. If you value your job, I'd do it. Ow! He bit me! Mr. Griffin, although I may not fully understand Opie's management style, he has proven himself a more competent employee than you. So, in my absence, you will listen to him. Oh, come on, guy. Uh, ow, 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 damn it. Oh, there you are, Opie. Congratulations. You made Employee of the Month again. How come I'm never Employee of the Month? Man, this is the worst job I've had since I was the conductor for the Sand People Choir. <laughs> Any idea what this meeting is about? Oh, we're getting a new boss? Well, I hope it's Hugo Boss. Then we'll all look snazzy. Tonight's episode of Family Guy is brought to you by Hugo Boss. Look for us in the low-trafficked corner of Macy's between Eddie Bauer and the never-bought male jewelry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Peter, let's do it. Let's do it right here, right now. Lois, Lois, wait, wait. Opie's right there. I want him to look, Peter. Uh, what do we do now, Peter? Well, now that we're a mafia crew, I have to do voiceover naming everyone at the event. What does that even mean? There we were at the club. It was me, Glenn Quaggs, Joey Swan, and downtown Julie Cleveland Brown. You remember when there were two Julie Browns in the 90s? What a mess. Hey, Brian, just a heads up. Now that I'm an Italian mob boss, I may be treating dogs more roughly. Uh, okay. Now, where's my chicken parm from last night? Oh, I, uh, I ate it. You ate it? Yeah, there was no name on it. It was just sitting there. Is there a problem? No. No. No problem. With the guys at my side, we were the most powerful criminal organization in Kohar. Peter, I'm home from the market. 
way better than chicken parm. I'm gonna have it with my last can of cream soda. Uh, actually, I finished that too. That's okay, Brian. Let's take a ride. We live like kings until things started to come apart after the Lufthansa heist. We discussed laying low, but not everyone agreed with that. Be careful with this. We stole it. Let's take a ride and get some at the grocery store. Pull over here. I gotta take a leak. Leave the gun. Take the cream soda. Dewey, this is ridiculous. It's not all bad. I like having those Stelladoro breakfast cookies. Oh, I ate those. Sorry. Ah, oh, no problem, Brian. No problem at all. Hey, what do you say you and I do a little fishing? Peter, I just got a call from the school. When is Chris coming back? Not for a while. He moved in with his girlfriend. But apparently they hit a rough patch. Good news, guys. I'm fixing the Olympics. I paid a diver to take a dive. What do you mean he won? You know, Peter, you've been a mobster for a while now. I'm surprised we haven't had any run-ins with rival families. What are you talking about? They love me. Like, look at this. This morning, totally unprompted, they sent me a lovely wrapped fish. What? Hey! Que cosa? Hey! Que faccia di sacere? Hey! Molto sacere! Buongiorno. Quento me sacere? Non posso. E I o una bella figura. <laughs> hey! Peter, do you know what this means? Yeah, they're, they're nice guys. Yesterday, one of them even drove by my house to say I had a beautiful family and it would be a shame if anything happened to them. Now, that's a compliment and empathy. When's the last time you guys said something like that? Uh, Peter, I'm not sure you... Hey, look at this. They found Meg's ear and returned it. They returned it. You know how many guys would keep something like that? God, I can't believe Melania was deported to Slovenia and then hung herself in a European prison. Man, Peter, what are you gonna do about the mob? Don't worry, I got a plan. I'm gonna hide and change my identity to a name no one else has ever heard of. Roberta Brown. Peter, that's my daughter's name. No, it's just some girl I follow. I think you need to get wise to what's going on here, because their next message may not be so subtle. Instagram. You know, Peter, there may be a way out of this. Cops have been trying to bring down the Rhode Island mob for years. If you can schedule a meeting to discuss your differences and wear a wire, we'll arrest them after. Testify against the mob? How dumb do you think I am? <laughs> oh, my son! <laughs> there it is. I've been looking for that. Oh, thank God. The Mafia doesn't hate me. Use dead, fat ass. Love the Mafia. <gasps> oh, my God, the Mafia does hate me! I thought that hard-boiled egg seemed a little shouty. All right, I'll do it. But, man, if I'm in danger, so is Chris. I better warn him to be on the lookout. La Dolce Vida de Due Que Cuesta de Beverly Hills BMW. Hey! Oh. Lenny, what are you doing? I already threw the rock. I wanted to throw the rock. We talked about this. You wrote the note, I throw the rock. So let me get this straight. I do the homework and you get to throw the rock? I played baseball in college. Junior college. The coach from University of Vermont invited me to walk on. I didn't even know you liked chucking rocks. Who doesn't like chucking? Hey, que cosa, mi amor. Italiano, tu patri telefono boyardi. Grazie. Un momento vini testa verde con Carmina Ragusa. Ciao, Francesco de Napoli. Damn it! Fucking rocks. I didn't get into the mob to write letters. I did it to chuck rocks and eat sandwiches out of foil. Hey, that actually sounds pretty good. You want to go get a sandwich? Sure. From big cells or fat cells? What's the difference? One's big, one's fat. What's wrong with you today? Hello? Hey, Dad, I wrote a big show and your grandson Jesus is in it. 
He's kind of the star of it, really. Can you make it? <laughs> Look at you. I'm there, pal. When is it? When's the big show? It's Good Friday. Oh, don't say Friday. Ah, I was afraid of that. Well, there's kind of a postscript to the story. Maybe you could catch... Okay, Peter, I'm going to attach the wire now, and I'm telling you in advance that it's cold. Ah, ah, oh, oh, it's cold. Oh, it's too cold. You in it's too cold. Your I don't want to notice anymore. Warm I regret it. Just let this your body heat deeply. do the work. Ah, it's fine now. See, that's the body heat. Now, if you get into trouble, department regulations say we can't go in there unless you say a code phrase. Something that you never... That? Oh, you betcha, slugger. It's on Sunday. Oh, you're kidding. Doesn't anyone do anything on Tuesdays anymore? Listen, I'm getting pulled into this meeting right now, but good luck with your thing. I promise I am going to be so nice to my son. We're actually saying conversation, so we know it's a signal. The phrase is... Did you see the new Paul Rudd movie? It's laugh out loud funny. Oh, come on, can't I just say watchable? No, no, you have to say it exactly. But heartwarming? I, I mean, I could just say heartwarming. Peter, the phrase is the phrase. Now, you ready to meet those godfathers? Yeah, I guess. Hey, Peter, this is it. Hey, who are you? Just act natural, and even though you're Mike, try not to use your radio voice. Hey, hey, Providence! This is Peter Whirly Bird Griffin coming at you on a sizzling Sunday afternoon. Peter, no! Wait a minute. You're the new Don from Quahog. Follow me. Come to me today on the day of my daughter's barbecue. Don Imus? The Rutgers basketball team is black and disgusting. That's a wrap for Don Imus. Finally, the scariest Don of them all. Don, de Don, Don. Thank you. I'd like to introduce you all to my suspenseful son, Don. We're glad that you finally decided to play ball with us. Let me introduce you to the other Dons. Don Duck, Don Ki Kong, Don Amnesia, forget about it. Don Amatapia, bang. The Land Don Under, you up. The new Paul Rudd movie is watchable. I repeat, it's very watchable. Damn it, Peter! You have to say it exactly. Fine. It's laugh out loud funny. Freeze! You're all under arrest. Good job, Peter. And, and the guy says, oh, I thought you were complaining about your angina. You never told us a beginning to that joke. Oh, sorry. Okay, Peter, the meeting's almost over. Just don't blow your cover and we're home free. Hey, anybody want to do karaoke after this? Sure, I can use the mic tape to my chest. Peter, no! <laughs> uh oh, we're gonna die. All right, so long, you two. Oh my god! Freeze! All right, nobody do anything stupid. Wait, hold on, I'm just allowing LinkedIn to send automated emails to all my contacts. I said don't do anything stupid. Peter Griffin wants to add you to his professional network. Oh! Damn it, Peter! Hands behind your head, on the ground. What? Thank you. Prego. Well, it turns out being a mob still isn't for me. Well, I'm just happy you're home safe. Me too, Dad. Has anyone seen the rest of my white wine? Sorry, Lois, I drank that. Oh, that's fine, Brian. Hey, what do you say you and me go for a walk in the woods? Why do you still read the newspaper? Nobody does that anymore. I like to keep up on local news. Huh. Most of these arrests are Cleveland, and the arresting officer is Joe Swanson. Can I help you, sir? I'm doing my mail route, Joe. Maybe you'd be more comfortable talking about it down at the station. It is more comfortable here. The police station. Come for the racial profiling. Stay for the comfort. Is that... is that you? Oh, yeah. A friend invited me to this charity ball. A friend? She's a hundred! Older women are cultured, worldly. I've got nothing to be defensive about. Her husband passed away. She appreciates my friendship. I don't like it. I need you to mow the lawn. It's out of control. I can't mow the lawn, Lois. The friends of distinction are out there, grazing in the grass. Baby. Oh, let me get in on that. Where'd they go? Cleveland? You okay in there? Is that a diamond-encrusted watch fob? This? Oh, yeah, I I've had this. Nobody's owned one of those for 80 years. What are you up to?
You already did this. I'm not trying to show skepticism. My head is too heavy. I heard the doctor whisper to Lois, 3,000th percentile. Now, to start the mower, you grab this pull cord like so and give it a nice hard yank. <laughs> Can I change my grip? It's a more familiar motion. For the rest, you can just watch this how-to video on YouTube. What's going on, guys? I'm Corey, here to take your lawn mowing skills to the next lev. Did you know Corey got recruited by ISIS? He disappeared, and now there's this guy doing ISIS videos, and they think it's Corey. Ah, uh, salam alaikum, guys. This is Corey, here to talk about making a dirty bomb with stuff you can find in your kitchen. You can bring your friend over there to help you. Come on, Herbert. Rope this calf. We like to October in Zurich. Ah, yes, the best place to October. The secret, however, is to October in Zurich, but in September, to avoid the obnoxious Octobering crowds. Saving October for Paris, Novembering there, then Decembering in Palm Beach in November, and in December, Januarying, of course, as always, in Gustad. We December in London. You, madame, are a cream-faced loon. I don't believe you've met the Admiral. Well, he may be an Admiral, but he's certainly not admirable. Panty drop, swoon, oh! commercial. Is that medal a stretched out carnival penny? Thank you for noticing, Count. It means a lot from a man whose top hat looks suspiciously like an Amazon Echo with a cardboard brim. Why, what, what, what a preposterous notion. Alexa? No, don't say that. Maybe we could even help each other. Exactly. Two con men like us working together. We'll be set like a passive aggressive alarm clock. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but the sun's been up for like an hour. No, 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 you don't have to get up. Let your wife do everything. Just keep sleeping. You're a good husband. I'm sure she doesn't fantasize about your contractor who's already downstairs working on... Well, I can't really figure out what he's working on. Oh, I know. Your wife. I'm Peter, sir. You're big for your age, ain't you, Peter? Yeah. Why, what's this? <gasps> it wasn't a trick. It was stuck to your neck. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I fall asleep on candy. The holy grail for guys like us. Who is she? Margaret Woolworth, Carrington, Von Schumacher, Chanel, Astor, Livingston, Comte de Saint-Exupéry, Mountbatten, Windsor, Armani, Roosevelt, Von Trapp, Wickenham, Hearst, Montgomery, Rothschild, Johnson & Johnson, Twillsworth, Dolce Gabbana, Von Zweiger, Second Montgomery, De La Roche, Geico, Vanderbilt, Lannister, Van Buren, Butterworth, How I Met Your Mother, Wrigley, Louise, Dreyfus, Ludwig, Morgan, Stanley, Dumont, Lamborghini, Forbes, Higby, Winthrop, Chanel, Remy Martin, Fitzwilliam, Kennedy, Motel 6, Fairchild, Brooke Pritzker, Davenport, Von Stolen, Monty Python, Ellisworth, Aston Martin, Haverbrook, Ziff, Lauder, Hilton, DuPont, Kincaid, Winslow, Coors, Oviat, Marlboro, Pembroke, Huffington, Bush, Mellon, Sinclair, Mellencamp, Starbucks, Van Dyke, Third, Montgomery, Marriott, Barrington, Chadsworth, Big League, Chew, Chesterfield, Kensington, Booth, Bishop, Longbottom, Nottingham, Meisterberger, Burgermeister, Tudor, Habsburg, Rockefeller, Onassis. <gasps> you mean the heir to the Woolworth, Carrington, Von Schumacher, Chanel, Aster, Livingston, Comte de Saint-Exupéry, Mountbatten, Windsor, Armani, Roosevelt, Von Trapp, Wickenham, Hearst, Montgomery, Rothschild, Johnson & Johnson, Twillsworth, Dolce Gabbana, Von Zweiger, Second Montgomery, De La Roche, Geico, Vanderbilt, Lannister, Van Buren, Butterworth, How I Met Your Mother, Wrigley, Louise, Dreyfus, Ludwig, Morgan, Stanley, Dumont, Lamborghini, Forbes, Higby, Winthrop, Chanel, Remy Martin, Fitzwilliam, Kennedy, Motel 6, Fairchild, Brooke, Pritzker, Davenport, Von Stolen, Monty Python, Ellisworth, Aston Martin, Haverbrook, Ziff, Lauder, Hilton, Dupont, Kincaid, Winslow, Coors, Oviatt, Marlboro, Pembroke, Huffington, Bush, Mellon, Sinclair, Mellencamp, Starbucks, Van Dyke, Third Montgomery, Marriott, Barrington, Chadsworth, Big League, Chew, Chesterfield, Kensington, Booth, Bishop, Longbottom, Nottingham, Meisterberger, Burgermeister, Tudor, Habsburg, Rockefeller, Onassis, Fortune? Exactly. If we can charm her, we'll be set for life. No more scraping and scavenging like a laughing hyena. <laughs> I don't sound desperate, but I'm very desperate. <laughs> I'm not a very capable predator. <laughs> My family's back at the den waiting for me. <laughs> I think this is the day I starve to death. <laughs> Just kidding, I have no family. <laughs> Is that a Cats Protective League pin on your lapel? I like this party. Pussies. Cock. Cock. Get the hell out of my face, Brian! Quagmire? No! Quagmire! That's what I said. Oh, oh, sorry, I, I didn't I didn't hear you because of the prosthetics. I've got no chance, have I? A tertiary character like me. You most certainly do not. I don't even think we're going to give you the dance you rehearsed. <laughs> if you can help me wrap this up, if you know what I mean. I'll split the estate with you two. But unless you're prepared to kill her, get the hell out! Happy birthday, dear Margaret Woolworth, Comte de Saint Exupéry. I'm uh, just gonna hang here for a minute.
It's time you did all the work and I goof off with Mr. Herbert. Like hell it is. Why are you being such a jerk, Dad? Dad! Well, he often said he wanted to explode all over me. Good Quahog evening. Oh, let's uh, let's do that again. Good evening, Hog Quo. I'm Tucker Tom. Good after evening noon, Hog Tom. Quo, I'm her Tuck. Quo, goodening noon, Tom or Tuck. I'm Ning Ning after evening Quo, noon Hog. Our top story, Newport's wealthiest heiress, Margaret Woolworth, holy God, I'm not reading all that, was found dead in her home of an apparent heart attack. We're rich, Stewie, and no flip joke can take that away. Miss Woolworth, etc., etc., died owing $18 million, for which you are now liable. That's right. It was a Meg story. Now on you, right? <laughs> How are you still single? Leave me alone. It's all your fault that Jillian's gone. You let the fat man talk you into moving out. You let Jillian walk out the door. Stop getting pushed around. Be a man. If you want her, go get her. You are absolutely right. It is time for me to take charge of my own life. You're too late. I met someone else. Jillian, do you get the oxygen network? If I miss my Moesha, I get a bit crap. Which is why I'm gonna drink this frying pan antidote. <laughs> All right, hit me with this. <laughs> Didn't work. What are you doing here? Loretta's mom was hankering for a snack, so we had to pick her up some kibbles and bits. Cleveland! I mean, Cheez-Its. Brother, please, you're the one who's tripping. Go on, cry home to your mama. She waiting for you. Now, don't make me put my size 13s up your narrow ass. I don't sweat you. Bring it on, bitch. Now, how are you going to act? Jeez, bringing that trash in here. This is my house. Excuse me, is your refrigerator running? Because if it is, it probably runs like you. Very homosexually. What? How, you want to dance? <laughs> Get suck, Yankee suck, Nick suck. <laughs> What's new, Ed? Well, Stewie, tonight we have a really big show. Okay, okay, and now a word from our sponsors. It takes a very steady hand. Don't touch the sides. <coughs> Butter fingers. Mr. Tucker? I'm coming. Hey, remember that time I had that Mustang? Oh, yeah, you, you took it for the spin that time. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Uh, then, then those chowder heads on the corner, they busted your stone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your sister say anything about me? Umkin to kuni mirati. Excuse me? I said, may I have a blanket? Oh, yes, of course. Ha! I really said, will you be my wife? And you said yes, so now it is official. Let me touch your face. You're telling me I flew all the way to Kentucky to get some of your fried chicken and, and the colonel isn't even working today? He, we, he did. What? I say he did. Is Mr. Sanders in? What's wrong with you? I say you, he did. Well, the hijacking of Flight 52 is over. The plane has safely landed in Cuba, and all Americans aboard are on their way home with the exception of one couple, a fat man who is inexplicably married to an attractive redhead. Here's an artist's rendering of what they might look like. Jackie Chan, Cab 302. <laughs> Thank you very much. Great party, Griff. Girls, you know Jimmy Khan. Jimmy, make yourself at home. Hey, thanks. Oh, this is crazy. You walk in here with your chiseled jaw and you... Oh, my. I liked you the way you were. You're not even real anymore. You... Peter, did you get a new buttocks? I had to. My old one had a crack in it. <laughs> Hello? What are you looking at, you... you infantile stupid? That's right. Damn you and such. You can... you burn in her. You bastards come into our village and kill our fish, loot our water. I'm gonna send you back to hell where you belong. Tired of not being able to find clothes that fit? I know I was. 
That's why I started Stewie's Big and Tall Man Shop. If you're portly or tall, you'll find a friendly atmosphere brimming with personalized and expert service. Hey, Stewie, how's the weather up there? Very fair. Like our prices. Oh! Peter, how the hell is he going to recognize us? He doesn't even know who we are. Oh. Huh. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Whoa! Listen, Peter, if you keep this up, something terrible's gonna happen. Yeah, something terrible all the way to the bank. Nice. <laughs> Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and lick it. Now you. Oh, this is my favorite event. Catch the greased-up deaf guy. Go! You're never gonna catch me. You're wasting your time. Forget about it. Go do something else. See you next year. Hey, did you hear what happened to that dude from UMass? He got so drunk he fell off his hotel balcony. He's in a coma. Oh man, I want to party with him. You yeah. know it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A jackal. Jackal. It's a jackal. It looks like a jackal. 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 It's a jackal. Jackal. Time. It wasn't right the first time you said it. Why the hell would it be right the next ten times? Go. I wonder where that fish did go. A fish, a fish, a fishy, oh! Boom Boom, did you do your exercises today? Yes, I did 20 laps, and I'm about to do 20 more. Oh, you... Yipe! Hungry eyes. I feel the magic between you and I. Ooh, I'm hungry for you, baby. <laughs> Come on, walk with me, talk with me. Lois, you can't spell love without L O. You can't spell is without I S. You can't spell silo without Lois. Last week's spelling tests, and it looks like Oinky set the curve again. Oh, dang, that is some smart pig. Good thing I copied off of Oinky. Ulysses S. Grant, you invite me to lunch, then show up an hour late, drunk? I was busy looking for your wife to give her the old... <laughs> Warm out today. Warm yesterday. Even warmer today. He's violating sea breeze. Oh no, he's just awkwardly positioning himself. Now he's violating sea breeze. I am gonna go back in time and stop Brian from getting it on with your dog. Everybody stand back. Ah! Uh, oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, 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 oh. But watch out, we got some bad roaches here. Hey, you're on our turf, man. Hey, man, I, I cut you, I cut you up so bad, you, you're gonna, you're gonna wish I no cut you up so bad. Peter! Oh, sorry. Where am I gonna go next? What interesting adventure? You don't know. I'll have my award now. Dee, I lied. I was a princess the whole time. You bitch, I'm gonna punch you in the face. So, you want to get something to eat? 
Can we go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food? Oh, let's go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food! Well, you're doing a lot better now, Cleveland. I mean, you went from a black woman to a white woman without having to take that Hispanic woman step in between. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Cleveland. Uh, I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure it's raining bitches. The rooster goes... Dickory gee! Where? Where does the rooster say that? The monkey goes... Macaque! No, 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 it does not! The elephant goes... Fwomp! Oh, yeah, kinda. Rupert, suddenly I want to run! Chase me! <laughs> oh, now I'm sick. That truck's coming up on us awful fast. Holy crap! Do you see what I see? I'm afraid I do. We're being chased by ghosts! Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a black... A black... Go ahead. A blanket. I'm just a stupid old blanket. What a lousy life this is. All right, you saved it. I had our wedding. Oh, you look beautiful. And he's a handsome fella, ain't he? Well, I am ready for my evening. Oh, my God, Peter. What the hell? Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. Ooh, fire ghost. Oh, you scared yet? Didn't know this place was haunted, did you? Okay, nobody move. Oh, my God, those guys in first class have guns. Cleveland, just be happy with what you have. Don't envy people. Died not 30 minutes ago in the carriage on the way here. <laughs> Well, we all know how this goes. I'm doing it! Hey, Lois, I'd like you to meet our new friend... Jerome? Loose Lois? What? You guys know each other? Know each other? Peter, Jerome is an old boyfriend of mine. What? Oh, sorry I was out of it. Wait, are we being robbed? Ah! Ah! My ass! Man, this trip is dangerous. Couldn't we have just taken a bus? <laughs> no, it's a black guy. Oh, a message from Joe. Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. Lois, to show I'm in touch with what it's like to be African-American, I am going to go to the middle of the town square, get naked, and paint myself brown. No, no, that's offensive. You can't pretend to be black. That's a stupid idea. What? It's a stupid idea! You're a stupid man! A stupid, stupid man! Ow! You're hurting me! Stop it! Stop it, Lois! No! I'm so sick of your crap! Why do you always do this? Because 9-11 changed everything, Brian. 9-11 changed everything. Peter, you didn't even know what 9-11 was until 2004. That's not true, Brian. I remember 9-11. <laughs> Must have been a woman pilot, eh? Oh, damn. I say, I seem to have sewn a shoe to my hand. May I go to the nurse? Replace him! Ah! <laughs> The pathway to enlightenment starts with an unfettered, focused mind. Look out! Ah! What are you doing? Oh. oh, I thought that dot on your head was from a sniper rifle. Do you think all those chickens had to buy tickets? I don't know, but I'm starving. What I wouldn't give right now for a big, juicy steak. How dare you! To us, cows are sacred! That's right! You are disrespecting our entire culture! And why did Wes Anderson come here to make his worst movie? Stewie, what do we do? Quick, hit the red buttons! <sighs> wow, that came in handy. Yeah, now let's, let's get out of here. Wieners look like. Yeah, yeah, no, let's get out of here. Peter, this spot is a sacred adornment. It's a portal. An opening through which all light, goodness, rejuvenation, joy, and ecstasy may enter the human form. A vagina? Get out! You know, it actually looks like the Native Americans have done all right for themselves. They do seem to have a lot of shops. Uh, 
and it looks like they have medical care as well. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I've done this several times today, and your husband just isn't responding. Well, have you tried this? Ma'am, this is a place of medicine. And their popular music is interesting. And here it is, the number one song for the 10,000th week in a row. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Hiya, 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 hiya. Ireland was a much different place before the discovery of alcohol. Most experts believe it was something like this. Gentlemen, today we, Ireland's top scientists, have found a way to convert our entire population to pure energy. Oh, oh, it's a glorious day. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hey, Michael McLeod's just invented a new kind of beverage in his basement. Hmm, whiskey. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> <hell. laughs> All right, here's one. So, a horse walks into a bar and the bartender says, why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, screw you. Whoa! What the hell's your problem? You're my problem, dude. That joke is offensive. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm sorry that not everyone conforms to your preconceived notions of attractiveness. It's a joke, man. Oh, oh, yeah? Oh, it's a joke? How about this? Why are there so few black baseball players? Why? Because they're always stealing bases. Ha 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 ha! Whoa! Hey, now that is offensive. Yeah, what the hell, man? Hey, it's a joke, man. Yeah, but it's racist. Oh, the horse with a long face just told a racist joke, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's different. Oh, yeah, how's it different? Hey, why do you have so many drinks and you haven't touched any of them? Uh, hello, Einstein. Hooves. No freaking thumbs. Can't pick up a glass. Well, then why are you in a bar? Bite me, that's why, douchebag. Look, look, I think we all got off on the wrong foot here. Yeah, well, you got that right. We're sorry, okay? All right, me too. Look. I'm Mike, and this is Harry. Sarah Jessica Parker. This van has the latest in law enforcement technology. Watch. Suspect! Suspect! You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, let me try. Cleveland, don't! Minority suspect! Minority suspect! Danger! He's got a gun! Ah, dang it! Do you have any idea how fast you were going, sir? Peter? Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois or Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's got to be a better way. He's got a knife! Ow, 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 ow. Sorry, Cleveland, it's got to be authentic. Stay down! Ow. Stay down! Ow. Cleveland, try to grab my gun. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Ow. Ow. Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, the whole gang's back together. Just shut up. We don't need you in this town. Tell you what, let me call Horace and tell him to get our table ready. Hey, Reggie, George, just... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, God, there's four. Please don't free the slaves. It's a bad idea. They'll try to get back at us, and that's our biggest fear. Allahu Akbar! Ugh, my allergies. And everything else. Just terrible. Choo, choo. All right, let's go. What should we leave for a tip? The food and service were both great. Give them the full 3%. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Choo, cheap, choo. This is why I hate going outside. <laughs> that was hilarious. And again, the global community's inaction during the Holocaust was unforgivable. Hey, Dale. I noticed your lawn's getting a little high. Yeah, I used to have a guy for that. Dick. Okay, now, you have a good one. And this much tension when the slaves were freed. Uh, okay, so, uh, you're free to go. But we're cool, right? What? Say the word? Right now? Yeah, together. Ready? You bet. <gasps> you could have just quit the show. We're not the first people to be dragged off against our will. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Damn it, I swear to God, I will turn this ship around. That works. Okay. Can we teach us a lesson? Yeah, that's even better. All right, if that's what you... Wait a minute! Now return to Damn Nature, You Scary on BET. Damn, that motherfucker run fast. You see that shit? That thing come by my house, I kill it. Was anybody gonna wake me up for the party? It's 6.30, I went down at noon. Now I'm gonna be up all night watching bad reality TV. We now return to Uber driver Ninja Warrior. 
First, he's got a swing on the gold chains across the cologne bath without dropping his e-cigarette. Next, he's got to pick up a rideshare customer. Now he's going to be late, but he's going to make it seem like the passenger's fault and not his. Where the hell have you been? I've been here, man. Maybe you press wrong button. I don't know. Now don't talk to me. I'm on four different phone calls. You're watching CBS, the loudest channel on TV. Previously on NCIS. Ah, son of a bitch! So, what kind of Navy crime do we have today? Yeah, it hurts! I'll show you. Follow me to our windowless high-tech room. I love you, Peter. Drive the van faster! Ah! He's headed towards the port of Washington, D.C., where our Navy is held! I'm browning out. See you on the other side. Please join me in silent prayer, and as we settle into the silence, I remind you that, in honor of Lent, today's coffee service will not include Chewy Chips Ahoy. <laughs> shh, 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 if we're quiet, you can hear every fifth word. Always! Never! My friend, a Nickelodeon Ultra. I just wish we were doing songs that weren't so hard to sing as a group. Peter, those questions are the easiest, most pandering things in the world. Oh, oh, Tim Hawks, Tim Hawks, Forrest Gump, I win. Ho? Oh? Ah, good. It's starting. Yeah, that's what you say. I can never figure out when the hell the studio logos end and the actual movie begins. All right, let's see what you got, Fox. Oh, I bet that's a sea monster. Oh, that's not the movie. That's... Yeah, I think I heard of them. Here we go. Movie! Well, now that seems intentionally misleading. All right, someone's coming to town. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, all right, period movie. Oh, not a period movie. Oh, this guy's in trouble. Can't wait to hear his story. Oh, come on! Three, two, one! Some animals give me boners! As you may or may not care, Family Guy is in its 17th season, and since Fox is now owned by Disney, which will someday be owned by Netflix, which will someday be owned by Pornhub, we have decided that Family Guy is ready for a reboot. Dead! 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 Keep coming! Dead! Give him a narrow entry point, make him come in single file. Dead! Dead! Anyway, I, I guess I'm trying to say 800 fourth graders. Why are we talking about killing kids? People are gonna hate this! Peter, do something else quick! Uh, I'll, uh, uh, what if I play some kick-ass music? You got to know when the whole kick ass. This is not kick ass. Wait, yeah, hang on, hang on. I'll find something. You're playing two songs at once. What even is this? I, I, I don't know. I'm just pressing buttons. I gotta admit, it does have a groove. Look, those people are even dancing to it. Every camera knows that the secret to surviving. Ah, great. I accidentally started Chris's birth video. <laughs> Hey, what's that song you're playing? I don't know, it's just random garbage from my computer. We now return to a 1980s movie you remember fondly, but now feels excruciatingly slow. All right, Stripes! Oh, this was hilarious. All right, Bill Murray's driving a cab. Still driving a cab. Shot of the town, going over a bridge. Traffic's neither heavy nor light. Get in the army! 
Dude, this car kicks ass, and I can watch Madagascar while I'm driving. What kind of music do you like, Gloria? Hippo hop. Woohoo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Dude, those animals are so fucking funny, they make me want to merge without looking. <laughs> yeah, Rumsfeld! Hey, what's going on in that room? It's a focus group of Arby's executives watching us eat. Oh, no way. He ate People it. People will eat anything. 50 bucks says the fat girl eats a third big beef and cheddar. Who's on it? Okay. I'll take that. You got it. Oh, come on, Don't buddy. do Here it. Here she comes. All right, kid. Take your time. Yeah! yeah! Right! Damn it! Anyway, my brother Louie, he's, uh, he's a little off to the side, you know? Uh, foofy. Uh, up to the knuckle. He's, uh, he's a backwards mechanic. He likes to play in the dirt. You mean gay? Oh, mama! What on, Peter? Mama, Louie's not gay. He's, he's creative. Hey, I thought you'd drive a fancier car. What? Why? Well, aren't you the Peter Griffin of Peter Griffin Cadillac? No, that's another guy. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. And at Peter Griffin Cadillac, we believe in three things. Fair dealing, family, and friendship. I've lived in Quahog my whole life. I love it here. And you're going to love a Peter Griffin Cadillac. Scumbag. They're fighting again. Shh, if you're quiet, you can hear every fifth word. Always, never Now, when I was delivering pizzas. All right, push. Push, come on, come on, almost there, almost there, just one more push. Here it is. Oh, it's half Hawaiian. I believe that's ours. You poor fool. Please, I'm right, okay, all right, you don't have to get all, hey, hey, cat dog, right? You're a cat dog. A cat dog, cat dog, and I put it in a cat dog. Hey, where's, where, you know, where's all the poop go? When a cat, when a, in a, in a cat dog, when a cat poops, what, does it come out of the dog's mouth? And, and vice versa? Oh, God. Oh, that's, that's some kind of living hell. That's some, that's some kind of living hell, Brian. Okay, I gotta go. You have a good time with Jenny. Stewie obviously learned to swear from some TV show. No, he didn't. The only show he watches is Caillou. Well, then that little French-Canadian weirdo is the potty mouth. I'm sure of it, and I'm willing to watch every single episode just to prove it. Caillou was upset. Why am I bald? I'm not a baby. I'm four. Are kids just bald in Canada? So Caillou decided to look himself up on Wikipedia. God, this is dull. Maybe I'm supposed to be a cancer survivor, and this show is very inspiring. But Caillou wasn't a cancer survivor. The show's creators just made a weird choice. Caillou's low-testosterone father again indulged Caillou's tantrum, clearly trying to raise a sociopath. It's okay, Caillou. I'll bake you a pie. He said, his body flooding with estrogen. Dad, why are we sitting on the washing machine? Because in Canada, men have vaginas. All right, Peter, it's all queued up. Just push this button. Okay, here we go. No, Peter, not that one! Audible.com presents Are You There, Vodka? It's me, Chelsea, as read by Chelsea Handler. Peter, that's the wrong track. Yeah, pretty good stuff, huh? Chapter 1. Stuff I can fit in my lady place. Up first, Eiffel Tower Lego sculpture. Yup. Peter, we gotta stop this. Soup thermos. Yup. It's locked. Yeah, awesome, huh? Wait, how come everyone's leaving? Brother brand all-in-one fax scanner color copier with phone attachment. Yup! Hi, you having a good night? I did. Just had a devil's three-way. You know, me and two guys. I think that's just gay sex. Why are you telling me all this? Isn't this taxi cab confessions? No, this is carpool karaoke. We're about to sing an Adele song. Oh, that's gay. Pull over by this hot guy and let me out. Then what happened? They populated the Earth. How? They had kids. Okay, but then what did they do? They had kids too. With who? They were fruitful. With who? Well, the girls with either their brothers or their fathers, and the boys with either their sisters or their mothers. That's disgusting. No, Meg. That's the Bible.
Oh, and some animals give him boners. What the hell? Why would she do this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's up next video? Oh, Daughtry. <laughs> I'm a mom, so I love this. Starting now. I just bought a giant room full of gold coins, and I'm gonna dive into it like Scrooge McDuck. Ah! It's not a liquid! It's a great many pieces of solid matter that form a hard floor-like surface! Ah! American Johnny! Holy crap, Quagmire, you're famous here. It's American Johnny. American Johnny is back. I take a picture with the giant Samsung phone. Giant Samsung phone is also a tiny Kia car. Okay, do you have any disabilities, past injuries, physical anomalies? Uh, oh, oh, I didn't have gas for the first time until I was 30. What the hell was that? Peter, Peter, may maybe you shouldn't say anything bad about the network. Oh, why? What are they going to do? Cut our budget? <laughs> I'm going to go get a beer. Now, what are you going to do about it? You're just a train conductor. Who has a huge kicking foot? <laughs> ah! yeah! oh! Where the hell am I? Oh, my God, I'm in the wrong Korea. That's it. Like your missiles? I'm about to go ballistic. But that's not how it really happened. That's it. Like your missiles, I'm about to go ballistic. Ow! A northern bird flew into my nuts! Ah, oh, go to commercial! Gentlemen, I give you Crystal Pepsi. All the great taste of regular Pepsi, but without that troublesome opacity. Well, what if you're drinking a regular Pepsi and somebody's coming at you with a knife? Huh? You won't be able to see him past your Pepsi. And then, and then, and then who's dead, huh? You! You! You're dead! Stabbed! Crystal Pepsi. Come on, guys, it's game time! Yeah, Patriots! All right, this is the greatest Sunday tradition ever. Except for getting all my cutaway gags ready for the week. Okay, my great uncle wears a ski hat all the time, Griffin, will be followed by Nick Nolte's handkerchief, followed by Japanese Abe Lincoln, and then Monkey Rabbi. Hey, where's the Monkey Rabbi? Here's your Torah. You'll be here on Tuesday at 9. Check in with Shirley. You're gonna need me this week? Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe Friday. Uh, now, where are the gays? Over here. No, no, no. The really cartoony gays. Yoo-hoo! There you are. We're gonna need you guys all week. You know what? You guys are right. It's time to travel, to learn, to experience new things. I've been letting opportunities pass me by ever since I was a kid. Hey, kid. Get in my van and I'll give you some candy. No, my mom says I shouldn't. <laughs> hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Okay. Oh, damn it. Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm deaf. Sorry, dude. Super deaf. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a deaf dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. I know a number of our students have felt traumatized by the events of this week. And we take those concerns very seriously. Lois, well, I'm done with my gum. I don't want it. But I'm done with it. Peter, shh. I'll take it. I'm done with this gum now. I don't want it. But I'm done with it. What is it? What is it, boy? Roar, roar, roar. The fat man dug a tunnel to go hang out with Cleveland Joe and Quagmire? We've got to tell someone. What is it, Stewie? <laughs> Daddy went to a Peter Cetera concert in Cleveland with Robin Tunney? Robin Tunney from The Mentalist slept with the entire Cleveland Browns team? Bad Moms 1 and 2 are available on most streaming platforms? Don't, don't do that, Mila. Not, not on this show. I'm so relieved that my mother's back with my dad. Yep, it all worked out. Only one thing left to do. Get drunk, go upstairs, and weird out the kids. Chris, 
Are, are you awake? Chris, you do you wanna you want a Tom Brady kiss? Chris, wake up. I I wanna give my son a Tom Brady kiss. Uh, 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 um. Oh hell yeah, I'm in. You guys don't know nothing about staying up late. I used to pull all nighters when I worked for that lesbian carpet cleaning company. Lesbians have regular carpets too, you pervs. When you're done with that, can you help me plug the hole in this dike? I'm kind of a jack of all trades. Hey, help me fix this gash. Somebody's been having scissor fights on this thing. Well, I found one rung lower. I'm a party bus guy now. That's gotta be way better than when I drove a Fiat. Hey, you cut me off! What? Turn down your radio. I can't. My stomach's pressed up against the dial. You wanna go? Get me 17 shoehorns and some canola oil and we'll go! Get back here! Chris, you're hogging up all the fans. Yo, yeah, well, you're hogging up all the ugly! I hereby declare this public park and future homosexual meeting spot open. Unhand that woman, you bastard! <gasps> Adam! Well, well, well. If it isn't Mayor Guns for Toys West. The chair recognizes your face! <gasps> On guard! Is the park open? Not yet. Oh, no. You call that kissing a baby? That's how you kiss a baby. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some death to defy. Wow, this is just like what happened with Matthew Broderick, except no one's dead. Hey, Joe. Good morning, Peter. I'm here to revoke your driver's license. What? Why? We got reckless driving, disturbing the peace, plus the driver of one of those other cars was a virgin whose hymen was busted by the airbag, so rape. Okay, well, I guess you can take my license. Of course, it's all the way up here. Peter, knock right it here, off. Joe. Give it to right me. Here. Here Give me the officer. damn license. Well, don't you want it? This is yeah. in poor taste, yeah. Peter. You're starting there? to yeah. piss me well, off. You do You're it, starting hey? to piss right. me right. off! Ah! Oh, my God. Chris is still in there. Somebody save Chris! <laughs> You know what? He's earned that. Peter, enough! You've got to make this right! Now, that one seemed less earned. I know. It sounded like there was quite a ruckus going on over there last night. That Jeff seems like kind of a monster. Yeah, that guy's scary as an Iraq lobster. Death to America! And butter sauce! Don't boil me! I'm still alive! Iraq Lobster! Iraq Lobster? Excuse me, how many BTUs does this grill have? Oh man, that puppy? More than you need, less than I want. I excuse me, do you have a small grocery cart I could put this boat-sized hunk of lumber in? Probably out in the parking lot. Can you tell me where I can find extension cords? Aisle 25. I was just there. 26. There is no 26. 15. Well, I have two questions. Will there be a stipend? Yes. Ah, and what is a stipend? It's a fee for being in the commercial. I'm in. How do you know what's inside you unless you test yourself? Don't do one push-up. Do 100. Don't run one mile. Run a marathon. Don't have one family. Have a second family all the way across the country. Don't just have a second family. Have a third family in Santa Fe with an alternative lifestyle. Don't spend any time with the first two families. Make a commitment to family number three and double down by announcing it at his war hero father's retirement party. Don't go to the funeral, because remember, you got two other families to deal with and a marathon to train for. Don't just let Kenneth walk out of your life. 
take his life from him. Don't just go to jail. Go to death row by killing the two other families. Don't just let anyone have their closure by apologizing. Send a message that you're not afraid of hell. Nike. You may not know this, but our full name is Nikel. Sweet! All right! Spring break on the land, not the water! No, it's not sweet, it's a joke! This whole thing is a joke! Compared to the Navy, the Coast Guard is totally unprofessional and incompetent. Like that ancient Roman intern. This is Marcus. Today's his first day. He's going to be crucifying you now. He might want to use his hammer. Uh, sorry, I'm so bad at this. Relax, you're doing fine. Hey guys! Hitler! How's it going, Mr. Hitler? Oh, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog Reich, and I'm wearing bacon pants. <laughs> so, how's the atomic bomb coming? It's coming, it's coming. There are some problems. We're having much better luck developing this impressive collection of 100 Luft balloons. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, I guess we'll just let you get back to work. Oh, I almost forgot. I don't suppose you boys have some uranium I could borrow? Oh, of course. Give him some uranium, mean Joe Green. Hey, kid. Catch. Thanks, Mean Joe. He's not really mean at all. Nah, he's a nice guy. Stewie, I'm not really much of a fast food eater. Yeah? Can you read my mind? Can you tell what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking shut up and get a salad. I want some McNuggets. We'll get to you, Brent. I want a hamburger. No, a cheeseburger. I want a hot dog. I want a milkshake. You'll get nothing and like it. Uh, hello? Yes, welcome to McDonald's. Can I help you? Oh, hailing frequencies open, huh? <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna get uh, uh, two McChicken sandwiches and a Diet Coke and... Uh, uh, what do you want, Michael? A McDLT. No, I already told you they don't make those anymore. You know, sometimes it's a regional thing. You could ask. No McDonald's anywhere makes a McDLT anymore. I'd love a shamrock shake if I got any of those. It's September, Jonathan. Stewie, can I take this... Headband off. No, LeVar, you're blind. That's the only way you can see. I'm just saying they have all the ingredients for a McDeal. Just hang on, all right? There's a lot of us. There's a lot of... It's a big order. What time do they stop serving breakfast? It's three o'clock. Some of them serve breakfast all day. No, they serve breakfast all day! Do they have beer? Sorry, but according to this map, you're not even part of these United States. Which would make you... A communist! Ah! Ah! Ow! Damn. Usually my malcontents are skinnier. Would you come back in a week when my fat malcontent trapdoor will be completed? I'm not coming back in a week or ever. I've had it with you, and I've had it with this whole damn government. Fine. I love this job more than I love taffy. And I'm a man who enjoys his taffy. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. What is this? Oh, what was I worried about? Ah, 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 oh, God! Ah, ah. He's bleeding, man! He's bleeding, and nobody's doing anything about it! I'll tell you what the news of the world is! We're in a lot of trouble! Hey. Meg! What the hell are you doing in here? Shower time. Yeah, for me! Not, not for... What are you doing with that loofah? Don't worry about it. You told me not to worry about it! I should have been worried the whole time! This is why Sweden, Chris. Never Finland. I'll never doubt you again. Good. Now grab a yogurt that's way smaller than you knew they made yogurts. And you grab an orange juice that doesn't taste like orange juice, but like someone described the taste of orange juice to an alien. So what you're saying is, I've got to find my shaky leg poop. Exactly.
Man, I, I have always wanted to be a singer-songwriter. Um, yeah, no, yeah, you can do that. You, you paused. Why, why did you pause? Uh, no reason. You did it again. I swear to God, I will throw myself right out that window. Okay, welcome to the Apple Tree Pub. I'm Stewie Griffin, and these are my six assistants. You know, I changed my mind. Kill yourself. Griffin, you're three hours late. Stop trying to be a clock. You ain't got the face for it. I've had enough of your nonsense. Here's Christoph Waltz to fire you in a weird accent. You're fired? <laughs> My God, I think I see the Fishmans. They're down on that ridge. We're ahead of them. Well, then let's keep moving. You guys, we can do this. We can beat them. Hey, you know, I heard when you drink at high altitude, it hits you even faster. Whoa, party! I love you guys. You don't know how much you mean to me. You think you're better than me? Why can't you hit a curveball? I've done nothing with my life. Boy, this place sure has changed since Partucket Pat sold it. So this is where you'll be working, Mr. Griffin. Oh, and I should mention, employees are welcome to free Pawtucket Ale. We just ask that you don't drink during your shift. That won't be a problem, sir. Great. Well, I'll be right back with your ID badge. Mr. Griffin, what happened to your pants? Oh, look who's here, mister. I don't have time for your Little League games. Come here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Why do you close your eyes when we make love? <laughs> Now, one thing that makes us more cultured than our European counterparts is high school football. Then why are we standing here in the parking lot? Because sometimes your team loses and you have to beat up the ref. Uh, uh, what part of Edenville you from, huh? What part of Edenville you from? Oh, West Edenville. Oh, really? West Edenville? Do you know Bob Hanley? I'm Bob Hanley. No kidding. Bob, it's me, Peter Griffin. Oh, my God. How the hell are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Well, hey, oh, listen, I was really sorry to hear about your dad. Oh, that means a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the wake. I was out of town. It's okay. Thanks for the flowers. Oh, it's the least I could do. Hey, Chris, get over here. You gotta meet my buddy, Bob Hanley. Hi, Mr. Hanley. I'm Chris. I heard a lot about you, sir. <laughs> Oh, hey, Brian. You want to come up? Come on up. Come on up. Come on. Right here. Jump up. Psst, psst, psst. Jump up. Come on. There's a spot right here. Come on up. Be a friend. Just jump up. I know you want to come up here. Jump the hell up here, you dope. I demand that you jump up here and be a companion. Be a companion! Get up here! Mommy? All right, now I'm going to scratch your forehead for a while, so don't seem like you like it at first and suddenly bite my hand for no reason. Ow! That's it! I'm going to go online and buy you a $70 toy you'll hate. Very good, Stewie. You grunt like a Hungarian lesbian. Oh, thanks, Dimitri. And uh, your testicles hanging out of your shorts again. I am cooling it. And you know, Glenn, after you moved away, Buttercup had kittens. <gasps> what? That's right. You're a grandfather. <coughs> My God. This is more pussy than even I can handle. Is he gonna say giggity? Should I say giggity? Are other people allowed to say giggity? Giggity. What? Not then, it's stupid. Holy crap, we, we, we gotta, gotta get out of here. Aw, oh, man, the library. White Fang, this is for ruining my eighth grade summer. They ruined my summer, too. Oh, damn it! It's locked! Oh, my God! Somebody must have locked us in! We're gonna die in here! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Somebody emailed me a video of a sheep screaming.
Okay, now if you're gonna defeat your sister in the ring, you gotta get to the root of your fears. We gotta go back to your childhood, so I'm gonna hypnotize you. Okay, go back. Now we need to go back in time. My jeans are husky. Okay, further. Further, a little further. Now open your eyes and tell me what you see. I see the six stations of the Lord's Order and they will all burn. Peter, face it, without Quagmire, we're boring. Oh, come on, that ain't true. Yes, it is. He had all the fun ideas. Remember, he even took me parasailing. This is awesome. It's like I'm flying. <laughs> I've never felt so alive. Oh, if only I had a pair of legs. All right. It was the fish part of me that wanted him. There you go, Joe. All settled. Now, which wall would you like to look at for the rest of your life? I don't know. Maybe that one. I, I have no idea what you're pointing at, Joe. You gotta meet us halfway. Look, guys, I don't want to be a burden to anyone. You go ahead and live your lives. I'll be fine. We can't just leave you, Joe. So before we go, I'm gonna put the remote in your mouth. Here's a can of chili. And the opener we'll put in your mouth. And here's a magazine I thought you might like to read. I'm gonna put it in your mouth. And you probably don't want any reminders of Bonnie around the house, so I cleared out all of her underwear. Oh, come on. This'll change your mind. Oh, my God! Quick, do something! It's not working! Get rid of it! Get your family out of that house! If they don't leave, they'll die! Round up your family and get out, or you're all gonna be sorry! Get out, now! <gasps> See, kids, I told you we'd make friends here. I guess me getting transferred by the Xerox Corporation wasn't the worst thing after all. Well, we made it. East Bola. All right, let's find our prince and get my money back. Get down on the ground! Yeah. This is unacceptable! I demand to speak to Anthony Anderson. Okay, hold on. Shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I answer this call. Hello? Yes, this is Peter Griffin. Yes, I did call you about the eight-piece lawn croquet set. Now, it says weathered. Just how weathered is it? Yeah, go ahead and send me a pic. That'd be very helpful. Sir, shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I look at these pictures. Peter, we have a hamper. Stop throwing your dirty clothes in the toilet. Peter? Peter, where are you? What's all this? Oh, hey, Lois. Welcome to the Pete Pad, where the dancing's hot, the drinks are hot, Everything's just freaking hot. What have you done to the attic? Well, when I slept up here the other night, I realized what a great space it is. So I dragged up some stuff and turned it into a sweet hangout. Even made it extra awesome by stealing a real street sign. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't mean... No, it's okay. Um, I'd better go downstairs before Joe realizes I'm gone. And before Peter gets into the stuff that's not for the party. Ah, Halloween candy! Peter, get out of the pantry! Oh, I can't believe I just kissed my friend's wife. I'm a bigger scumbag than Spock. I heard that there was a Romulan ship spotted in our sector, which means... Hey! Hey! Chadley wants to have a play date here at my house! Well, that's great! No, it's not! I can't let him see this dump! Come on, Stewie. Chadley should like you for who you are. Besides, this place isn't so bad. Brian, Chadley's parents each have their own bathroom. I've seen the fat man pee through Lois's legs while she's sitting on the toilet. What I've got to do is find a spectacular house that I can pretend is mine to impress Chadley. Well, why don't you just use Babs and Carters? I can't. They're having an eyes-wide shut party all weekend. I can't find my wiener with this mask. All right, time out. Let's, let's all just find our wieners and then put the masks back on. Huh. I know I left the ring right here. If you're referring to the ring that I thought was a lug nut, I ate it. What? Why would you eat a lug nut? I was dared. By who? By myself. I have low self-esteem. We should check in on this guy, Mo. Oh my god, this can't be happening! 
Chris, that was a diamond ring. Do you know how expensive that was? I'm sorry, Brian. But don't worry, it'll come out of my body sooner or later. He's right. I ate a dime once. It became a manhole cover for like three days, but then POW! Okay, yeah, yeah, we just, we just gotta force Chris to poop, that's all. Yay, like at a sleepover! I love you. You're loved. Good idea. And luckily, I'm great at connecting with that generation. Like when I went on that camp out with One Direction. So they checked into their hotel suite, but the minibar had no sparkling water, only still! <gasps> ah, stop! It's too scary. Oh, but that's not all. They looked in the wardrobe and discovered that the stylist had only brought non-skinny jeans! <gasps> Do you mean like a Levi's 513 skinny straight? No, just regular pants that fit normal! <gasps> That's not real, right? Those aren't real. Of course not, Louis. It's, it's just a story. Well, I guess that means these aren't real! <gasps> <gasps> yeah, they're going to die in the woods. Simon, are they tagged? They're tagged, right? Oh, they're tagged. Good. Simon, did I ever tell you the one about the loose-fitting T-shirt? No, 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 no! Still on those meds, huh? Uh, yeah, they, uh, they helped me to, um, uh, think. Okay, time for an eyes-open nap. God, look what those pills are doing to you. Putting you on that stuff was a huge mistake. Like inviting a turtle to a cocktail party. Hey, ask me why they call me a box turtle. Mom, 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 mom. Hey, so how'd it go last night? Well, let's just say I got asked to come back tonight. You're kidding. It actually went over well. I figured you'd be terrible. Why would you think that? Well, I know a thing or two about performing. I mean, after all, I was Vin Diesel's acting coach. Okay, Vin, I like what you're doing there, but I want you to try it one more time like this. Duh! Thanks for the ride along. I liked when you sentenced those two girls to kiss each other. Yeah, all girls are lesbians when you point a gun at them. Boy, it's been great spending time with you, son. It's been great spending time with you, too. Dad. Oh, this'll be fun. Let's see how long it takes them to get Gumby over there into the car. Yeah, that's our neighbor, Peter Griffin. That's the guy who emailed me? Huh. No wonder it was all caps with tons of typos. He's a waterhead, right? Yeah, he's a mess. Look at his ugly kids. Pathetic. Oh, he's not bitten. Just put some of them in the back like skis. I'm putting a bar up for sale. Oh, please tell me this is some kind of practical joke. Like, like the kind I used to play when I was an intern at the hospital. I'm afraid I have some very bad news. Your wife's gonna be a vegetable. You'll have to bathe her, feed her, and care for her the rest of her life. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm just kidding. She's dead. Well, that's crazy. Without sex ed, kids can wind up sexually confused. Just look at Michael Jackson. The kid in me likes the frosted side. But the grown-up in me likes the kid in me. Hey, you could really make a difference. Like I did when I taught money management to those drug addicts. There's a lot of ways for you guys to save money. For example, you're all shooting up. Why not share needles? That's a no-brainer. More money in your wallet, more drugs in your veins. My second piece of advice, have as many kids as you can. Because that makes it more likely that one of those kids will grow up and make it big in Hollywood. Then who's paying the bills, eh? Hollywood kid. Class dismissed. Hi, Jimmy. Um, I heard you didn't have a date to the dance, and I was wondering if you'd like to go with me. Oh, uh, I, uh... H hang on. I'd love to go, Meg, but I have to go to my little brother's funeral that night. Why don't you stop with the questions, huh? You're, you're ruining everyone's good time. Like Peter did when he used to entertain terminally ill kids. Hi there, how y'all doing? All right, so I'm at the DMV the other day. Long lines, long lines at the DMV. But uh, you'll find out all about that when you get old. Oh, uh, uh, moving on. So uh, I finally tried Viagra and... Uh... Oh. oh, we got a joker in the audience there. You, uh, you got something you want to say there, uh, Mr. Heckler? Dying hurts. Tell me about it. So anyway, who hates flying? Good evening, I'm Joyce Kinney. 
And this is April's Child of the Month, eight-year-old Angus Reed. Angus was born with cerebral palsy, and his only wish is to one day become a famous heart surgeon. All I want to do is help people. Child of the Month, Angus Reed. Good luck with your dream, Angus. We believe in you. What a weird little guy. Thanks, Joyce. How old do they usually live to be, by the way? Well, you never see a gray-haired one. But I'm gonna do my best to make her even happier than those kids on Three Wishes with Amy Grant. What's your wish, Billy? Can you cure my cancer? No, but how about if Spider-Man gives you a $50 gift card to Sears? Here, get well. That's a great achievement, just like the first chemotherapy patient to figure out the handkerchief look. Honey, get in here. What is it? Just, just get in here. What? Oh my God! Right? It's like you don't, don't even, even have, have cancer. cancer. I know. Oh my God! <laughs> no, but I still have pretty aggressive cancer. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter the Kid. <laughs> You know what I am back at the ranch? I'm a breeding bull. What, 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 what's that? You gonna find out. <gasps> Where you going, fatty? We gonna have a party. <laughs> I got a house on the Cape. Maybe you come visit. Maybe. Maybe you call a few days in advance to give me... I, I don't get it. Why Why wouldn't Quagmire like me? Because he thinks you're annoying. Like people who never shut up about their kids. He... he would have been four today. I, I still don't understand. How do you drown in an inch of water? <laughs> well, I guess I don't have a new sweater and a haircut. I say, that looks like a young Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> Sir, please take this money and use it to pursue your dreams. Danke. Stewie, I think that was a young Hitler. You just gave money to Hitler. Yeah, but before all the crazy stuff. This is going to be way better than when we had that Victorian girl ghost over for dinner. <laughs> My governess drowned me in a well. <laughs> you are a horrible dinner guest. I'll testify against you just like I did against Michael Jackson. Stewie, did Mr. Jackson behave inappropriately toward you? Well, yes, but the worst part was he never called back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, in all seriousness, yeah, he was actually pretty aggressive. Billy, can you hear? Yes! Amazing! This is amazing! Your mom and I are going to get a divorce. I'm in love with someone else, and I didn't want to say it with the silly hands. Well, hold on, Stewie. I'm not some run-of-the-mill Wall Street scumbag only in this for the profits. For every dollar I make, one goes to me, and one goes to charity. I'm gonna rent a Ferrari and cruise the pier. You want in? Well, cancer's not going anywhere. I'm sorry, Billy. You're one dollar short of being able to afford the surgery you need. Yay! Sweet. I know those guys. I don't know about this, Joe. There is no fear in this dojo! Joe, we, we don't even know what a dojo is. There's no mercy in this dojo! Joe, why don't you take it down a notch? No mercy! Hey, you nerds want to see a puppet show? Peter, put me down! I told you, not until you sing. Hey, on the hill was a lonely goat head. Le -heel -le -heel -le -heel -le -heel -le Dad, what are you doing to Mr. Swanson? Peter, put him down right now! Beat it, Lois. Peter, stop it. Joe is your friend. Shut up, you nerd. Hey! You know the way you ruined my parrot? I just bought it yesterday. Isn't it beautiful? Cripple, 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 cripple! Damn it! Wow, that was terrific, Jessica. It was good for me, too. Ah! <laughs> got, got you again, Quagmire. You said you were that waitress from Friendly's! I lied! You jerk! I didn't feel anything, but you did! Happy Halloween! <laughs> That's it, Joe. I challenge you to a duel. Pistols at midnight. Peter, did you bring a flamethrower? No. I also didn't bring one of them laser guns from Ghostbusters. Joe, look, look, I got me a West. Good. We'll keep him till we get a new mayor. 
And now back to the Fox News Report with Rhonda Latimer. Oh, God, that new Fox News reporter is so freaking hot. Good evening. I'm Rhonda Latimer for Fox News. Here are tonight's top stories. Oh, she is just so smoking hot. God, I would do things to her that she would probably laugh at. You bitch! Oh, great, it's here. That mirror I bought on eBay. Oh, my God! Ah! 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 Joe, my God, what happened? You just ran over me, you bastard! I don't know where you got that thing, but I'm impounding it! <laughs> look at you, you look like a half-empty toothpaste. When do we get to shoot some bad guys? Guys, it's not all about action. It's about staying vigilant until you're needed. What are you doing? I'm watching Bonnie undress. Bonnie's your wife. I know. I like to watch her strip and pretend she's a woman who I've never met, but who looks just like Bonnie and lives in my house. Get naked! Ah, uh, okay. All right, that's... That's seven 16-ounce steaks. Oh, come on, Joe. You haven't even finished one. I mean, that guy had two. I know, I know. I'm terrible. Which is why I'm gonna order the cheesecake. Oh, I can't do it. I'm... I'm so full. Full of what, estrogen? Come on, take the skirt off, you pansy. Oh. Let's go, chow down, Mary Jane. Oh, I said I can't. Eat it, eat no. the damn steak. Come on, what are you I waiting can't. for? Eat it, Joe. No, eat no, it. no, no. Yeah. I said I'm not hungry! Where is it now, huh? Where is it now? Easy, sailor, easy. Put the gun down, Joe. Yeah, nobody's judging you, man, it's cool. I'll just put this back in your purse next to your tampons. It's lucky you packed so many blow-up dolls, quack, 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 Maya. Be careful. The tiniest prick will pop these things. Giggity. We've been out here for days. I'm starving. Hey, what's that? Uh, what? You're eating something. You bastard! You have food? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Give me that! <laughs> <laughs> My legs? Yeah, see, now this is why I didn't say anything. I knew you were gonna get like this. What the hell is wrong with you? Look, look, Joe, I, J Joe. You've been eating me! Okay, you know what? Let's just agree to disagree. So what can I do for you, Peter? Well, Joe, I need to talk to you about something kind of personal. Shoot. Well, you know, I took this test, and, uh, it sort of turns out that I'm technically mentally retarded. And, um, you know, I just wanted to ask, you know, how, how do you deal with it? Deal with what? You, you know, with, with being retarded. Peter, I'm not retarded. I'm handicapped. Oh, well, now you're just splitting hairs. Hey, uh, Joe. Oh, don't say it, Peter. No, I was just wondering, uh... Peter, I swear to God. What's your handicap? Oh, 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 every hole. That's a joke that just doesn't get old. Damn it. Come on. Come on. Come on, Glenn. Come on. Get your head in the damn game. Hey, do you think it's time to talk to Quagmire about his anger issues with this game? A white man shouldn't play sports in the first place. Hey, fellas. Um, I have a question. I went on a date with this girl that I really like, and if you don't mind, I was hoping I could ask you a few questions about the birds and the bees. Ah, my boy wants to know about sex. Came to the right place. Chris, what you always want to remember is that sex is perfectly natural. Well, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Swanson, um, I wasn't really talking to you. Chris, I know a lot about sex. Yeah, and I'm sure you have fond memories, but I was kind of hoping to get some advice from someone who isn't broken from the waist down. I'm a father! You're a two-wheeled monster! <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my ringtone. Quagmire, call me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I knew that would get you. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, come here, uh, you little son of a bitch. Uh, come here, uh, stop, stop it, stop pecking me. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, thanks, Joe. Let's plant a knife on him just to be safe. Eh, yeah, good thinking. Yeah, I know how these things go down. Oh, oh, oh no, I fell out of my wheelchair. <laughs> Don't help me. I need to do this on my own. What are you doing, Joe? You're embarrassing us. Oh, really? Are they looking? No, they're actually going to great lengths to avoid it. Exactly. No one wants to watch a handicap struggle for independence. Oh! Oh, this is so humiliating. I'm about to be an adult man crying! 
I can't walk. Why the hell can't I walk? Peter, I don't need to be in a wheelchair. Yeah, no, no arguments, Brian. I already went through the trouble of borrowing this ramp from Joe. I'll see you, honey. I'll be back in a while. Joe, are you all right? Don't help me up. I need to retain my independence. You need anything from the market? Power bar! Wow, that's, uh, that, that, that's a lovely color. Uh, your, your, your dress is a uh, color. Your dress is, is I, I like, uh, you're, you're very pretty. Oh, thank you. I'm the 11th grade history teacher, Miss Parks. Oh, like Rosa Parks. Or, or you know, or someone white named Parks. <laughs> Nothing cuter than a nervous white dog. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm, I'm Brian, and, uh, gosh, if I'm not being too forward, it's lovely to meet you, Miss Parks. Oh, please, call me Shauna. Shauna, Shauna. Oh, my God, I didn't expect to see you guys here. So, teenagers know about the mall, too? Know what about the mall? Yeah, right? Boy, the day I'm having. I actually made one too many Build-A-Bears for the cancer kids. If only I could build a cure, huh? Hey, you know what, Patty? Why don't you take the extra one? Wow, thanks, Brian. Yeah, that's cool, Brian. Will you buy me a hat at Lids? No. You know, Patty, I've got seven fifty left on my Panda Express card if you want to split a three-item combo, no drink. Sure. Well, then hop on board the Panda Express. <laughs> In bed, right? <laughs> like, like with the fortune cookies, you know. Hey there, babe. Hey, Brian. You ready? Got the smash mouth queued up in the pre. Brian, what are you doing here? I'm here to pick up Patty. We're going to see a movie called Brittany Finds a Lump. You're parked in Mr. Tackleman's space. You're going on a date with Patty? I told you to back off. And since when do you wear high tops? What, my kicks? Ah, it's nothing. I just use these for Instagram. That's something I like. Ah, shut up, Esther. All right, we're out of here. Feel free to use the seat warmer. Keep that box hot. Roadhouse. Oh, my God. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. I wasn't really looking where I was going. Probably a little blame on our side, too. Roadhouse? Well, I guess you're just lucky nobody got hurt. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But, uh, you know, I sort of have one other problem. Maybe you can help me out. What's that? I have a dinner reservation for two tonight at Dominic's, and it's just me. I see your problem. I think I might be able to help. Ma'am, you want me to kick those dents out for you? Peter, we've had complaints from all over town. You're gonna have to stop with the kicking. Oh, yeah? I think my scary, otherworldly, shadowy spirit friends might have something to say about that. Oh, for God's sake. Well, let me at least leave my car insurance information for her. Is that your condom? No! I, I, I mean... I mean, I, I, I wasn't going to use that on your daughter. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't. I, I, would not, I would not use a condom on your daughter. I mean, I, I would if I was having sex with her, which obviously I would not do. But if, if I mean, I'm safe and all. You know, I, I get an AIDS test once every three months. And, 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 and not because I, I, it's, you know, it's not because I have a lot of sex. I just, I just eat a lot of poo off the street. I don't think of it. How did this get in my wallet in the first place? Dear Brian, Somewhere between the point when you're excited enough to want it and too excited to care, think about your future. Your friends, Dewey. Sorry to bother you. If it's any consolation, I would never have stood you up. Well, I guess that makes you one of the rare ones nowadays. Your husband's a lucky guy. Divorced. Oh. Well, at the risk of humiliating myself once again, I still have a reservation. Well, I don't have plans. Well, terrific. Hey, maybe I'll get to use this after all, huh? I'm, I'm just, I'm kidding. Oh, please, at my age, I don't have to worry about pregnancy. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> I kind of do. Hang on, just let me get my purse and we can go. Another bourbon, please. Shut up, dick. What? Why do I come here? Tell me about it. He called me a dick earlier. I'm Jess. Thanks, I'm Brian. Well, Jess, bottoms up. If you're lucky. <laughs> So, this place, uh, worse than Syria, don't you think? Yes, everything about it is awful. The people, the music. If, if you, you can, can call, call it, it music. music. Oh my god, we were grumpy and bitter at the same time. <laughs> I like you, Brian. You actually say what's on your mind. Hey, life's too short, right? <sighs> Tell me about it. I've been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Oh, you know cancer? Oh my god, I thought I smelled cancer. Still want to go back to my place? Sounds great. 
Or as young people say, hashtag yes. Whoops. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't think you want this book. It's all about atheism. Oh, I know. I'm an atheist. Really? So am I. It's all yours. I feel bad taking the last copy. Well, there's one way to settle this. If there is a god, send another copy. Oh, I guess that's our answer. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, how about I take it and then send it to you after I read it? Swear to God? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I know, I'm just messing. Well, uh, listen, uh, here, here's my address. Thanks. See you later. Hey, might I Pinterest you in a drink point oh? Ladies, how about the Verizon guy moving over to Sprint, huh? That seems kind of whack, right? Like zero chill. I can't understand you. Does anyone here speak old, dude? Is Bernie Sanders here bothering you? Excuse me, ma'am. No porn at the bar. Oh, it's okay. I'm transgender. Oh, I, I had no idea. Do whatever you want all the time. Oh, Glenn. Howdy, stranger. Brian, what are you doing here? I'm an alcoholic. Oh, right. So you saw the video, huh? Uh, yeah, it's just so hard. Well, it has to be for sex. No, no, I mean, I mean, it's difficult to watch your son embarrass himself so publicly. Yeah, that parent-child relationship is so special. Sometimes you want to shake him by the shoulders and say, Ah, what are you doing? But you just got to give him the biggest hug you can and let him know that you'll always be there for them. How's your son, Brian? We don't talk, but Ida, you can't blame yourself. As much as you want to save your kids from their mistakes, it's their mistakes that help them grow and change and become their best selves. You know, Brian, that's what I like about you. You're so wise and kind. I think that's what originally drew me to you. Why do you always run yourself down? You're handsome, you're loyal, you give your paw after a couple of tries. Come on, paw. 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 There you go, good boy. I just wish you could see yourself the way I see you. Eh, yeah, mirrors kind of freak me out. <laughs> and, and funny, too. Except for a job and your own home, you are the full package, Brian Griffin. Ida, should we get a room? Absolutely. Hey, uh, anyone sitting here? No, go ahead. Thanks. Hey, would you like to go out sometime? Wow, that was fast. Yeah, well, you know, I read somewhere that women decide within the first seven seconds if they're interested in you or not, so I figured I wouldn't waste anybody's time. Fair enough. Sure, let's go out. Really? Yeah, like you said, I've already decided. I'm Kate. I'm Brian. Hey, uh, you want to go outside, maybe a little quieter? Sure. Oh, my God, I, uh... Hey, check out Brian with a blind chick. Hey, don't worry, Brian, you're still doing better than Quagmire. He got a hooker. Ah! No, no, but she is a prostitute. Oh, man, there she is. What? Huh? Who? That girl right there. She comes in here every morning after her run. Oh, I'm obsessed with her. Well, why did you go talk to her? Way ahead of you. Wait, where are you going? <sighs> and 1,000. Phew! 1,000 what? Ah, <sighs> percent, that's what. <laughs> you, uh, you in the game too? You mean running? Ah, uh, let me think what's on my trophies. Uh, yes. You're losing her. Hey, I'm Brian. Hi, I'm Chloe. Nice to meet you. Hey, uh, y you wouldn't maybe want to grab a bite to eat sometime, would you? That sounds great. Awesome. You know, see, this is how you meet people. I, I tried the online dating thing, but there's just too much competition out there. Jack on the rocks, please. Hey, here's to exciting new opportunities on the internet. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. Oh, no, it's not you. I, I'm just dealing with a lot right now. You know, kids. Ah, does not come with a manual. <laughs> so, you're doing something with the internet? I am. I am. Being a writer, I'm always exploring new possibilities. Brian. Ida. Two more, please. So I finally tell them, hey, I came here to be at the seminar, not run it. <laughs> 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 oh, that's... Mm. Oh. <laughs> you know, we are in a hotel. And I'm in room 406. Go on ahead, I'll settle up. Put it on 406. Uh, 
<laughs> hey, hey, you think you could be with me right here in this place? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, Stewie. Yeah, it's, it's just I met someone amazing the other day at the vet's office. And... So that's who you were texting with? Sort of. I, I was just rereading some of the texts I already sent her. <laughs> oh, that's good. You're rereading your own texts? Yeah, do you, do you not do that? Nobody does that. God, I can already hear the jokes Jay Leno is going to be telling about our mayor. Oh, yeah? Like what? Oh, you know, it's like you can already hear them, you know? Like what? Like exactly what jokes do you hear? Tell me one of the jokes. Brian, all I have to do is start fake sneezing around you and you'll spend the rest of your life outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can hear some of the jokes. See you around, Brian. Definitely. Bye, Ellie. Is this the veterinarian's office? No, this is the veterinarian's. I think you want the veterinarian's center next door. Ah, I see the confusion. This must happen all the time. We're ready for the German Shepherd. Yeah, that would be me. This is a very confusing lobby. Hey, Dad, want to hear a story about my day at school? It's about my hot friend, Melissa. Okay. She didn't wear a bra to school today. Okay. And someone spilled water all over her white shirt. Okay. And it was cold, so you could see everything. Okay. Then she left, and I realized I was all alone. Smoke break! This is where a homeless man ate the finger of another homeless man. This is where some teenagers beat a gay guy to death. This building used to be Irish. Now it's Cambodian. And this is where fake tour guides throw rocks and steal tourists' wallets. Oh, yeah, I read about this part on Yelp. Vinny, you must be starving. What can I make you for dinner? Are you kidding? You're a hard-working lady. So tonight, I'm gonna make you dinner. Wow. <laughs> well, thank you, Vinny. Whoa, whoa, hang on, Lois. You promised me we were all eating my Play-Doh pasta tonight. Oh, Stewie, did you make something? Mmm. Oh, it's so yummy. Mmm. Nom, 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 nom. You better mean those nums. I dropped my phone in the toilet. Oh, oh, it's so cold and it's under everything. Uh, where is it? Oh, my God, why haven't I found it yet? Oh, no, I didn't roll my sleeve up far enough. Oh, why didn't I flush when I got in here? Oh, this isn't even all mine. Oh, no, there's a spider crawling on my face. Oh, why didn't I use the hand that was on the floor? Why did I use my toilet hand? Oh, wait, here it is behind the toilet. Good night. Do me a favor and don't wake me when you come up, though. Yes, you do. You always step on the creaky board. Yes, you do. Every time. Don't go to bed angry. Don't go to bed angry. Diffuse. Diffuse. I'm sorry. I overreacted. Now you say you're sorry. What do you mean, for what? I hate you! Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. I value you. We're not escalating. It's fine. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. All right, Griffin, you're clearly a smoker. This is my biggest accomplishment since my 1920 solo flight across the Atlantic. Viva Pierre Griffin! Incroyable! Don't look in there. Don't look in there. It's all craps. All right, we got to put toilets in these things if we're going to be in them for more than two hours. I can't go to sleep, Brian. I'm scared. Of what? Of death. Well, you're not alone. The world is full of people who can't accept death. And they've all got their own ideas of what happens when we die. Really? Like what? Tell me! I, I gotta say, it's weird to see you so worked up about this. I mean, you're not afraid of anything. Even that monster in your closet. Ah, he's on his way out of here. Ever since he violated the section of his lease that doesn't allow subletters. What are you talking about? I don't have anyone else in here. Just tell him the truth, Ethan. That must be the new nanny. Is this the Griffin house? Welcome to this work environment. Oh, I'm not the nanny. I'm her Uber driver. Your nanny's still in the car. She dozed off on the way here. 
I not doze off, Uber. Was looking at crinkled photos of dead relatives. Hello, I am Natalia. What is favorite breakfast fish? Well, if you must know... <coughs> Welcome to this work environment. <sighs> Boom. Damn it. Oh my god, there's the CEO of my company. Now's my chance to impress him. Hey, Mr. Carlisle, check this out. That's what I can do for the company. Really? Can you do other things for the company? No, 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 I don't want to be promoted that way. I want to be promoted to shooting hawks with a crossbow way. Daddy, you're making a fool out of yourself. Why are you acting like this? Look, I've been trying to get into Reginald Barrington's inner circle for years. They've been the most elite family in this country ever since it was founded. They were the ones who invented the buckle on the hat. Hey, I like your zipper hat. I like your zipper hat. Morning, fellas. Oh, that's gonna be a game changer. Yeah! Hey, Peter, my kid's selling Girl Scout cookies. And we're collecting for Janet's pregnancy. Softball sign up? Trick or treat for UNICEF? Oh, pitch in for Ed's retirement cake? Oh. Holiday party? Whoa. Oh. Company picnic? Oh. Secret set? Oh. Carpool info? Oh. oh, finally! Now I can get myself to the. Uh oh! Come on, Peter, let's call it. No, Joe! Nobody's leaving until I sink a penny in that glass. Oh, oh, God's sake. Okay, this is the one. Son of a... Oh, my God. Chris is still in there. Somebody save Chris! I gotta get out of this house. Boy, Dad sure seems excited. I know. I haven't seen him this giddy since he discovered that single loop roller coaster. <laughs> uh, don't feel so good. <laughs> Ew! You want a Tom Brady kiss? Chris, wake up. I, I want to give my son a Tom Brady kiss. Uh, 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 um. Who are you? I'm Zach Sawyer, and I go where I'm needed. Where are you headed? Wherever I'm needed. No, no, it does not work like that. I need to put address in machine. Okay, uh, maybe you can just take me home then. Where is home? I, I don't know. It's... It's my mom and dad's house, but I don't know the address. I take you airport. Okay. Chris, you doing okay? It's mom and dad. We thought we'd... Awakenings! Peter, I'm not sure that's... A... Awakenings! You're gonna hurt him if... Awakenings! You... Peter, knock it off. What if I try it with a basketball? Awakenings! Oh, God, that broke his nose. He didn't even flinch. It's bad. Let's do your thing. Let's let's twirl some toilet paper up into his nose and, and then when we'll we'll do your thing. Ugh, what a night. Whew, what a night. Crazy. Uh yes, telegram for hungover. <laughs> yes, I will sign for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> How was your night, Stewie? Ugh, get your own life, bro. Get off my sack. Peter, I'd like to introduce the surgeon who will perform your procedure today. Dr. Wang Gan. Where do you think you're going? Look, I'm, I'm not actually going through with the operation. I'm going home. We're doing this whether you like it or not. Doc, no! Stop him! Somebody help! You want the Emmy, don't you? Yeah! And that is how I became your mother.
I want to watch my show! Peter, you can't drive a car over that. You're gonna get hurt. Lois, I don't come down to Burger King and tell you how to do your job. Peter, I don't work at Burger King. I don't work at Burger King. I'm busy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some death to defy. Wow, this is just like what happened with Matthew Broderick, except no one's dead. Oh, that was great. Thanks. I know you have a choice in airport sex, and I appreciate your choosing Quagmire. Please exercise caution when standing up, as the contents of your panties may have shifted during coitus. All right, I got a plane to catch. Say, which gate is flight 209? 209? That flight left half an hour ago. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! That plane's going down! My friends are on that plane! They're all gonna die! What? Oh, no! And that's not the worst part. Here's the condom I said I put on. <gasps> <laughs> Aren't I just the worst? Well, Lewis, I am now a graduate of the Cohog Police Academy and an official on-duty cop. Oh, I can't believe I'm married to a big, scary police officer. Just keep your eyes on the eggs, ma'am. <laughs> yes, officer. <laughs> you are such a dirty cop. Don't break those yokes, ma'am. Oh. oh, my God, Lois, I hit you. I know. Now stick your finger in there and twist it. Holy crap, evil Knievel gloves. I bet I could do a wheelie with these. How much for the gloves? Peter, those are yours. Ten bucks, two, seven, four, five fifty, ten, sold. Second, I would have gone to fifteen easy. I am so stupid. Awesome. We have a new policy. Can't you read the sign? Peter, what the hell is that all about? It's a message, Joe. I don't want you and your kind eating here anymore. You're ruining what was supposed to be a cool establishment. Peter, you're one of my closest friends. Are, are you telling me that you have a problem with me being handicapped? As a matter of fact, Joe, yes, I think it's immoral. Fine, if that's the way you want it. But we're not going to go down easy. <laughs> okay, that was easy. But I'll be back with more handicapped guys. Man, Texas is great. Back where I'm from, a retarded guy could never have this much fun. What'd you just say? What? Technically, I'm retarded. Fellas, fellas, can't we talk this over? Talking's for terrorists and blacks. In Texas, we execute the retarded. Oh my god, so this is how it ends? Oh my god, Dad. What's on your face? Meg, it goes by many names. Soup strainer, lip whiskers, and until recently, giant horse vagina. But I prefer the term mustache. Oh, I think it's sexy. I think it's gay. It's not gay, Brian. If I'm gay, then Freddie Mercury was gay. Freddie Mercury, the lead singer of Queen? He was incredibly gay. He was not. He had a mustache, which is practically like a wedding ring. OJ, this is my family. Family, OJ. It's nice to meet you all. Hey, Peter, you mind if I use your restroom? No, it's upstairs and to the left. Peter, are you out of your mind bringing OJ Simpson into our home? Look, don't make that face at me, Lois. OJ is innocent, all right? Peter, we know he did it. Oh, you were there? Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, and, and you didn't do anything to stop it? Oh, accessory to murder! Hey there, Mr. Octopus. I see you got two eyes, but not much else. We can fix that. Let's give you a nice, twiddly little mustache here. And maybe a big old dumb guy smiley mouth. And a couple of eyebrows with one raised up like you're saying, say what? Oh, look who's got pimples. And right before the big dance. So sucky and squeezy! I'll handle this. I've tangled with the likes of these before. Wow, Quagmire's got a nice place. <sighs> this is gonna be a relaxing weekend. need some advice. I need to know how to get a girl to like me. Ah, oh, Chris, buddy, there's a million ways to do that. You just gotta do something simple, like Vincent Van Gogh. Ooh, it's... What is this? It's my ear. Do you like it? You don't, you don't like it? No, I like it. But it's just... Why your ear? Because I love you. Well, at least this will be a funny story to tell our kids someday. Oh, you want kids? Ugh, yikes. Uh, I wish you'd told me that before I got you this.
Ugh, that's the ugliest thing the fat man's grown since that horse leg. Hey, Peter, have you seen my- Ah! Oh, Brian, I'm sorry, but what do I keep saying? Do not stand behind me, because I will get scared. You Andy Dufresne? A little bit. You? <laughs> I'm just tweaking your bum. What can I do for you? I understand you make Star Wars figurines. Oh, Grievous! Wicked! Well, anyway, I'm a pretty corrupt guy, so I figured I could sell your figurines and pocket the cash. What do you say? I don't know. Oh, come on. I'll even cripple that guy who rapes you in the shower. But I like that guy. Too late. <coughs> oh, my legs! Two things never happened again after that. Boggs never walked again, and Andy's farts never made a sound again. My methods are a little unorthodox, Mr. Griffin, but I think I can help. What are you doing? My job. Sometimes people fake being in a coma. This man's not. Unless, of course, the first punch knocked him out, in which case we won't know for some time. House. Roadhouse. That too. Killing a dog is not a crime? <laughs> of course not! <laughs> Yeah, especially for you. An animal killing another animal? That happens all the time. Hey, sweet ass. Last night was fantastic. Kello? Where'd you go? <gasps> Spare some change? Sure. You didn't put anything in there. Yes, I did. I put hope in there. Hope. Don't spend it all in one place, Raggy. That was horrible. You're as bad as Beethoven near the end. They're gonna love that. What's your wish, Billy? Can you cure my cancer? No, but how about if Spider-Man gives you a $50 gift card to Sears? Here, get well. Hey, Brian, Brian, Brian. Look at my tan walk. <sighs> Devin, do you have a cigarette? Sure. And here's a copy of my last movie. It's essentially Brokeback Mountain from the point of view of the horses. Hey, the sun's been up for an hour. Shouldn't we get riding? Uh, are they still sleeping? I don't know. I'll check. Ah! What? Ah! What? 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 Run! What is it? Oh, my God! What? Oh, my God! Ah! Run! Hang on to something, because this ride's about to get rougher than dating a hot girl with a bad laugh. I really like you, Sandy. I really like you too, Peter. Yeah? You like it when I kiss you here? <laughs> yeah. How about here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop, I'm too. <laughs> hey, I didn't know you guys work out here. Yeah, it's a weekly regimen. Come on, come on, Cleveland, push it. Come on, come on, push it, push it, push it. Come on, it's all you, it's all you, it's all. Hey. Glan, 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 glan. <laughs> Will you guys quiet down? I'm trying to concentrate on my cardio. Wow, look at us, running a B&B. &B. Yes, so far all the guests seem very happy. Hi, we're checking out. Just charge my card. That's weird. That's the fifth couple to check out after only an hour. Hi, we'd like a room, please. Wait, I'm sorry, weren't you just here a moment ago with a different man? Oh, crap. Stewie, we have a problem. The only people checking in are here to have sex with prostitutes. What? Nonsense! Well, then why are they all signing the guest book and writing quaint things like railed crystal good? Oh. Damn it, this is awful. How could I have not noticed sooner? I mean, it's more obvious than when George Takei was in the closet. Hey, George, how are you? I am a heterosexual. I love vaginas. So what are you doing tonight? Hopefully choking on some lovely lady parts. Oh, numbers. All right, that sounds fun. See you later. I am a heterosexual. Ladies, this is my associate. Brian, bitches, bitches, Brian. What? What's all this? This, Brian, is called diversification. You see, if our guests insist on bringing prostitutes into our B&B, &B, we might as well provide the women, too. What? Stewie, we're not going to become pimps. Are you sure? I'm sure. The answer is no, so don't bother flashing a wad of money, because there's no way I'm going to change my answer in the middle of this sentence. Okay, maybe we could try it out and see how it goes. Hey, what are you girls doing standing around? Get your... All right, ladies, I'm going to put this as gently as I can, but it appears that someone's rectum fell out on the stairs. Now, whose is it? Be honest.
All right, that's fine. But let's just agree on a rule that if your rectum falls out on the stairs, it's on you to pick it up. Look at that, Brian. Our day has just begun and there's a line out the door. I know, we're raking it in. This is a hell of a lot easier than when I delivered pizza in New Orleans. What the hell? We're all just blocking the street. We're all just blocking the street. Come on, I, I gotta deliver this pizza. Five drunk is do the job of one. We're all just blocking the street. I need to be there in 30 minutes. It's a company promise. Half the band is an in the band. We're all just blocking the street. Oh, thank God. One of us got the contact lens. We're going back to block the street. <sighs> ah, screw it. We won't stop blocking the street. Never stop blocking the street. Hey, Brian, what's a splat job? I, I don't, I don't know, Stewie. I'm, I'm worried that you're seeing too much. Good morning, ladies. Were the paramedics able to resuscitate Lamar Odom? They're still working on it. He's tall, get it? Okay, show's over. Everybody back to work. Yeah, about that. We gotta talk. Oh, uh, sure. What's up? We just realized we can keep all the money, take your house, and kill you if you try to do anything about it. All right, we're just going to step outside and figure out a counter. And they locked us out. What about my loaf of cinnamon raisin bread? It's mine! It's not for the whole house! Let's just go. <laughs> they won. Oh, we'll see about that. Hello, I'd like to report a brothel operating on Route 6 near Round Hill Road. Thank you. You want to eat mangled raisin bread across the street and watch the cops raid the place? Yeah, I'd like that. Oh, here comes the UPS guy. Oh, I bet he's delivering those marmalade jars we ordered. Doesn't that feel like a million years ago? Yeah, we don't need those anymore. Sorry, you just send them back. You can just do that? Oh, yeah, you can just refuse delivery. You, you've never done that? I, I genuinely did not know you could do that. Well, you can. Anything you order, if you don't sign for it, it has to go back. Everyone does it. Most of what America is now is just boxes going back and forth. Killed by a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. How'd you guys die? We bit kids. Woo! Biting kids. Yeah, unpetable. I miss biting kids. Ugh, the elevator's taking forever. I I'm just gonna use the stairs. There were two homeless people eating each other in there. Hey, I'd like to ride your ass into Jerusalem. Wow, there's something in it this year. Settle down, Meg. It's the upstairs bathroom trash. Wagmire. Dee Dee. Cleveland. Joe. Bonnie. Lois. Cleveland. Lois. Bonnie. Quagmire. Peter. <clears throat> Loretta. What the hell's wrong with him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bob Dole likes your style. Bob Dole. 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 The Channel 2 News with Dan Rather.
Although I think Carney Chung might have been substituting for him that night. Well, about time for me to be hitting the old dusty trail. I like your hat. Can't get out that way. Oh, found the emergency exit. Zero one one zero one zero zero one. Mm -hmm. Zero one one zero one zero zero one. Zero one one zero one zero one. Zero one zero one zero one zero one. Damn it all! <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Oh, that's it. You're a history, pal. Today, we're here to honor Joe Swanson for pulling my poor one-eyed cat, Bootsy, out of the old stovepipe of my grandmother's cabin. Joe Swanson won the special People's Decathlon, and we're here to honor him. Tucker? I'm coming. What'd she say? She asked if we were gonna have our way with her. Ew! No, seriously, I won't scream or anything. No! No, I... I no, no sale. Come on! I'm pretty! Ah! Are you okay? Yeah, I was so scared. Oh, Lois, you are so full of <coughs> What? No, I can't say <coughs> in my own <coughs> house? <coughs> great, Lois, just <coughs> great. You know, you're lucky you're good at <coughs> my or I'd never put up with you. You know what I'm talking about. When you <coughs> lubed up toothpaste in my <coughs> while you <coughs> and a cherry, <coughs> Episcopalian <coughs> extension cord, <coughs> wetness <coughs> with a parking ticket. That is the best. Sometimes a woman wants to see her man be a man. You gotta push back. A little, you gotta get a little rough. Oh, God, Peter, hit me! Yeah! Ow! Wow, so that's, uh, that's something about Quagmire and, uh, Loretta, huh? Hamburgers. You can't eat all those hamburgers, you stupid. Whoa! Good evening, I'm Dan Rather, and tonight on CBS News, seven Saudi soldiers sodomized several of Saddam's southern settlement squatters. I'm Dan Rather. Right in the kisser. Pow 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 right in the kisser.
we there yet? It's crowded back here. Stop touching me. Your leg is rubbing up against mine. Hey, quiet down or I'm pulling over. Stop breathing on the window. You idiot, that's condensation. It's on the outside. That's it. I will come back there and so help me God, I will hit you with my ring hand. <laughs> No, you can't promise something like that. I have no idea what you're going to say to me. So you can go ahead and say what you're going to say, and my natural response could be to get offended. Then, through no fault of my own, I wouldn't have kept my promise. Hang on! May I have your name, please? Robert Loja. Can you spell that for me? Certainly. That's Robert Loja. R as in Robert Loja. O as in, oh my god, it's Robert Loja. B, as in, by God, that's Robert Loja. E, as in, everybody loves Robert Loja. R, as in, Robert Loja. <sighs> it is a tragedy. Excuse us. Yeah, we'll be right back. the way I grew up. You know what? How dare you? You don't know me. You have no idea where I come from, where I've been, how long I've been there, what I had to do to get from where I was to where I am now! Man, look at them. They make such a cute couple, like Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man. Now, what do we have? Oops. Sorry, Skippy. <gasps> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is Chris wearing a nicotine patch? You know what? It's just like I said. He and Chris go together. Like peaches and cream. Peaches. Peaches, I'm sorry. Damn it! You could have at least given me some warning. At least a, a shoulder tap. I know. You're right. It's just that you're so beautiful, I can't control myself sometimes. Aw, I can't stay mad at you. How about a kiss? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Okay, for our next exercise, let's play the oldly wed game. <laughs> Relax, it's just a questionnaire. <laughs> really? Whatever. I like liking things. Peter, when is Lois's birthday? Uh, let's see. When is Hitler's birthday? April 20th. Wow. Okay, Noel. Yikes. Joe, what is Bonnie's favorite food? Well, she must like ground glass because I keep finding it in my food. Cleveland. Pass. Quagmire, what color are Kimmy's eyes? Shaved. So, sorry, what, what, what is it? What's the question? <sighs> cats. Kittens and cats. Cat lady. Lots of plastic bags. Tissues in, in my sleeves. Velcro sneakers. Funny dish towels. Huh? <laughs> Good. Come, Meg. It's time to go. Say goodbye to Meg. Who's Ned? Welcome back to the Stuff You Should Just Spend the Money On podcast. Today's episode, expressing your dog's anal glands. Yeah, you really don't want to DIY on the anal glands. Just spend the money. It can't cost more than, I don't know, 30 bucks? $30 is three months of Netflix. So don't watch The Crown for three months. I like The Crown. What if I like The Crown? Watch it all in one weekend. If you don't finish a Netflix series in a weekend, that's on you. Lois, can we just, can we just kiss a little first? You know what? I, I think it's actually starting to clear up on its own. Whoa, Black Betty, bam a lamb. Hey, Black Betty, bam a lamb. All right, the Quahog Fair. Hey, Peter, would you get off your phone? Sorry, young girls keep killing each other because they think I'm the Slender Man now. Like, are you, are you telling them to kill each other? It's just a goof. Well, oh, I got a leaf. Uh. 
But it was understood I'd grow up to be a tennis player like my father, and his father before him, and his father before him. We came from a long line of tennis dicks. I had six brothers, but they'd all sliced off their hands opening a tennis ball can, possibly the most dangerous object known to mankind. Hey, guys, anyone want to play tennis? Llewellyn, no! Wow, Mom, you are looking fit. Yeah, you're ripped. You look like Madonna. <laughs> you want to say that again? Who do I look like? The mom from Modern Family. <laughs> that's right. Julie Bowen. That's the appropriate answer. What do you think of Lois's new look? I say this in the most respectful way possible, but don't you think she looks a little mannish? Mannish? Yeah, awesome, right? Right, you're not thinking clearly. All right, you've got to agree to this surgery. Because right now, you're as useless as Black Widow is to the Avengers. So, what's your superpower? Kicking. Oh, right, because none of us can kick. Hey, which one of you guys can kick? Hulk, stop being nice. Sorry. I'm going to do something really nice for Rupert. Show him how much he means to me, Annabelle. Oh, no, 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 I, I don't want you to kill anyone. I'll let you know. There you are. What are you doing up here? Oh, hey, Bri. I'm making a collage for Rupert. We've been firing on all cylinders lately, and I just wanted to let him know I care. That sounds stupid. Well, Annabelle doesn't think so. Right, Annabelle? Holy <laughs> what is that? Oh, my God, your baby is adorable. So cute. Let me guess, ten months? Oh my god, my new look is working! I'm back into months! Chris, what's all that lotion for? Are you a scientist, Mom? I'm a scientist. It's for masturbating. Good morning! I'm your instructor, Cody Spraytan. Are you ready to pedal so hard your periods go away? Yes! It's not healthy, but it's convenient. Now we're going to sprint while I tell a distracting personal story about how I almost met Adam Levine. It's 2016. It's Vegas. I'm coming off a horrible breakup. First pool party in, I see who I think is a dirty man with tattoos, and I'm like, ugh. But then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. And I've learned that every office needs a worst employee that all the other employees can look down on. I can be that. I can be that guy. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, Francesca Louise Alessandro. Good news, I found your Instagram. Did you see the 90 photos I liked in a row last night at 2 a.m.? Also, who's at Becky Fitness 96 and can you tell her to unblock me? Holy crap, this place is amazing. And just think, this is where Helen Kelly used to eat when she went here. Tonight, I want to go out and just get wasted. And not one of these campus bars. I want to get wrecked by a townie. Helen, you're outrageous. I can't believe you're getting away with this. I've been getting away with this since I was seven. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Good morning, girls. Helen? <laughs> I got you dropped from jury duty. Oh, great. What line did you use? I have read about this exact case. That's good. On hotsytotsynazi.com. That's not good. Hey, can robots do cocaine? What? Nothing. I was just, you know. Can they get cocaine? Whoa, check it out. A sorry board game. Let me see it. Three pieces missing. How'd you do that? I can shake anything and figure out what all's in there. You got 11 periods left. All right, time to retrieve my big wheel from Garbage Island. Let's do it. Hey, how'd you get the money to rent this boat anyway? Oh, I got a part-time job at Target. 
Okay, technically, I work at the weird in-store pizza hut. The Target in-store pizza hut. Feed it to your fat kid while you buy off-brand tennis shoes. Cleveland, you agree with me, right? Well, my wife and I do yoga, so I don't have to pick a side. Fine, we're leaving in a huff. Cleveland, you leaving? Nah, I'm going to stay. Hey, so can I meet your wife? Now she's playing with her trains. There's tension in our relationship, but I can't say why. Why? I can't say. I can't believe we're doing Big Little Lies and I'm the train guy. No going down head first and wait till I say it's okay. Go. 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 Hey! I'm gaming on you, Brian! Meg, slow down! You're coming way too fast! Ew, Brian, what happened? I don't know. Hey, idiot, you gotta wait till the guy says go. Oh, my voodoo doll of mom. Yeah, totally throw, it never worked anyway. Ow, what the hell was that? Oh, keep. Ah! Wait a minute, since there's two of us, this means we can finally catch our own tail. I got it! No, I got it! No, I got it! I got it! There they are! Get them! Brian, we've got to get out of here. Oh, Stewie, my hero. Not now, babe, the war. <laughs>